Thank you, Christopher, my man, Pauly. Thank you, Kathy. Good morning. Brian Roberts, good morning. Uh, we're set to get started at 11 a.m., as you can see on your screen, but Upstate was a little early. Sitting downstairs with Jason Shaw and the boys and having a little breakfast. I'm feeling a lot better, to be honest with you, but let's see what the day goes by. You know, we're sitting under here and there's slight breeze from a air conditioning up above our heads. Actually, it's just the, I guess, to keep it a certain temperature in here. I wouldn't say air conditioning, so. But all good. Cup of tea. Apple turnover. Rodney Morris at the table. Jason Shaw, I seen him downstairs. He's just about getting ready to come down and hit some balls. This is the final day. All the external tables, as far as in the main event, will not be available to ex the syndicate, which is the external streamers. Uh, we do take the quarterfinals all the way to the finals, and uh, it'll all be here on the main table. I want to thank everybody that's been uh, helping out here. Um, it, it really means a lot to me, uh, keep me on the road. Uh, we will be on the road to... New York City to Rax. Uh, I'll bring that poster up. If you want to play, you got to get in it right away. We're going to be right here. Rax Sports Bar and Grill in West Hempstead, Long Island. Take a picture of this right here. Um, make sure it's uh, Fargo uh, races seven to six double elimination. I don't know if this is Fargo capped, but uh, not sure of the rules of entry. I don't see it on here. I don't know if it's open or Fargo capped. Somebody would know more than I. Good morning, Dale. Good morning, Mark. Mark White, my man. Probably out there in Thailand or somewhere. Always roaming the world. So uh, get involved in this tournament. This is for a good cause. Good guy left us way too soon. Uh, Casey Clayton means a lot to me. It means a lot to the people that know him. And uh, he was a New York City fireman. So we'll see you down there, hopefully. Excuse me, hopefully. Um, and spend some time in the, uh, in the box with us. Can't wait to see the two lefties. <laughs> Rodney played great. Yes, yeah, he, Rodney played real jam up. And sure, I'll tell you what, sure had a, a hard bracket. He had Mora, Torsten. He had so many uh, hard matches and, and climbed through it now. And he's got another one here to escape. And then after, whoever wins this match will ha have an opportunity for the hot seat. And I believe that'll be our next one. Good morning, Tom. Scott, quite welcome. Thank you. Joseph, thank you. Uh... We will have, uh, I believe, the uh, Copper City Billiards crew, uh, Frank and Jimmy. I think they're coming by. That's what they told me yesterday. Al, any chance to add Fargo to player name and score? Uh, we're not doing that, uh, I don't believe. Uh, if we were, it would pop up right away on your screen. Hey, Upstate, how many tables are you going to stream at Derby? 16 16 tables at Der Derby, right? We're doing 16 tables. 16 tables. That's going to be a barn burner there, let me tell you. A true barn burner, Indiana. We'll be heading there right after uh, racks. We're screaming out to uh, Derby, and we're going to... It's going to be a lot of setup, but we're going to get it done. We always do. Yes, mate, new apartment uh, just went by. Sorry, Mark. Mark, you coming to Derby? Yes and no, sir. <laughs> if you are, the first round's on you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Can't wait to see Mark if he does show up. He's always fun to hang around with. Always. Stephen Fair, thanks again, Al. You're awesome. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate it. Everybody's awesome. Everybody. Good morning, Michael Callahan, my man. 
down there in Long Island. Uh, we're going to see him, too, and his lovely family. And Murphy. Can't forget Murphy. <laughs> I did yesterday. <laughs> Hope all is well down there, Mikey. I know you got your hands full. Uh, I'll give you a call. Good morning. Uh, who was that that said with all caps? Charlie Mary De he De Haven. De Haven. De Haven. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We're a little bit airy. Oh, no, mate. Sorry. So the, what do you say? So all the rounds are on me, <laughs> not just the first. <laughs> Love you, Mark. Hey, my man, NJ Pool Player. I know you've been taking care of things over there on the YouTube channel, I heard. I got good messages from me, uh, from people, saying you're really good over there. Thanks, Troy, for handling the whatever may be coming your way, which is uh, to your discretion. Appreciate it. Josh, who's that? Justin Title. Hey, Justin, didn't you play in this? I thought you played in this. Justin Tittle. I thought you played in this one. Yeah, we're hanging in there, Troy. I'm trying to do the right thing. You know me. Here's Rocky, my man, the guy that does all the caricatures. Here he is. He comes up here with one coffee. He says, Al, oh, you want half? <laughs> no, I had, I had coffee. <laughs> Good, not bad. Just I, I'm a little bit early, you know. Figure I'd get in punch, get all the joints oiled up. Did you do the steam room and everything this morning? Good for you. Yeah, it's gonna snow until five o'clock this afternoon. Okay. <laughs> Coffee. I actually had tea. No, no, I had breakfast, had tea and an uh, apple turnover. That, I'm good that way. Doesn't take much to uh, get me going. Good morning from Calgary, Canada. Dara, how you doing? I guess, uh, you know, I'm also missing Martin Diego. I haven't seen Martin. Thank you, Dwayne. I have a cup of, I have a cup of coffee. You want a sip? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me tell you. Rocky here is awesome. If you guys never seen his caricatures, uh, go over to Rocky Sawyer. S-A-W-Y-E-R. Become his friend because he's a friend of ours. And we'll have a sit down. That's all. But I got another problem. If something should happen to my other son, like get struck by lightning or a police officer shoot him, we're going to have some problems here. <laughs> Good morning, CJ, my man from Baltimore City Q's. Good morning to you and Peggy, of course. Love you guys. Just wrapped up my chicken. What the hell is that? Husbandry duties. Okay. <laughs> Raymond Lenage, you're a trip. I didn't see who was typing that. But now that I see who's typing it, thank you for your sense of humor, really. It's uh, very unique. Very unique. No, I'm good, Rocky. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself, Rock. Don't leave without saying goodbye, huh? Rocky Soy is really, really nice. The game is, the gang is shuffling in. All right. Hey, John, the table mechanic, my man for many years, the best in the business. Pull pulse. All right, what is this? Good morning. Some snow here. It's a marshmallow world in the winter. Yeah, here too, Johnny. It's uh, really hitting us hard. I'm hitting them good, Al. I know you are. I, I see your practice, believe me. Just because you don't see me, I'm watching. I got to keep an eye on the horses, man. Will the finals be a race to nine, Al? No, they are not a race to nine. I believe it's a race to 13. Don't quote me on it because things can change. I don't know what Mike Zuglin has up his sleeve. But I believe it's race to 13. Got some moonshine here, baby. Ooh, two big jaws of taffy for friends and people. I don't like to call them fans. So I don't think I'm anything special. Just uh, friends and people that pass by. We got taffy at the booth, courtesy of Diamond. Uh, David, uh, Isaac, went out and bought uh, two big jaws. And I was afraid that people were going to eat them. He said, oh, those are yours. That's for nice of David Isaac. Thank you, David, if you're listening in. Uh, 
everything helps, folks. You know, keeps us well-oiled, keeps me on the road. Of course, whatever comes in, I split it with uh, Zach Goldsmith because I am a man of my word, you know. But things don't work the other way around. That's the shame. <laughs> David Ascalis. I mean, David Alcady in the house. Happy birthday, uh, senor. El Matador. Dave Arcady. It's always fun seeing the Spain crew. Who are the contenders at this point, Al? Well, you got Jason Shaw, you got Rodney Morris, you got Fedor Gorse, you got Casper from Finland, you got Ronnie uh, Costanzio. Um, actually, Fedor is setting up his tripod now. I do allow him to stream uh, everywhere I am. I mean, I think he's a big asset to the game. And who am I to say, hey, don't stream it to your YouTube channel, right? So Fedor will be streaming his match, which will be taking place right behind this table in the very one in the back. You'll be able to see the, both matches right from here. But uh, I like Fedor. I think he's very respectful. He always asks, Al, can I stream it? I told him, don't ask. Just do it. I said, but the finals, you can't. But I will give him a recording of the finals so he can put it on his YouTube channel. Uh, so he's setting up his little tripod in the back there. I just want to make everybody aware of it. This way here, if you want to sweat his match, he will be streaming it on his channel. I say we shake hands all around the world. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Roberts. That's Eric Roberts' dad right there. What a shooter Eric Roberts is. If you don't know who he is, when you see him, his name pop up on the stream, check him out. Uh, Eric Roberts I had in the booth with me uh, down in uh, Maryville. Uh, of course, Matt and Farah, they own that room. And uh, it's always a pleasure to see Matt and Farah and the whole family. I spent Christmas there and New Year's uh, on the road with that family, and it's pretty awesome. They want to adopt me, Uncle Al. I'm the Uncle Al. <laughs> the kids are great, really great. They went to New York City and uh, took in some of the sights. They nev never been to New York City, neither the parents or the children, so they took them there. Good morning, Neil. What do you say, buddy? Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, in the house. See you at lunch break. What? Let me see you at lunch break. You Tommy, you're not coming here, man. <laughs> okay? Let me see you at lunch break. What the heck are you talking about? I was at the Turning Stone yesterday, Rodney playing like back in the day. Yeah, yeah, don't let Rodney get a, a flashback. Nobody has to like it. Have you had your coffee? I had tea, Brian. Thank you. I had tea with honey. You know, I keep trying to kick this thing, but somebody said yesterday there's a 100-day flu going around. You know what? I'm pretty, not, well, not close. Oh, am I getting feedback here? All right, that should be better. I don't know, we picked up some feedback from uh, one of the lines. Thank you for uh, giving us the heads up about the audio there, Matt. Appreciate it. Should be good now, right? Matthew, how's the audio now? Hard crackle and high tone, yeah. Somewhere along the line, we picked up some kind of feedback. Probably the magnetic field around the flat earth. Isn't that right, Max? <laughs> still, still there a bit? No way. Nah, no way. Refresh the page if that's the case, Devin. Decent? Oh, it looks good to me. I, I seen the feedback all of a sudden pop up. I think it's Zach Goldsmith freaking around behind the scenes. Better, but still there a bit? Are you kidding? Just like a slight crackle? I don't hear anything. Let me uh, turn the video on. Stand by. If that case, if that's the case, then I'll uh, refresh the whole thing. Uh, oh, it's good now. Refresh. Everybody that has a little crackle, refresh, because then you get the crackle pop and you add the milk, and uh, we're ready to go with the Rice Krispies with the melted marshmallow. 
dollar seventy nine for a small bar. <laughs> Good now, thanks, Matt. Good. All right, guys, refresh if you're getting a cracky. It's not a crack show. It's Turning Stone Casino, right here in Verona, New York. It's the Turning Stone Classic, thirty eight. All right. All of them. Talking to Zach on the side. Uh, Rick Donna. Oh, Rick Donna told me to tell you hi. Hey, tell Rick I said hi. Rick's a, one of the good guys too, man. I enjoy your streams, but I don't have PayPal. Please send me an email at, that I can donate. Well, you can uh, use a credit card on PayPal. I mean, it's very simple, but you, not necessary if you don't want to, Giselle. Um, a lot of people have been uh, sending in donations, and we appreciate every single penny. But uh, I will put up the link. We can take the poster down if that's what you wish. I think that's what you're asking for. So we'll take the poster down. You see Rodney Morris. And if you see the link on the top of your screen, it's upstateoutpool at gmail.com. Will you move that thing so we can watch and practice just for that, Adam Law? No. For you, when you get the man in like that, it's not a thing. It's the poster for the event. If you don't appreciate what the Turning Stone is doing here for 38 tournaments, putting in 25K, it's not a thing. It's the Turning Stone. Just busting your chops. But now I'll let you see it. <laughs> All right. I don't like to be in that position where I begrudge somebody. <laughs> it's just not me. Let me move this uh, update here for the times and the match. A little bit to the side so you can see Rodney's feet, too. This way you can get a good shot. Hey, Snooky. Love you, Snooky. That's the original Snooky. That's the original Snooky, folks. Before the soap opera on TV or cable, whatever you want to call TV today. Uh, that's the original Snooky right there. You don't bully Al. <laughs> yeah, don't bully me, man. <laughs> What's up, Reed? <laughs> it's my man Reed Vance right there. <laughs> I love you, Snookster. We're going to be at Rax if you guys are coming over. Big Al, Steinway Al, and the crew. Eugene, I haven't seen Eugene. If you hear me mute every once in a while, it's because I have to uh, expel the mosquitoes I inhaled overnight. Now I need napkins. I'll get them. Hey, Adam, you happy with this view? I know what you're saying, bro. You like to appreciate Rodney Morris's English and his spinning I dig it too, man. He plays great position. Uh, he's on fire. Mr. Fedor Gost. Right behind Rodney Morris. Does it get any better than this? When are you coming out? I'm coming. I should be there Thursday, Michael. Uh, but maybe Wednesday. I'll call you. Rodney recently visited Double Kiss Pool and Sports Lounge here in, how do you say that? Pattaya? Thailand with Earl Strickland and Stuart Bingham was there also. Then Kelly Fisher. Wow, cool. Oh, hey, Mark. That's nice. Get some headliners coming your way. 
I don't blame you for not leaving. The weather here is not too bad. You're the man, brother. You're the man, Adam. When Adam speaks, we all listen. <laughs> Rodney uh, working on his physique, getting back into shape. Put on some weight, and now he's trimming down again. I don't know how to do it. I guess just keep the food away from your mouth, I guess. What they do is they fast, then they just eat no whiteies and work out every day. I work out too, every day. You guys want to hear Rodney Morris and what he's doing for Mika? Do you want to hear his voice? Still no better on stream. Did he request to not be in the mainstream? No, no, we can put Feder on anytime we want. But using the odds, him being on the winner's side, what's the odds of him going to be on the mainstream? Tell me that. What's the odds? Is the, are the odds good? That's why we did it. Um, what was I going to say? All right, whatever. Feta has his own stream going. Yeah, he has his own stream on his phone going. Uh, I allow, he, he's very respectful. He asked, he said, Al, would you mind if I stream? And I said, go right ahead, man. You know, a lot of people don't let him do that. Uh, and for him to ask, absolutely, man, go ahead and do it. And he's one of the very respectful of many players in the pool world. So, hey, Rocky. Rocky from Capone's down in Spring Hill, Florida, I believe it is. He's always doing a lot for pool, him and his family. And stop posting those pictures with the bajut and the moots. You're killing me, Rocky. You're killing me. <laughs> Better go ask, can do what he No, he can't do what he wants. That's not true. <laughs> He's very respectful, and there's, there were times where I told him no because we're down in the semis in the hot seat. He can't do it. But he's got my go-ahead. So that's incorrect, Mark. Don't let me slap your hand. <laughs> what was the Shore versus Archer score? Well, you can go to digitalpool.com, and you can see all that, Mark Murphy. I got enough on my plate. Watching from North Carolina, my man, Ray Johnson. In the house. Nine to three. There, you see that? Mark knows. He's got it all written down. I appreciate being able to watch this. Hey, Chuck, we appreciate you being here also. We definitely do. Do you want to hear from Rodney? Well, let me tell you what Rodney did. He came in with a shopping bag full of DVDs. <laughs> Buck. Uh, Rodney came in with a shopping bag full of DVDs, you know, rocket science. He came in with a beautiful. Hey, Rodney, what, what was that case? Who made that case? That ostrich skin? Uh, Who? Dan Whitten. Uh, okay. Dan Witten case, uh, actually the son, Joe Witten, uh, Joe Witten uh, made the case, beautiful ostrich skin case. Uh, Rodney is uh, selling that and selling all the DVDs and 100% of the proceeds goes to Mika. Uh, in fact, uh, if, if somebody can do me a favor and get the link for the GoFundMe for Mika and you can put it in the, uh, the comments, I would appreciate it. Uh, somebody can do it or everybody. Let's get Mika some more help. He's a really great guy, and uh, he's fighting the battle. So if we can help, let's put it in there. These folks are a bit brunty. <laughs> yeah, they are, Snook. 
Hey, uh, we might have to turn you into a moderator, <laughs> but I'm afraid you're going to slap them all. Hey, Vinny, my man. My man, Vinny. Absolutely. Vinny, I put it up there already, but we can put it up there again since you're here. I'm really not allowed to do it, I don't think, but you know what? The KC Memorial's coming up, folks. The 13th through the 14th, we will be on premises. Please get in this tournament. It, don't get shut out. Last time there was a, like 25 to 30 people that got shut out. I don't want anybody to get shut out. We want to celebrate the life of Casey. Sweet guy. Make sure to get in touch with Rax. Sports Bar and Grill, West Hempstead, Long Island. I'll take a screenshot of this uh, flyer right here. They're going to have shirts available. Thank you, Norman. Appreciate that. There's the link, folks, for the gun GoFundMe for Mika. Um, he needs us. He needs us. And uh, we are at his service as much as we can. It's a, it's a fight he has to fight. He's a champion. Champion. I'm so sorry I didn't send my video in uh, to me. And uh, Levi Combs. That's my man Levi. I miss Levi, man. I always ask if Levi's going to be there. Folks, that's the GoFundMe for Mika. Let's get him some help. Ronnie Costanzo. You know what I like about Ron Costanzo? Is he's passing by the booth with a smile from ear to ear. He really loves this sport, the game. You can call it anything you want. The NFL is a game, but it's a sport. Basketball is a game, but it's a sport. I copywritten those few words. <laughs> Mark, take notes, all right? <laughs> Appreciate it, Norman. Appreciate it. And we'll be sharing that link throughout the day. Uh, we'll probably have thousands of people watching uh, towards the uh, hot seats and the finals. And if we can get a little more help with Mika, I'm all in. You know, push me all in. Always willing to help others. Like I said, those that do not know Meeker, um, next time you see him in your neck of the woods, talk to him. He's really, really a nice guy. Some people, you know, they say, oh, he's the ice man, <laughs> you know. He's cold as ice. Nah. He's not, man. He's, he's got a good heart, really good heart. Rodney pushing the cue ball against the rail just to practice the shot off the rail. How you like it? Some people don't want to be on the rail. Rodney brings the cue ball back to the rail. <laughs> He's fighting any fears. <laughs> All right, so I got eggnog saltwater taffy right here in front of me by the jar full. And with this cold, I, need, I had a package of holes on the desk here and come down this morning and they're gone. I'm going to get Heather. Heather and Natalie took my holes, probably. <laughs> I'm blaming them. <laughs> Even if they didn't do it, I'm blaming them. <laughs> I saw Heather this morning. And her other half, Chris, Chico, he, they were downstairs. Uh, I, I would imagine they will be in the, the box at one time or another. Uh, we'd love to have them. Usually when I go to... Uh, the Super Billions Expo, Alan Hopkins uh, Expo. Uh, Heather, and, and I don't look forward to it because I don't expect anybody to do that, but they bring in uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And Todd Nevins is the one that started it. Somebody asked me out, what's your go-to candy bar? Or oh, candy and I. I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And... I was up at Snooker's, and it was a family-sized bag that Todd Nevins brought me. <laughs> and, wow. Me and Peanut Butter Cups are like peas and carrots, as far as Cup would say. Is Rodney, Rodney making a run for the Moscone Cup, too? I don't think so. Rodney has a lot on his plate. He's got a lot going on. Uh, if it does happen, he would help welcome it with open arms. Let me get Rodney over here.
Hello. Hey, Mr. Morris. How are you, my friend? I'm oh, good. I'm good. Are you, uh, people are asking if you're making a run for the Moscone Cup. I said if it happens, it happens. He's got a lot on his plate, you know, with your tour and your league yeah. and everything. And I, I know you're doing a lot for Mika, and uh, I want to give you all kudos. Can you tell us what you're doing with the... Uh, yeah, just my, um, you know, I always sell my, my rocket science DVDs. And uh, so this time I was like, you know what, let me, uh, whatever people buy here, I'll just give the money to Mika. And uh, um, also to the, um, me and Mika always done, you know, for over 20 years, we've, we've done 10%, you know, with each other over the years. Just kind of, you know, give, oh, so you know. giving them a percentage of your uh, earnings? Yeah, I'm giving them 10% of uh, my, my earning for the year. Whatever tournaments wow. I play in, I'm going to give I'm gonna give them 10%. For so, the year? Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Tell so, Rodney uh, uh, hi from Thailand, Mark White. Hey, what's happening, man? What's <laughs> up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to go back out there. And the case is the ostrich skin? Yeah, so that was, uh, I'm going to put my uh, signature. Um, uh, yeah, I think that originally that was uh, 1250 bucks uh, uh, bought for, but um, I'm going to um, put my signature J Flowers Q in there. It's all carbon fiber, and uh, I'm not sure it's even available on the website yet, but I'm going to put that in there, and if somebody wants to buy that whole combination for 2000 that's going right to Mika. And where do they go? Uh, to just purchase? message me on Facebook or whatever. Just, you know, hit me up, and I can send the pictures of it. It's a one by two, so it's, you know, it's it's it was... Uh, just his personal cue was in there, yeah. So, wow. But, yeah. and um, Talk about memorabilia. Yeah, it'd be cool. So, yeah. um, and then um, I ha also have a uh, um, picture that uh, we took years ago when M Mika and I were partners in uh, Manny Pacquiao tournament, the very first one they had. And we were out on that. his island, and we took a picture, and we got the signed uh, uh, gloves that he actually had, and we took a picture. He's so, talking about boxing gloves. Yeah, boxing gloves. So it's Manny, Mika, and myself. And we're, um, I'm going to make a um, hundred, I'm going to number them one through a hundred and I'm going to do uh, a uh, reprints of those. Oh, and, cool. And people, yeah. And then, you know, and, and all that money's going to Mika, whatever people want to buy. And, and it's going to have our signature, all three of our signatures and on they, it. And they say the pool world is like a shiny, a shiny place to be. Now, I don't think so, folks. This is all good <laughs> people working. And with Mika, you got to fight it, champ. Yeah. Thanks, Rod. Yes, I don't want to take away right. from your practice, you guys, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you for yeah, all yeah. you do, Rod. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks everybody okay. watching. There you have it, folks. The Rocket himself, Rodney Morris. Uh, it's really, uh, it's touching. Uh, like he said, they're friends for many years. Uh, Rodney cannot see the comments, by the way, folks. He was He's on the opposite side of the arena. I'm sitting uh, at the booth, so I handed him a headset. Well, that's what everybody's predicting, Marco. Sure, and Fedor in the finals. But let me tell you something. Don't sleep on Ronnie Costanzio. Good morning, Matthias, my friend from down in uh, Norfolk and Virginia Beach area. One of the good guys that plays a straight pool. Eleven o'clock is coming up soon, folks. Ten thirty-five, twenty-five minutes away from the first match. Rodney Morris. Hey, he's a man of his word. Copper City billiards in the house. Uh, we got about twenty-five minutes. I'm just chit-chatting with the folks. But if you want to chit-chat, get right on the air and pick up a headset, young lady. We can, who's that now? Who's that young lady? All right, let's. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. How's everybody? Everybody's good. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the comments down there on Facebook. Tell them who you are and tell them who the young lady is to your right also. Well, good morning, Al. This is uh, Blaine from Copper City Billiards. I told you last night I'd stop in, so I wanted to come in and see uh, see the boys. He's a man of his word. Around. Yeah, absolutely. And we brought a uh, young player out of Copper City Billiards. Is also my daughter, Caribri Wiggins. Uh, she's going to come watch some of these fine players play and maybe pick up a tip or two to beat up on her dad at the table once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, my dad mostly beats me, but that's, that's all right. We, we're just in it for fun. Focusing on college for now and at the pool hall in my free time. 
Absolutely. Well, I want you to get your education, and then uh, then you can beat people up in pool uh, down the road. But for now, you can just work on beating on me, and we'll go from there. Yeah, definitely. I heard this is your daughter. And what is your daughter's name? Cara Bree. Cara Bree? Yes. Is that with a K or a C? With a K. K A R A. B R I E. B R. Beautiful name. Well, how'd you come up with that? A lot of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Better than Budweiser name. <laughs> well, welcome no. aboard. No, I. You know, actually, her mother and I were uh, back and forth with several names, and uh, she wound up with uh, Caribri. We com You know, we combined a few and. Uh, wanted to be different so you know and being scottish and and irish we had to do it so all right i understand we have a uh, spammer jimmy where's that spammer at it is it on youtube or is it on uh, facebook because i don't see it on facebook the only gofundme we're going to uh, actually put out there is from mika eminent uh if anybody is let me hey zach is there a spammer on youtube yeah no it's on it's no it's on facebook sir it's right there you can see him Where? Where's the GoFundMe? Someone child abuse, child abuse. Looks like he's posted it about four times. This guy? No, right here. This guy? Yeah. No, no, no. I know Jeff. Oh, right. I know Jeff. No, they said it, they're spamming a GoFundMe somewhere else. Oh. I think it's on YouTube. Uh, you know, we're trying to help Meeker out as much as we can. Absolutely, we have to. Um, Anybody have word on how how is Mika Eminem doing? Oh, well, he's got you know he's taking chemo. Yes, yes. Lost a lot of weight. Ah, uh, well, we're going to continue to keep him in our prayers, and what a fine advocate for the game, and we want to make sure that uh, we all pray and do what we can to make sure he uh, he gets better and continues on his path of of great billiards and pushing the game, and it's just a, just a fine gentleman all around. Uh, I want to just give a shout out to Giselle Maurice. I, I think we go through this every Turning Stone. I, I don't accept, um, I don't know how to, I, it's not that I don't accept. Uh, I, you did send in a donation, but I don't know how to use the app coming out of Canada. The only thing I do use is uh, PayPal. So I appreciate the try. I just don't use that other app. I think we go through this like every six months, but thank you, Giselle. Don't you worry about a thing. All right. Getting close to uh, showtime here with the first match. Yeah, this should be a, this should be a heck of a heck of a match to watch. Jason Shaw and Roddy Bar uh, Morris. Yeah. Well, you know, the winner of this and then the winner of the match behind this will be in the hot seat, right? Fedor's on the winner's side and... Uh, Jason's on uh, winner's side, Rodney's on the winner's side, and I guess Eric Hollison's on the winner's side. So the winner of these two matches, which is the winner's side, will be the candidates for the hot seat. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good good afternoon. We got what about 9 hours of pool today. Oh, oh Jeff is what Jeff meant by uh uh, child abuse. He says his daughter said my dad usually beats me with, in, <laughs> in the pool game. <laughs> well, but Jeff is a good egg. He's really a good guy. Man. Oh well, you know, I, I got to tell you, Jeff. She, uh, <laughs> we have a long-standing rule that if she's going to beat me, she has to beat me, and and I can't I can't give her any any leeway like I wouldn't give any other player. So the defensive shots come out, and that's the way to practice. That's well, the way to play. But I'm going to tell you this, I. I you know, the other day she uh, she did beat me. She I absolutely did. did. Fantastic. Fair and square. Good, good. Well, that's what it's all about. You know, you go play uh, Buddy Hall or you go practice with Rodney Morris or Meek or any one of these champs, just because they're practicing doesn't mean they're going to lay down. They practice at this caliber of play like they're playing in the finals at a major event. That's how they practice. And that's the way the sport, a.k.a. what they call the game, but football is a game, and it's a sport. Pool is a game, and it's a sport also. You do a lot of walking. So, yeah, you guys practice hard, man. Practice like you're shooting for the trophy. Well, you know, you know what they say, Al, as, as parents. We always want our children to be better than us, so I hope she's a much better pool player than I ever will be. There you go. But go to college. Stay away from the game and stay at home as long as you can, kid. 
<laughs> oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> Dip I into my th- bank account. <laughs> I, got, I got four years, four solid years. So. There you go. The great Ed Colhane always runs that, you know. He says, stay at home as long as you can. So how much, Al, how much of the cheesecake have you dipped into in the last couple of days? The cheesecake? I didn't have any. Uh, I did have a cup of tea and an apple turnover this morning. Uh, I do have saltwater taffy in case your daughter wants any or yourself. You got uh, pumpkin spice and you got uh, eggnog. Wow, so pass so that much. down to the young lady there. Absolutely. Uh, how exciting. There you go. It's Perfect. nice because it's individually wrapped and you can't spread germs, I guess. <laughs> Well, that's a beautiful thing, especially with the way the sicknesses have been running around. You see, Jeff has four daughters. Wow. He oh. says he gets it, yeah. Oh, you got four daughters. So <laughs> well, I can, yeah, I can only sympathize with you, man. That's a, that's a, that's a fine level of estrogen. <laughs> <laughs> I keep a pinstripe suit in the closet in case I got to do life in prison if somebody <laughs> happens to hurt my granddaughter. I'm going away. If you don't see me, that's okay. Don't worry. You see me behind glass. Come and say hello. <laughs> and you know. she told her boyfriend that, too, by the way. Well, her boyfriend, my daughter's boyfriend knows one bruise, one lifetime. That's, 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 it. that's <laughs> one plus one. <laughs> that's it, baby. He's a good egg. He's a good egg. All right, I like that. You know, girls egg. are very, very mature. I have three sons, and I notice that uh, girls are very mature, and they're smart. But sometimes pop and grandpa have to get involved there. Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely, they do. Uh, and, and be honest with, uh, with all of them, because we care. Well, yeah, you have to care. I mean, it's, that's, that's what our job is. Yep. So what uh, I see we have uh, Shaw and Federer practicing here out on uh, table six and seven. Yeah. Getting ready to come over here to table eight in a few minutes. Well, Jason's playing Rodney, you know, uh, on this table here. Federer is going to be playing Eric Hollison over on the table behind it. So you guys at home have the viewing pleasure of both matches. Again, both winners from these first two tables will face each other in the hot seat. That's uh, that's going to be a lot of lot of tough pool today. A lot of tough pool. Yeah, the cream is rise to the top, and it happens in a lot of tournaments. And I'm going to tell you once again: do not sleep on Danny Hewitt, and do not sleep on Ron Costanzo. We know the big names, but don't sleep on those guys. We're going to run some ads because we're getting close to showtime. Just give us a few minutes, guys, and we'll be right back at you. experienced player performing drills to improve your shot making and positional play. The drill partner is perfect for you. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com. The question is, is do we ever, do we ever step back and like, you know, look at, at what, we've, what we've done and wonder, you know, why we're here, kind of pinch ourselves? And, and my answer to that is, yeah, every day pretty much. I mean, I look at her, we talk about that all the time, like we can't believe we're here. 
We truly feel lucky. You know, I mean, if, if anybody asked me, what's the secret to this business, to us in this business, beyond the quality of the product, it's the relationships that we forge with our customers, with the people who, who, in, who enable us to be here. You know, it's the people who come back and buy two or three or four cases and the people who bring their friends. They trust us enough to vouch for us for their friends. And, and that is just amazing to us, you know. We look around and we're like, how lucky can we be? At JV Cases, we care about your cubes by putting layers of padded protection around them and then build as much case as you want around that protection. Visit us at jbcases.com and design your case today. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. But, you know, Richard uh, Sue? Yeah. He makes those tsunami uh, shafts. Those are really good. I've you know, got like one I'm, of those for my Southwest. I like it a lot. And I'm, I'm going to have him make me some for other other cues. And these are other sponsors that help us out on the road. And, uh, of course, Mike Zuglin sponsors, they're all in there. This young lady right here you see on your screen, folks, helps you in any way and takes the stress off your shoulders if you're planning any kind of party, whether it be weddings, reunions, special occasions. You see her right down the flyer. She is Reader's Choice Best Event Planner. She is in Maryville, Tennessee. I think it's Blount, Blount County. I don't know. But if you Google... On YouTube, the best place to live in Tennessee, guess what comes up? Maryville. I've been there a few times. What a great, great place to live. But this young lady will help you out. She's got a, an estate on top of the hill where you can touch the Smoky Mountains. It's just gorgeous. And the wedding's held there. She's got a pavilion that holds a couple of hundred people. 
if Fedor and Christina get married, this is where it's going to be because I'm going to twist their arms right there. Also, we want to thank Kamui. That's the tip that everybody's uh, haunting all the dealers for. So make sure to check out KamuiTips.com. And they chalk the cage. Mr. Zuglin's working his way down. We're going to turn him on. We're going to start the main event, so you should all be at your table, please. You got two or three minutes. All right, so uh, let me open a couple of things here and give you guys a bird's eye view. For those of you that don't know, we're down to the final eight players in the main event. We have uh, Kamui, Fedor, Christina, Zuglin, Fedor, Christina, Zuglin, Fedor, There you see Ron Costanzio right there with the hat. Behind him is Danny Hewitt, Mike Zuglin all the way at the front getting ready to call the matches and then we'll be on the way with the main event. On the left side of the room is another eight tables and he's having a second chance tournament and it's full with 32 players. Rodney Morris back in the swing of things. Well, folks, we want to welcome you to the Turning Stone Classic 38. I'm upstate Al of AZB TV. In the booth, we have some guest commentators. We'll introduce them to you once again. This is the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour finale. There, is, there are two of them a year.
The next one will be in August. The date's already set in stone. The match coming up is going to be the Eagle Eye out of Scotland, residing in Connecticut here in the United States. Jason Shaw against Rodney the Rocket Morris. Blaine's in the booth, and so is Carabri. Carabri. I'll get that right sooner or later. I still screw it up. <laughs> Lord have mercy on you. <laughs> well, with all those nicknames that we got, you're going to get messed up here and there, but, you know, that's all right. It's the price of having an awesome name. There you go. I like positivity. Positivity is good. All right, let's turn Mr. Zuglin. As soon as he fixed that score there. <laughs> Okay, like I said, we've got uh, eight players left. <clears throat> we're going to eliminate a couple, and we're going to keep playing until uh, we get it down to the final two at 7 o'clock. We have this round at 11, then another 1 o'clock round, a 3 o'clock round, a 5 o'clock round, and the finals at 7. First from New York, he's uh, – did we get it yet? Yeah. Is it right now? <laughs> From New York City, he's won on our tournament, our tour in the past, and he had a nice fifth place finish not too long ago here. He's a house pro at Society Billiards, having a great tournament this week, Jonathan Smith. All right, his opponent, he's from uh, Quebec. He's a multiple winner on our Joss Northeast Nine Ball Tour. At one point, he won the, uh, a $30,000 first place Trump tournament down there in Trump Towers or Trump uh, Plaza Casino in Atlantic City, right? Trump, yeah, Trump Marina, Danny Hewitt, all right. All right, over here, one of our regular players on our tour plays with us virtually every week or every time we have a tournament. He's won multiple tournaments throughout the years. I've been playing with this guy for years. And he's been a top player up here in this part of the country for years. He's, he's one of our uh, former tour point champions. As a matter of fact, I think he was tour point champion last season. He's sponsored by Hydric Custom Cues and uh, East Ridge Billiards, Ron Casanzio. And his opponent, first time here at Turning Stone, comes all the way from Finland. He's a uh, former European champ. He's the number one ranked player in Finland, Kasper Matikainen. All right. All right, from uh, Memphis, Indiana, originally from Russia. I believe uh, he's going to get his citizenship pretty soon. World nine ball champ. Two-time Derby City All-Around champ. He won this tournament just a few months ago. He won our uh, tournament on Labor Day weekend, and he's a former Perry. Oh, he won. He's a current Perry Open champ. He came in second in the U.S. Open last year. Feder Gorst and his opponent. He's no stranger to us around here. This gentleman. He's won many tournaments on our tour in the past. He's from Toronto. He. Uh, he had a second place finish here not too long ago. He's a former Canadian nine ball and 10 ball champion. He's sponsored by Spot On Billiards and Kuiper's Bakery, Big Red Eric Horlifson. What happened? Oh. Right. Okay, from uh, Ackward, Georgia, he also won this tournament in the past, <clears throat> and he's a BCA Hall of Famer to boot, and he's won tournaments all over the world, and he is donating his entire prize money to Mika Eminen's uh, medical expenses, so we thank him for that, and also... He's selling his DVDs right here. He's got the DVDs he's selling. And if you buy one of these, all that gets donated to uh, Mika's uh, medical expenses. Appreciate that. Mika, as you know, or if you don't know, Mika contracted cancer, and he's going through treatment, and we wish him the best, and we could do everything we can to help him, and he's doing the best he can. Rodney Morris, all right? His opponent, he's from Orange, Connecticut. He's on our poster along with Fetter and Johnny Archer. We still have posters if you'd like to get them to sign it for you. He won this tournament nine times, nine times. He also, 
just won the Hanoi Open Championship over there in Vietnam. Hard to, for me to believe that they have pool tournaments in Vietnam. He uh, won the Kuwait Nine Ball Championship. He won the Challenge of Champions, the U.S. Open Champion. He's a two-time International Nine Ball Open Champ, and it just goes on and on. Jason Shaw, you know him. All right, good luck, guys. I'm betting that this well, let's mute Mike Zuglin's audio <laughs> as these two players are going to lag for the break in the boxes. Brandon Shub. Hey, Al. Thanks for having Blaine. me, man. It's good to be back. Hey, Brandon. A little musical chairs here today, but I like it. Yeah. Here we go. A little closer. Give me some audio, Blaine. But for you, let me see you. Give me some audio. Let me hear you. All right. We're, yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Jason Shaw to break. Brandon, thank you for coming down, buddy. Yeah, no problem, man. I'm glad to be back in here. I had a good time yesterday. Thanks for getting me back in here. Well, it's yeah. a pleasure to it's a pleasure to meet you anyway, Brandon. Yeah, you too, man. What's your name again? Blaine. Blaine, nice to meet you, buddy. Blaine owns Copper City Billiards right oh, down the road. Oh, okay, you're the Copper City Billiards guy. That's cool. Yeah, one of the two. I love copper. Copper's good. Seems like Jason might have a bug. Hey, James Tippy McManus says, welcome, Brandon and Blaine. Hey, thanks. Guys, you got the best of both worlds. You see Fed August in the background there. Yep, two of the hottest players on the planet right here. Yep. Rodney Morris and Jason Shaw, both left-handed. Look at the one. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah how they spread. Yeah, Deuce is in a little funny spot. Mm. Yeah, that is a spot. What Does he just draw off this and get between the seven and the three and possibly mm. have the two down the rail just where the cue ball is now? What do you think? There's two ways he can play this. He can bank it. He can bank the deuce back in the side, but if it's frozen, it's more difficult of a shot. But then you got to get position on a three. The other shot would be to play the cue ball forward, try to come back to the center of the table and play the thin cut on the two back in, down into the corner. I can't tell you, what he's going to do. You don't like to draw back where the cue ball is now? No, you risk hooking yourself. Yeah, yeah. There you, can't, is, you can't do that. I mean, the seven ball does grow like a beach ball, but. Yeah. See, he's looking at how he wants to shoot the two right now. Yeah. So even if he comes back and hits the seven, it's like, you know, that's a good spot. That That's a good aiming point. Yeah. Good point. You just don't want to get the seven against the rail and block the three up again. All right. This is, this is going to be the key shot right here. Key shot. I think he's going to try position to shoot the two in the corner. The conservative way is just to roll your cue ball up, keep it somewhere around the one ball, and bank the two ball. That's but the that, way that's, I think that's, he might go. Brandon. That's scary, though. Yeah, you know? that's very scary. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that right out the gate. If you're up four to, four to zero on on a guy or something, then you can kind of oh, put the jetpacks on and go right yeah. for it, man. Yeah, a little confidence go right in out. it, go after it. But. Yeah. but all these champions, you know, when when the sets open up and it's you know, every moment is so critical in the very beginning. <laughs> yeah, see, he's looking at a lot right now. Key shot. Deserves the respect right now. Absolutely. Right. This is probably the rack. Yeah, it's hard to make a decision. Look, it's amazing. You know, and these are the cream of the crop players here, guys. These are the best in the world. And yeah, they're, we're they're definitely. We need the Earl Strickland shot clock on this. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, Earl Strickland shot clock is copywritten by Upstate Al. Nobody can use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Look, he's like, what do I do? So, so yeah, decisiveness is a key factor you know you got to know how to be decisive with what you want to do even if it's the right shot or not even if you can find the right shot or not he's battling with himself he wants a drawer it's so bad man. yeah he does yeah he's looked at that half a dozen times already he's he's going he's digging the conservative thin cut down the rail that was my second option in the very beginning that's that was the play I decided right when I saw it. Yeah, you're not playing with a, a kid in the park here. It's just a nobody. You're playing with Rodney Morris. Right. you got to be kind of conservative. 
But I really don't like this angle. I'll tell you, the decision it. maker to play this shot this way is because the deuce is frozen on the rail. You can go rail first on accident and still Absolutely. make it. It's a bigger ball. If it was off of the rail, you, it's a scarier shot. Uh, it's scary enough the way it is, right? Nice shot. He overhit it, but good shot. He's going to have to do that again with the three. This is actually harder than the one he just shot. Yeah. Because no. the two was on the rail, like Brandon said. Now he's in a spot. He might bank this on the side. Oof. You think? I don't like yeah. it. But Jason might like it. Yeah, he might. You know, sure uh, has the mentality, uh, just like the players at the table here. I mean, Shaw has the mentality, just like the players at the table. So I wouldn't be surprised to, for him to bank this, but it's like an overbank. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, he could bank it in the corner, too, but I, I don't think that that's more of a viable option than the one on the side. I mean, the bank in the side. I don't see a safety anywhere. I like him cutting it. He tried to bank it in the he side. He sure did. Watch the rock here. Oh, tough. You oh. just lost your back, Brandon. <laughs> you just lost it. <laughs> you sleep. I was in the gonna shade. say, you know, watch the scratch in the corner. You know, come, you're coming down near the four. <laughs> Danny De Liberto would say that. Yeah. God bless you, Danny. I hope you tuned in. Yeah, Danny's. Yeah. This is uh, this, this is gonna be a dog fight, guys. Yeah. Yeah. If Rodney gets the lead, we're in for a pretty entertaining set here. I'll tell you Absolutely. what. Absolutely. I'm oh, I'm saying this this match struggling. isn't gonna go over 45 minutes <laughs> with these two guys once they start punching third gear. Over 45 minutes, guys. Let's uh, in the chat. Uh, well, let's put the over and under on that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, what time is it? It's 11:08 on the Eastern Seaboard. <laughs> Mark White in the commentary. When push comes to shuff, get Brandon in the booth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Take this job and shove it. <laughs> Mocks it out in Thailand. Great guy. He's not going to be at Derby City, and he better have a late note for next year. Look, Roddy Morris is one of the most natural ability players. He's amazing, man. I mean, it's just amazing. And listen, Jason Shaw is the same type. Yeah, this is, you know, they don't waste any time. You know, they get down to the instinct. I remember being at a tournament in Connecticut where Tommy D'Alfonso, a young Tommy D'Alfonso, a.k.a. Shorty, we were at uh, Action Billiards? No, we were at Sal Bev's room in Connecticut. I think it was Action Billiards, the name of it. And uh, Shorty beat Rodney 9 <laughs> nothing. I went to the restroom. I came back and wow. said, Rodney, how you do? He says, Al, that kid is on fire. <laughs> 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 Only to find out he beat Rodney 9 nothing. Wow. Big shout out to Shorty up there in the New England area. Yeah, D'Alfonso. I remember when I was coming up, man, he was one of the hottest players on the East Coast. Young guy, yeah. Yeah. 48 minutes including a break, Scott Batten says. <laughs> yeah, I would have to say so. Well, this is uh, this is gonna let Shaw back at the table. Well, this is what you want to see right here, you know, an, a, a nice play to the two ball to get back to the three. That's your, and then the six to the seven. That's your only issue to work through here. Well, I try to come back and get a little closer to my work there you know i hate having balls near my bridge hand yeah i can't i can't disagree with that at all but sometimes you don't think about those things and you don't need to you know so no big deal right it might be part of the over analyzing you know don't even think about it sometimes when you're punching that gear you don't even see that ball around your hand you just know where to place your hand and just pop the ball and it's just right. amazing brooke myers i want to give a big shout out to brooke myers Action Billiards, yeah, he remembers it. Yeah, that's the one. Gloria Jean, ride the nine league up in New England. Says she misses us all, and big shout out to you guys. We like, I like to anyway, acknowledge the chatters. I know uh, we love to concentrate on the match, but without hey, every- I see my friend Rick Glasscock in the comments there saying hi from Vegas. 
Uh, I used to play on a tap team with him back in the day. How long ago was that? I don't know, 20 years ago, 40, Boy, 40 years ago. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> no, we, we – yeah, there's a – that tap's growing quite a bit too. Thorn yeah. Fox, miss you girls, and love you babies. <laughs> Thorn Fox uh, did uh, a challenge uh, back in the day against Marana in VIP. All right, we're all – yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we're all tied up here. Rajondell, I haven't seen him in a while. Uh, I believe he's out in the UK. I'm not sure what he's doing. Mike Strasburg from Jersey saying hello to all the booth here. What a piece, Blaine. Yeah. What do you like in a race date? You know, uh, this is going to be it's going to be tough. I I, I think it's going to be e easy. I I don't know. Rod Rodney looks really good. This his fundamentals are strong today. Well, if you look at all of his past matches so far in this tournament, I mean, he's ran through just about everyone. Yeah, exactly. Jason I mean, had a, a tough bracket, and I mean, he he freaking he freaking handed Ron Casanzio a donut. That's not easy to do. That's, you know, I mean, anything can happen here. I mean, Jason's obviously the favorite, but you can't, you can't really, you can't really put, hey, your, good morning, you can't put your money on it. You know what I mean? Meeker, if you're listening in, I'm pretty sure you are. Uh, we wish you all the best uh, from the booth. We will be posting that GoFundMe for Mika every once in a while here. Trevor Siegel, Mike Siegel's son, says he likes Jason. All right, you guys. Get the pom-poms out. You're allowed. Yeah, when the balls start to lay uh, complimentary to each other, you know, and Jason starts speeding up or turning them corners, <laughs> Yeah. watch out. Yeah, he he gets stuff. And yeah, you can you can notice a four or five game swing in ten minutes, five minutes. And that's with this tournament too. Owner, you know, winner having the break that e that can easily swing four or five minutes and right. jump right over. Yeah, it's a break and run by Shaw there. You know when it's a, when it's a lot of offensiveness right out the gate. That's the prime definition of high-powered nine ball. Well, yeah, yeah, there's quality in the players. You know, it's so hard for the working men. You know, Mike Zuglin built this tournament on local players, and you see a lot of local players' names show up in the field. It's amazing how the working man or woman uh, can't turn that switch on from the opening gate. And when you deal with players of, of this level that switches on as soon as they wake up you know yeah. you, including yourself yeah, it's like automatic sometimes yeah yeah it's amazing you know when you see Shane Van Boning I mean, we all witnessed him one time or another when he's down six nil and all of a sudden he just turns that switch and it's mm -hmm. like there's nobody around it's just him and his table at home you know it's beautiful to watch in this format right Jason uh, says it's good enough. Rack four. Two one. Wow, the one got kicked in and wing ball went right in also. How's the two? He's got a shot. Got a shot. Might clip might clip the six, but it but it's not bad. It'll it'll help keep the cue ball down table for the three a little bit. Fitness with a he little bit inside. To, he might be able to miss it. No, yeah, he's going to clip it. Yeah, good shot. Come right around, give him enough of an angle to get back up the table. Yeah, and the rest is history here for this rack. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, that's the way it looks all, right. all the time. Yeah, it does. We're already waiting for rack number four. <laughs> you know, when Ginky, I mean was, when Ginky was alive, rest in peace, 
and we would have tournaments at Chelsea's or he would be in a, a gambling match, we used to bet if Kinky was up at the table breaking, we would bet before he broke that he was out. <laughs> I mean, he, oh, the wow. odds were with you. That's how strong he played in his prime. You knew yeah, that. Yeah, old gangster. Yeah. He's, he's a legend. I only got to play him one time, and I lost Hill Hill to a nine on the snap. Ooh. That's a hard way to but go. But he Ooh. was the most respectful dude Yeah, he's I ever funny played. too, man. Yeah, good guy. Good guy. Yeah, rest in peace, George. Absolutely. Good morning, Jack Butera. Scotty, what's up there, buddy? Everybody at the booth waving their hands at you. Well, this looks like standard procedure here, guys. Yeah. Um, everybody that's paying attention to the match in the back as well, Gorst is up three to nothing at this point. Nice out. Shaw making quick work. We're only in this match nine, nine minutes, and it's already four racks in the bag. That over-under is starting to look a little positive <laughs> for I like, you. <laughs> I like playing life on the edge <laughs> or living on the edge. So that, I guess that's the terminology I was looking for. Living on the edge. Yeah. Center to edge. Center to edge, baby. Use special edge aiming system. Edge out your opponent. All right, let's take a look at the rack. Jason said, thank you very much. It's good to go. I would love to see Jason's focus on his break. Let's get a little closer here. Oh, man, we missed it. <laughs> well, I don't think uh, we'll, have a, we'll have an opportunity to get another one of those. I believe so, yeah. You know, they don't call him Eagle Eye for nothing. He looks like he's swooping down to grab like a rainbow trout or something. <laughs> this, is, this is an interesting layout here. I mean. Yeah, the two ball being way down he's table. Play, yeah, he's playing a good safe. Yeah, he is. Trying. Nice. Very nice. Trying. And he got there. Oh, he locked him up. That's a good save. Now yeah. watch how long it takes Rodney to kick this. Uh, Brandon was mentioning his natural ability. Watch how long it takes him to kick this. And Rodney's played a lot of three cushion. That's one of his favorite games. So, you know, he kind of knows how that cue ball is going in one rail. Let's see how he plays it. If he goes two underneath, I think he's going two underneath. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. He always got to watch And he's going to separate. That. It's very easy to catch that ball full yeah. off the rail like that. That's Rodney. almost like a phenomenon in pool when you scratch underneath that ball like that. It's Look like at his 2-9. I think Jason's debating on it. I like it. Certainly taking a look at it. I think he... He may just roll forward into the six, give it, and just keep the angle on the two a little bit, and just go up table for for position on the four, and and you're off to the races. He might even roll forward just underneath the six, just a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Bump the six, push it out to a better better place. Save that angle. Get that back was my up first table. instinct. Yep. Where's Earl? Earl's on the road. If you're talking about Earl Herring, I think Earl Herring. At the age of 80 years old, cashed here at the Turning Stone. Earl Herring back in his day, the Rempies, the Seagulls, the Hopkins, everybody came after Earl Herring in Newburgh, at Gallery Billiards there, and Earl gave them all action. He wasn't foolish. If the game was right, they got the action. Yep, he's a legend in his own right. Good old Earl. He's a respectful player, too, man. I played him a few times here. And so nice. Real nice. Yeah. Real nice. You're right. Bobby Chamberlain. Sorry I couldn't make it there. 
see everyone at Derby. All right, Bobby. I don't blame you with the weather the way it is. Take care of things at home. Stay warm. No, I don't know about you guys. I know Al, you stayed here. I I went home last night. It was it was a long ride home. <laughs> yeah, storm started yesterday. <clears throat> what do you mean by a long ride? Well, you know, traditionally I live about 17 minutes from this location, but you know, it was about 45 minutes to get home in wow. the weather last. Wow, was that due to the weather? Yeah, yeah. Jason Shore, 4-1. It's a fantastic out there. I mean, I think we should create the over and under on how much longer this match is going to take. <laughs> I'm not opposed. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting like this. It's it's not going to take long. Fedora making quick work, too. Yeah, I was having a conversation with Jason the other day. Um, and he's, I said, Jason, how many times you won this? Poster says nine. He goes, yeah, I'm going to go for ten more so I can take a break. <laughs> Jason's <laughs> funny. I want to thank Gloria Jean, Ride the Nine Tour, sending in a gracious donation. She says, donation, love you, God bless. Right back at you, kiddo. Thank you. Absolutely. Make we keep sure. that PayPal donate up sign up right up at the top of the screen for upstatealpool at gmail.com. He does this with on your donations, and, you know, it, it's nice just help keep him on the road. That's right. We do not charge Zuglin uh, one penny, and you really, if you were here to see how much work we put in, uh, you'd be amazed. But we're not patting ourselves on the back. That's what we love to do. Steve Lomax, always coming in at this time of the tournament every six months. Mr. Steve Lomax, the best custom cue maker in the country. Absolutely. After my sponsors. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve understands. <laughs> yeah, Steve is one of the best, man. He's a great guy. Yeah, he is. Some beautiful work. Katie Burley says, let's go, Jay. She's got the short skirt on and the pom-poms. She's on uh, TikTok. We saw that. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I think he's all right. Is he all right? He kind of just... He kind of just pumped that like he was expecting to be safe no matter what, but left a little yeah, bit of looks a window. Yeah, like, looks like he can see it. Yeah. I'll tell you, the pressure the pressure gets immense when a guy puts a bunch of racks on you real quick, and now you're like, wait a minute. Now I got a shot. You know, you got you got to hit him with five now or four, you know. It's so, a lot, yeah, it's those a lot of pressure. Oh, he couldn't even make it. And those nerves will get you quick. Yeah. Especially, you know, knowing that the, you're heading to the hot seat. Jeez, that was tough. You know, you would have liked you would have liked to see a little more of that one. You know? Look, look what Adam says on Facebook. His Facebook memories just told him we were watching Shore versus Gorst. <laughs> I think we're gonna see that in the it, final. Possibly. Very well, but could that's, be. That's, that's, the, that's definitely the favorite final. Yeah, USA versus Europe. You know, coming off the Moscone Cup, why not? All right. Yeah, you're right. I'm still shocked at what happened at the Moscow Cup for, that was, for the Americans. That was a clinic. That was uh, that was a tough watch for the they, Americans. They I need Brandon as a captain, honest. and you'll see things turn around. I got news for you. <laughs> My man. I love uh, it. Well, we're going to get that shirt made up, right, Brandon, for captain? I'm going to be honest. There's a few better captains than me. Yeah, he's very I'm modest. Not, I'm <laughs> not old enough He's yet. not only on, honest, he's modest, folks. Yeah, no, but I'll tell you, you know, with all the – Aside from all the drama and all the bullshit, right? The best captain right now is you know who? Yeah, Archer. Archer. He's Absolutely. the only guy that that makes sense for Absolutely. the job. Well, Rodney. Rodney's a, a, clo Dennis Hatch. a close second. Dennis Hatch. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you listen, I love everything about Miller? about Dennis. Um, yeah. but, Tony but Robles. As far as, like you know, team leader. Tony skills, Robles. Skill sets. Look at know? this. He just swung at the bank. Look at that. Wow! Shot, what a guys. shot! Unbelievable! But what nice a shot! shot. Almost yeah. perfect. Yeah, the – you just don't you, get better than that. Yeah, it sucks when you make a great shot and then you don't get the position. My but, yeah, vote but yeah, I'll tell you, my Moscone thing is that, you know, there's always this energy like we don't have what it takes or we don't have the players. Well, I'll argue to the death of me yeah. that 70 or 80% of our players don't even go for it. We right. have 
tons of talent here yeah. that doesn't get access. They dangle that carrot out there in front yeah, of everybody's act, nose. Yeah, yeah, no offense to anyone. No offense. But they no offense. act like. I call it like I see look, it. Look, we all know what's going on. Yeah. The Brits got to be above Americans no matter what. Well, let's watch this feather on this five ball. Just going to feather it, get him up behind the 6'9". Well, hit it just right. How about that, folks? Perfect. He wanted to get him on the rail, really, to give him just ample opportunities just to shoot would follow. But here, Rodney, now here comes the thriller again. He kicked the seven ball out of whatever it was and scratched. Now he's got to kick towards the five. The only good thing is the five's not that far off the rail. Wow. This is like a nightmare for Rodney right now. You know, he's running in the mud, and the guy behind him, the, the creepy crawler, is like speed running behind him trying to catch him. Like one of those dreams where you're trying to escape. Yeah, if he can just grab one rack, he, you know, that would change his confidence and push him through. But this one looks like Shaw's going to close this one right out. Yeah. Everything's straight in line. Yeah, momentum shifts is what these winter breaks is all about. You know, you got you got to get something going for yourself and cool. just run with your own confidence. You better start shifting quick. I know Rodney needs Rodney needs an open table, or a quick rack or two. You know, to to start to feel like he's back in it. But I will say, five to two, I'm sorry, five to one, five to two, whatever the score is. Right. It's way comf more comfortable to be in a deficit with winter breaks than it is alternate break. You're down five to one in alternate breaks. You're sitting there like, Shh, I got to fade his break three more times. I got to get Timpy McManus up there you as a what? stream sponsor. Sorry, go, go no, right ahead. Cool. Go One ahead. of the things I love, you know, in, in a tournament like this with winter break is, is the guy could be down four to one and he gets out one rack and he can easily, just like Jason's doing right now, swing this back to five, four, five, five, and, and get it comfortable. Right. It's a whole new game at that point. Yeah, winter breaks, you're never out of it. You always feel like, you know, I can turn this around in five minutes, break and run a few, you know. Absolutely. Well, this is going to be a colorful wreck. Yeah. Whoever gets to the deuce has the carom on the eight. Make sure you get a shot after it. It's pretty controllable. Uh, as far as the push out here, uh, you might want to roll up past the left side pocket there somewhere. Or he might just go up into the corner. Yeah, see, I would have gone on the left side of the table somewhere. Yeah, just a past, yeah, past mid you, pocket. Yeah, you give him, you give him access. Uh, to create a little more safety here. But if you're on the other side, it's a little more tricky. Yeah, you got to take this shot. Up five to one, his confidence is there. All right. He'll fire it right in. What's he doing here? Is he gonna play? He's gonna play the eight. Huh. Oh, that was pretty gangster. Jason Shaw's got balls. He he definitely not afraid to take a shot. I love it. I mean, look, Rodney made a post the other day. When he was here practicing, talking about running 10 racks of the ghost or something, and he was explaining about how much fun it was because there wasn't any safeties. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, all offense pool is really great. So when we see sets like this where people are just aggressive the whole time and you're not seeing a lot of safeties, we uh, it's nice. We watched a match yesterday. Uh, we are chatting it up with, with Ronnie, and he – He's sitting out there, and just it was a defensive battle back and forth. That took two, two and a half hours. Jeez. Fantastic match to watch, but yeah, you know, the, when you get into a great defensive match, it's it's a beautiful thing to watch. But it can, but it can also start to seem like it's timid. Yeah, you, you know, both and players are a little scared to get out. Yeah, and, and that's not the players who usually win the tournament. 
Let's just say that, you know. And listen, I'm a victim of that myself. I've been through through the timid nature of how to select things, you know. Oh, absolutely. And it's it's largely to do with your life balances and how you're feeling and the way everything's going and the overall energy. This is a, this is definitely a mental game, and your attitude and emotion are, yeah. are how you're going to get through it. Right. All right. Here we go. That's a good safe by Rodney. It's a hard grind. That's what it is. It's yeah, a hard grind. That might be his ticket to get back at the table here. We'll see what Jason does. He might just play the good old two rail and get it over there near the seven. Yeah, he's looking at it. So, you know, the beautiful thing about nine balls, you always look for the two-way, no matter what ball you're calling or no matter what ball you're sh shooting at. Is he going to get let? Uh, nope, let it out. Rodney will play safe here, stick him on the three. Careful not to make the two in the side. I don't think it goes by the four, though, but it's close. Oh, no, don't play the seven. Oh, I mean, I guess that's okay. No. You got to kick at this two ball, don't you? I mean, the seven's huge, making the pocket big. Yeah. It's a little Unless he's going to mass here. here. I don't think he can mass A. He's going to have to want, oh, I mean, I guess. He's he trying could. it. Yeah, yeah, he's going to do a big mass A here. Bravo. What a sh oh, Bravo. What a yeah. shot. Bravo. good. I mean, has he done that before or something? Uh, you know, maybe once last week. <laughs> Yeah, I got to catch up with Jason downstairs in, in the lobby yesterday. Uh, I haven't spoke to him in, I don't know, maybe a year or so. But we've been pretty good buddies over the years. He's yeah, I got to I got to tell you, about a month and a half ago, he was uh, he was changing some of his cues out, and uh, we were chit chatting. And he goes, "Well, I'll I'll send you up a bunch of what I got, and I'll sign them all for you guys since you just opened Copper City, and help you guys get going." And Nice. Did a great thing for Copper City Billiards, and he's a he's a fine gentleman, a fine player. And That's amazing. I, I got You know, I can't say anything, but you know, thank you for that, and uh, you know, let you guys know out there in the world, Jason's a fantastic individual. Yeah, he's far good, beyond the game. Yeah, he's 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 a real good person. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to have one out of the three of us to do that. I got to play devil's advocate. <laughs> hey, look now, there might he knows. be there might be some shit that pops up in the future where where I, where I'm gonna have to talk some shit to this. Dude, you know, I'm an American and he's a European, okay? Let's just get that straight. Listen, that's But at the know. end of the day, we're friends still, okay? It's but when it comes to business, it's We were business. talking about that yesterday. I was like, look, you European piece of shit. <laughs> when, I, when I have to talk shit, don't take it, you know. He, it was, well, you know. We, we had a funny conversation yesterday. It was it was great catching up with yeah. him. I was you talking, can you I'm can talking. bullshit in battle. You just gotta. Yeah, that's right. We're we're all on the same family here, no matter Absolutely. what. Absolutely. That's why pool is such a unique world. Advocates you know? for the game. Well, just like any other sport, you know, we football they tackle each other, but they're friends. You know, a lot of them are good friends, even though they tackle each other. Right? That's right. That's right. Absolutely. It's nice to watch it too. But I tell you, pool could become the most popular sport in the entire world, and guess what? It's still gonna feel niche. Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. You know, that's the black guy that we had for a while. Look at this. And he's going to do it again. once. Mm -hmm. he jumped right up to, to Massey around that three. Uh-oh, he's going to the jump now, isn't he? Is he going to jump with his cue? He's Masseying again. Yeah, I mean, good. why not? You just, I mean, you just hit one perfect. He's up six to one. A lot of confidence. I'll tell you why not. You could lose a match from here. Well, you know, you got your man down. Keep him down. Roll out somewhere. Up six to one. Yeah, he's looking at all the rollouts. 
Well, it wouldn't be the first time I see Rodney run an eight pack. No, he's uh, well within capable. You know, one thing I love about these streams, and let's see what he does with this. It, you know, and the way the pool is pool's growing. It's coming back. It's getting stronger. It's getting more popular. The pool halls are fuller. It's more popular than it ever was. Uh, it is, absolutely it is. And, you know, the nice thing is that people got to remember, too, it's not the smoky rock bar or, or back rooms that, you know, they're thinking it was in the 40s and 50s. It's, it's clean. Right. It's wonderful. It's a great Correct. family time. Roll out. Uh-oh, this is going to be trouble. Whole ball is going to come into effect. No, it didn't mm -hmm. either. You're right, and I love to see my pool rooms thrive and do great. Slowly but surely, the stigma is just about gone. Who's surely? We're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> the stigma is just about gone. The sport will be brand new soon. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with our history. You gotta love the history and the culture. Don't ever forget it. But let's grow. Absolutely, absolutely. We gotta grow the game. Let's grow, Brandon. Let's grow, Brandon. <laughs> he's trying to keep the cue ball underneath the nine, so he's hitting this two ball at the bottom here. Hopefully, that's what he's aiming for. He hit it while mm. he was going too wide on that. Rodney now can keep this table here. He's got a wide open table with ball in hand. Right. I wouldn't bet against him not getting up. Yeah, this is a must run out. Absolutely. Rodney's going to play the 3-9 combination. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his only, his only tricky spot here is getting on the 6 correctly from the 5. But if you get to a stop shot on the 4, it's not, not an issue for top players. You just have to be more definitive with your decision. Katie Burley oh. said it right. Keep going. Oh, jeez. Oh, Lord. What happened here? I missed, took my eye off the screen. He got himself caught up there or snookered. Yeah, he just, just rolled a little too far. For people looking uh, looking at the match in the back, Gorst is up 6-1. to one. Chrissy Paralski, especially with Digital Pool Old Table Stream. And we're going to see Chrissy. She's running a great tournament down in JOB's in Tennessee. We're heading there. Shot with the reverse spin just to kill the rock. Straight in, Brandon. Just about. I like pumping it forward. Either way, if you got to go to the bottom rail or just to the side rail, just get past that nine a little bit. He's drawing it out. Oh, okay. I'll play it in the side, yeah. Need some clean cleansing going on here on the cue ball. Yeah, it's collecting some dust. Yeah, he just wants a break. That's why I use towel and chalk. You, you rarely ever got asked to get the cue ball cleaned. I don't know, Just they're, not a, saying. they're not a sponsor of mine, but... Oh, that's okay. They're a sponsor of mine. Are they really? Yep. Well, God bless. So, thanks for the plug. Yeah, absolutely. Plug away. As long as they, who, who sponsors you uh, besides uh, Tome? Uh, I'm sponsored by Hustler? Digital Pool, PoolBillers.co, Diamond Tables, Town. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. No, you say the other name. Bruise and Cues. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big time threads. <laughs> That's pretty much my team. My man. <laughs> Got more patches than a NASCAR driver, folks. Brandon Schuff. And I have no Q sponsor. Currently, hey, currently hey. seeking. See what Jason does here. Free agent. Free agent. I love it. Well, there's a lot of great Qs out there, and I'm sure somebody will... Uh, Slide into that hole eventually. Yeah, that'd be great. But if not, I'm not sweating it too bad. I've got an awesome Titleist conversion 
from a great custom cue maker who sponsored me for a long time, Kent Davis. I was with him for many years. Great guy. He doesn't do entirely too much work anymore, but he's one of the best cue makers in the country out on the West Coast. Shout out to Kent Davis for our long-term friendship that we've had. We'll always be friends, but I just had to move forward with, with the cue sponsorship thing, you know? Absolutely. I, you know, I got an eyeball on Rodney, and Rodney's just smile for me to hear every time Jason breaks and makes a couple of balls. Rodney just gives a big smile. Nothing you could do, right? Rodney's got a great attitude, man. Yeah. You know, he's just he knows how to handle himself. There are days you're wa you're watching, and there are days people are watching you. You just got to learn and keep working on it. Right. One thing I'm starting to notice in the pool world is how it's becoming less and less cutthroat of an industry. It's still there a little bit. Absolutely. But, but it's disintegrating because the sport is growing. You know, there's a little bit of exponential things happening to where people don't have to have so much animosity anymore. I think the world is it's starting to realize the pie is big enough for all of us. That's right. You know, it's there's not uh, there's not a need to be aggressive and cutthroat you know we, we want to grow the game as players I, I, I know about you know myself i want to see more people playing the game that's right every time i lose a match to a well we've got plenty of people playing the game that's for sure we need more people watching it <laughs> i think that's the equation you know yeah it's, <clears throat> you know it's samsung's got that billiard tv though and that's one thing i do enjoy we yeah. we keep that up at copper city billiards we keep that on all day oh really that's cool Oh, yeah, we want people watching the game there. We're going to be streaming uh, Upstate L there all the time. We've got TV cool. set up for that when he's on the road. Uh, digital pool TVs are set up in there. That's 14 cool. beautiful diamonds. Oh, nine foots? We got nine foots and seven foots. We got a lot of tap, a lot of APA. Dude, um, you should get the digital pool all table streaming yeah, set up. Oh, okay. we, uh, we're in the process of it right now. Matter of fact, our Wonderful. guy at digital pool is uh, right to our right today. He's actually going to be stopping by Copper City to help us finish that up. Nice. Another room online. That's incredible. Yep, yeah, absolutely. There's, yeah, there's big plans and big things happening with the digital pool team this year. Oh, what a try. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> and he's just smiling and laughing. Oh, they amazing. both are. <laughs> Rodney's happy he did it. <laughs> Look at the smile, though. He's, he's like, I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Ronaldo, hey, I know you, buddy. Send in a donation. Thanks, Ronaldo. <laughs> thank you all so much. Roger Hanos, thank you. Can't thank you and the crew enough for all the hard work you do for our sport. Best regards, Roger. Thank you, Roger. Appreciate you. And appreciate your generosity. I like how Rodney's capable of having a good time no matter what's going on. You gotta love it. Yeah, absolutely. This is a good venue, though. This I mean, I mean, who chuckles like that when you're down seven to one? <laughs> it's a true story. I want to thank uh, Mr. Sim, uh, Del shot. Derek oh, Sim. Oh, oh, oh. thank you oh, so much. Right. He says, "Do me a favor, Alan. Buy John John Smith. I'll marry it for me. Uh, great comms and great event." our society billiards pro appreciate that though mm -hmm. rjh custom cues folks not only is he a sponsor and there we go friend. seven two rodney's got a little momentum going Let's go, in rocket thank you uh tsunami chefs richard shu thank you mark <laughs> mark down from jersey another good guy thank you mark for uh your donation to uh, helping us out here and keeping us alive. You guys are amazing. 
<laughs> Rodney <laughs> comes over and says, I don't know who this kid is, but he's got potential. <laughs> That's what he did when the Alfonso, when Tommy beat him. He came out and said, Al, this kid's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, you know, it's all fun. It's all fun in games. We know it's, you know, it's, it's hard business and it's a grind. But if you're not having fun doing it, man, you know, you, you it'll make you lose your hair. Yeah, that's that's one of the biggest things I've learned. Come on, Rod. Come on, Seven. I want to see Hill Hill here. Come on, one oh. day. Shish kebab. Shish kebab is right. So I, I, I just got word across my phone here, and I'm going to say this. Um I was told to get your information about this Q sponsorship thing from my sponsor, Bull Carbon, who uh, said that they might be interested in talking to you. Oh, that'd be great. Is that uh, West Bond? It is. Oh, it is. Man, West Bond West. is West. cool people. Yeah, he's great people, man. I'm yeah, cool people. right out of Jacksonville, Florida. So I happen I, to know him. I just got uh, word to talk about that. and. I did get word I can actually release this out uh, during this stream today that uh, we are actually going to be doing a tournament series here in New York with Bull Carbon, with a Bull Carbon championship as well. Wonderful. Wow. Yeah, I noticed they've been doing some big things. A lot of big things happen over there at Copper <laughs> City, baby. Copper City wants these young people to come up and play the game. We want a lot of people in-house, and we want to make sure that uh, – whether you're 5 or 50, you're in there shooting balls and having a good time and uh, laughing and joking with the family. Love it. That's they want right. to talk to Brandon. They want to shoot the breeze with you, sir. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to hit up Wes and see, what, see what's going on. Yeah, Wes is good, man. Yeah, one of the gals over there just reached out to me. And uh, my other wow. the other owner of uh, Copper reached City. Out. Not saying no to Bull Carbon, but I've been talking to a couple other companies but it's been a little slow. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, listen. I just take my time, see what comes out the best, you know. Because, listen, the, the sport is growing so fast, and there's so many tournaments now. And look at what they're doing with the Moscone Cup points. Oh, absolutely. You kind of don't want to get caught chasing it when you don't got no way to get everywhere. You know what I mean? Well, is he playing the eight here? And you can't spend your he life savings on chasing it. Yeah, yeah. I did that for too many years. <laughs> I got to tell you, I got a beautiful three seconds bag full of beautiful Muchi Qs, and uh, I, I've taken them out for the Bull Carbon because uh, they're just playing well for me. That's cool. Yeah, this isn't the easiest layout. I mean, playing to a combo here is like, dang it. I mean, the three does go by the seven, but he might get to a situation where just play the combo. You guys are right. West Bond and Jamie are fantastic. Thanks for uh, tagging them in no the good. chat. You caught the rail. Wow. I thought it was aiming right for the center of the jaws. Yeah. But that's for just my point of view. I guess what you say here is uh, Jason's got him right where he needs him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sean Wilkie. Shaw's wings falling off for now. <laughs> oh, that's Mark White. Hey, Tom Seaver, how are you? Glad you're listening in, and uh, we look forward to seeing you up at uh, Copper City. I know you're going to be stopping in there. Wow. He hit this with so, he hit that with so much force follow to try to bend it around the three, and he got there but almost scratched. Oh, wrong camera, guys. Out in the truck. Pay attention. I got to tell you, Shaw's confidence today. He's he's stroking the ball good. This is his house. Yeah, he's the most you know? com he's the most confident player in the world. I mean, you win it nine times. This I mean, there's others that got that confidence, too. Don't get me wrong. You know, oh, yeah. Filler, and, you know, the way they – it's just – it's strong. But I think Jason just he – he'll, he'll, play, he'll play bad, and he's still the most confident player in the world. Absolutely. Well, you know, he – That's how he pulled it out at the cup. He ended up, you know, doing well at the cup, but he started off shaky. Yeah. Or I think I think I saw something like that. Yeah. I haven't been watching it. You yeah. know what, Jason, Jason came through a lot of hard times in his life when he was younger, too. So he, he knows how to be confident. He knows, he knows what he's done. So he's, he's a good guy for that. Yeah, there's no better champion than a champion that comes from a little struggle in any sport, truthfully. Look at this. He's, he's, he's out. What were we saying the other day, Al? Start the car. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he is on uh, the hill after this. But the good thing about this match is a good man like Rodney Morris donating his time, 10% of his earnings throughout the year, selling DVDs, 100% money going to Mika, is not going to be out of this tournament if he loses. He's just going to move over to the B side and climb that strong ladder. 
But Jason, on the other hand, will be one of the contenders for the hot seat. And the match behind this, the winner of that match, will also be the other contender for the hot seat. So Rodney will not be out of the tournament. Nope, just a step towards the next level. Yep. So what time will the hot seat be here tonight? That's a question Today. for the books. For the books. You will definitely know about it. Three ball and the one ball. Boom. Both gone. Bada bing, bada boom. Like it had eyes. And look at this. Just a perfect layout. All right. She's dressed up in a gown and ready and to go out to dinner. That's a wrap. Well, that's what she said. So he might come two rails underneath the seven and come running into the nine here. Or he might play it soft just underneath the seven. Yep. Oh, he goes that way. Oh, nice shot. If, if he gets there. Oh, no. He tried. I think he should have came underneath the seven and done that and ran into the nine the other way. But yeah, I got to agree. But it could have been. It could, it could have happened both ways. You know, it's all right. I'm not saying he's wrong. It's freaking Jason Shaw. <laughs> he, he can't be wrong. Yeah, I don't think we got the right <laughs> to tell him he's wrong. Do you just slow roll this and leave everything married right there, or do you hit it with some kind of force and send the cue ball up towards the six here? Oh, he's planning to kick this ball in, I yeah, think. Yeah, I know. And he might. Well, you got to go up table, too, right? you got to cause separation. Well, even if you hit it bad, you're still flying at the nine ball, too. Mm. Look at the speed. What a roll. Yeah, he he's just raw. I, I don't think it was much of a roll. I think he played that speed. He did try to make the ball, but, you know, there's well, always a backup plan. Right, but but he missed and left no shot. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like a two-way shot, sort of, you know right. what I mean? Hit it just with the right speed. Not that he calcul If he calculated that, he's retiring <laughs> from pool and he's going to be a professor in college. <laughs> <That's it>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, well, he's going to suck right out. Good that. shot, good shot. We got some room. paint. Well, Jason tapped the table and told uh, Rodney, nice shot. And right back at him. Oh. Just leaving him some space for the bank, though. It's workable. Yeah. And then the 5-9, if he can hold the rock right there, and I think he can. The bank is open. It definitely is. It's on a Sunday. On a Sunday. They need all the biz they can get. And there it is. That's all it. right. Course is up over there. Uh, six two on in his match right now. Yeah, Big Red's taking the heat over there. Rodney turning up the heat here. Let's go, baby. There we go. 8-3. <coughs> nice shot. It goes to show you a controlled break is better than a power break. Absolutely. You're absolutely right, Ig. A controlled break is better than a power break. Yeah. What, what can I elaborate on there? Well, a controlled um, break. Well, he's exactly right because I grew up smashing the break because that's what all the players did. In the 80s and the 90s, you power break and nine ball right yeah that's how i grew up and then over time i started realizing that all the greatest players in the world are paying attention to the cue ball and the one ball or the cue ball and the next ball after the break so how many what, how many men overboard did you have back check in it the out day? What, I, what i figured out is that the harder you smash them the less your brain can follow the next ball that you're playing position on on the break so stop smashing them Use just your arm, and you can still hit them really hard. And now you can just control like your this. cue ball better well, and your shot after the break. He lost the rock a little bit. I don't smash them anymore. Yeah, no. Gave, gave that up, you know, because my brain don't follow the shot after the break. Hope that helps someone out there. Helped me, that's for sure. Saved me some wind. You know, if you watch... Uh, Brendan Shuff's matches, I'm sure they're on YouTube or on the internet somewhere. You'll see the controlled wow. break. 
Yeah, I used to have a lot of content out there. I don't really go search for what's out there anymore. I don't really do any of that. Looking at myself stuff, you know. I think it's a good thing that it's recorded, so you can, you know, you can critique yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, if I'll need be. I'm sure I'll go go back to it when I get older. Well, I mean, Annie gets Annie gets lucky on her. I did notice that my doubles match that I played with Mike DeShane from the Moscone Cup isn't anywhere on the internet. The whole thing. It's one of the craziest matches that's ever happened. <laughs> Is that the one where you missed the seven ball? Six ball. Six ball. And four ball. I mean, yeah. hey, I missed two. You know, we're all human. Yeah, But yeah. it was a crazy match. Yeah. He took the heat a lot. Why is that one not on the internet? Well, I don't, I don't want to know what you did in the match to keep it off the internet because that's a tough thing to do. <laughs> I, think, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, stop shot here and play a little bit of safe. Try to get it underneath. Oh, oh, okay. That was tracking. Okay. If Rodney doesn't roll up here, then we'll call in the NYPD, right? <laughs> yeah, the problem with rolling up on this easy safe is that you leave an easy kick. No, don't hit yeah. it easy. You're going to hit it enough to get it in the pocket right. behind the 5-8. I, I like, yeah, I like shooting this real soft yeah. with, with a little bit of inside and just push the two ball to the rail and roll the cue ball up on top of the five and freeze it. Rodney's about to yeah, get that's a, he's that's get, a good He's getting aggressive. Job. He's yeah. playing this combination. That's what he's doing. He's playing it two yeah, eight. Hit, hit it real soft. Oh, no, try, you got to try to freeze it on the five here, you know. Uh, if you can get it on that five, it's it makes sense. I left it. Oh, he left this bank open though. That's the one pocket in me trying to get all the, <laughs> the increments and the little precise spots. Cut the angles off, right? Oh boy. I well, mean, Jason he, got himself caught yeah, up. Yeah, he hit it good, but Rodney put the bait out there, and unfortunately, it worked. He's looking at this though. He's got enough space to come back, you know, right along, along that rail through the five. He's looking to pocket the four ball, hitting this three ball solid, kicking I mean, the four I, ball. I off. see what he's looking at, but yeah. it, look, it looks like it might be off just a little. But he might be able to draw back on. on. Oh, Ooh, he went for boy. it, boy! What a try! This dude's amazing. Yeah, he's he's confident today. He's he's. He's shooting strong. Boy, Brendan, you're getting some love over there in the chat. Oh, yeah? Where are we at? Hey, everybody. Yeah, I know there's a few people saying hi. I wish I could shout out to every single one of them. Mad love to all y'all. Thank you very much. I love seeing all the all my friends from over the years in there. That's great. We, we love hearing you, too. Thanks, man. Who's in the box with Upstate? You got Brandon Shuff, and you got Blaine, the owner of Copper City Billiards. Oh. Oh, put him right back behind that five. I think we right. know what he's going to do here. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised. <laughs> yeah, we got ourselves a little hide-and-seek going on. I yeah. love it. Brandon Shuff, you are 980 Fargo commentator, <laughs> Trevor Siegel. That's <laughs> nice of you to it. say that, pal. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm trying to convince him, but he says I'm getting his head swollen. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of getting him full of air. You and guys I don't are mean too it that nice. Way. Yeah, Steve Wilbur just posted a YouTube video of the of the doubles match with DeShane, but in that match, it's it's only a portion of it you don't you only get to see it like a rack or two it's not it's not the match well you know how that rolls they own you yeah what's on second i don't know who's on third but this looks like a carom to me watch the nine ball yeah, here yeah, wonderful two-way here come up short oh. and oh shish kebab no i think he's all right i think he's got jason shaw hooked here I don't think it's a playable ball. He might play this soft kick and try to just bank the three back up onto the side rail and run, run his cue ball into the eight. I at don't a like soft speed. kicking. Oh, he's no, playing he's drawing out. Yep. Soft kicking, I'm afraid of that pocket. 
Oh, you mean kicking off the rail? Yeah, kicking off the oh, side rail. Oh, yeah, 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 I like onto that. Onto the right side of the three and run your cue ball into the eight and just push and he's just gonna, push the three all he's gonna up slide to the to side the rail. Yep. yep, that's what he's going to do. That's Perfect. a nice shot. Perfect. That'll work. It's a good ball. Hey, Jim Johnson, I see you messaging in the chat there. The other owner of Copper City Billiards watching in and listening in. Well, he's probably at Copper City Billiards taking care of people. That's awesome. You guys must be pals. Watch the Nina. Uh, 20 oh. plus years of oh, my best Rodney friend. Morris, That's a great shot, Rodney. Four. What a shot, Rodney. As the crowd explodes here at the Turning Stone. There we go. Staying alive. I like Sunday it. Sunday night fever. There you go. That's it. Johnny Travolta. Mm -hmm. See if we can get you a score update on that uh, Gorst match. It looks like 7-2 uh, right now. A machina. That all goes to robot. Bravo. Oh, oh he might have a dead combo Does he have here. the kick? <laughs> Does he have the kick? Let's I think it look. goes. He looked. He glanced at it like yeah. it, like oh it's boy, in there. I can't tell from here. Yeah, but he's Ronnie already over there. Yeah, it goes. Watch the nine. Watch the scratch in the side. Oh, he hit it perfect. Made him oh, both. Shot. Rodney Great Morris. Shot, Rodney. The volcano is starting to erupt here uh, at the Turning Stone, folks. Rocket man. We got a great crowd in here watching this. A lot of pool players still sitting here watching this in or out of this tournament, but they're still hanging out and watching. Well, I got a pool player calling me. His name is Weldon Jr. He's the top third one-handed player in the world, but I cannot answer your phone call right now. Oh. I apologize. Oh. That's not the momentum shift we wanted to see. Well, we can collectively think that a blunder could happen somewhere, even though it's not likely. Right. But I would like to see it because I want this match to be a little closer. I do too. You know, this is... This is shaping up to be well, a good fight. If we Jason don't want to see it any closer. He's oh, looking to put it to sleep right now. <laughs> oh, we know that. Well, I don't see any way he could get in any trouble here. As nice as Jason is, he doesn't want to give a wreck to anyone. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is this is pretty uh, elementary, I guess. Just got to get up table. Seven to the eight, your only shot. Wow, couldn't come up with a better song for this match right here. Sean. A little bit of heat wave? Yeah, Sean Jeremy, thank you for your donation, pal. He says, thanks for the quality content. You're quite welcome, and thank you. Yeah, it looks like it, Jim. Looks like it's a Shaw lullaby. Mm-hmm. Quick work. Yeah. Rodney says, Jason, you don't have to shoot this ball. <laughs> there you have it, what folks. 9-5. Great respect between the players there. What a great match we watched. Rodney is not out of the tournament. Keep that in mind. He is just moving over. Yep, he's got another barrel. Well, thanks for having me again, Al. It was great. Are you kidding me? It's an honor. Yeah, Absolutely. Man. Yeah, I think both gonna, of you guys. I think I'm going to come back for the hot seat match if I could. Yeah, well, you know, the seat's there, and uh, you got the ticket, no invitation. What happened there, Rod? All right. Me, buddy. I got all the cool guy shots. <laughs> all the cool guy shots. I like that attitude, brother. All You're not cool out. You got, another, you got another barrel to go. In this uh, for, uh, format, the way it is here, if, if you you see the difference was like three, four racks that he ran or five or whatever it was, you know, you, you get out to the gate like that and run a bunch of racks, you know, because like he, he made the mistake first. I won the game. I broke dry. Then he ran a bunch of racks. Yeah. And then he put, you know, so even though he made the first mistake, he never got charged for it, you know, and yeah. I got charged for the dry break. So then it puts you on the defensive. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. But you got it, man. You got it. It's the Hawaiian style, baby. Yeah. Still <laughs> smiling, still laughing. He knows he's got a lot of life Great left guy. in yeah. him. Great guy. Yeah, he's, he's right. He's talking about setting the pace of the match. And, you know, it's, it's tough when you're under the gun like that trying to come back, you know. Yeah, we touched on it. You, you get up a few wrecks with that winter breaks. 
It, uh, Winter breaks it. is the only format. <laughs> yeah, I like it. You and, just got to work it out. And then, I, and then on the other side of the coin, I told you last night, you know, if you, if you yourself or any pool players are traveling – to a tournament where it's thousand dollars, five hundred dollar well, entry, and you, know you got to pay that? hotel. All of a sudden, Al, it's Al, you're right, you're right. But you know what solves that? Yeah. If they're not spending their own money to lose while they're there. Yeah, first I like of that. All, I like absolutely. That. Then it doesn't freaking matter. It's like walking so, into a pool room to practice. Yeah. So let's find. There is no wait. Yeah. Let's find the it. solution. You I get see it. What I'm saying? I agree. I agree I with you Alternate completely. Alternate breaks is for amateur leagues or short race promotional stuff like. But Moscone until Cup. they, until everybody gets on top and starts helping out the pool players for the road. There you go. I want to see alternate format also because yeah. I don't like somebody going to a tournament, and all of a sudden somebody gets up and runs a five pack or a six pack, whatever it might be. See you later. Have a good night. Twenty five hundred for the hotel. This, you know. Yeah, I understand. It hurts the players even more. We get on top of the players and help them out, mm. and they come to a tournament like Brandon says where there's no weight on their shoulders they don't have to come in third fourth place just to break even yeah that's a win-win that's a that's a situation where anytime you can create a sport like that and win-win it's a multi-million dollar idea we'll get back to you folks from the turning stone thank you guys once again absolutely thanks. Al. thanks for having me Brandon thanks you Blair nice to meet you buddy Blaine Blaine nice to meet you buddy <clears throat>
All right, folks, just in a few minutes, we got the Canadian shootout. It's going to be Dan Hewitt versus Eric Hollison right here on the main table. The table behind this one is going to be Rodney Morris and Casper. And we're going to move forward. After this round will be the hot seat. And the hot seat will be Fed August and Jason Shore right here in your living room. We'll be right back. Stand by. to pool and practicing the basics or a more experienced player performing drills to improve your shot making and positional play the drill partner is perfect for you the drill partner i had to stop that video there because it's it's something that you have to actually hold physically uh jimmy and sandra gave me one when i was in new york city and it's unbelievable. It's made just cut out like a, with a CC machine. It's just perfectly cut out so that the balls fit right in those markers, the ball holders, and you just remove it just as easy. Uh, Darren Appleton, all these pros are shooting drills and have to put them up by hand like one by one. No need to do that no more. Line them in, remove it, and you're set to go. MoonlightingBilliards.com. Use the discount code UpstateAl10 and you get 10% off. Also, Peach Owl Cues are on board with us. We are thrilled, like we're standing online to get on a roller coaster. Uh, make sure to check them out. They're a big sponsor and supporter for us as we're on the road and great people to deal with. Peach Owl Cues supports the juniors uh, around the world. I mean, he's these are companies that are doing it, folks. So make sure to check out Peach Owl Cues. It means a lot to me. Uh, let me go now. We did Peach Owl. We did, uh, who else did we do, guys? We did Moonlighting. Premier Billiards. Your billiard store. <laughs> PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top-tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration and digital payment tracking enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com the question is is do we ever do we ever step back and like you know look at, at what we've what we've done and wonder you know why we're here kind of pinch ourselves and and my answer to that is yeah every day pretty much i mean i look at her we talk about that all the time like we can't believe we're here we truly feel lucky, you know. I mean, if, if anybody asked me, what's the secret to this business, to us in this business, beyond the quality of the product, it's the relationships that we forge with our customers, with the people who, who, in, who enable us to be here. You know, it's the people who come back and buy two or three or four cases and the people who bring their friends. They trust us enough to vouch for us for their friends. And, and that, is just amazing to us, you know? We look around and we're like, how lucky can we be? 
at JB Cases, we care about your cubes by putting layers of padded protection around them and then build as much case as you want around that protection. Visit us at jbcases.com and design your case today. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. But, you know, Richard uh, Sue? Yeah. He makes those tsunami uh, shafts. Those are really good. I've yeah, got like one them. of those for my Southwest. I like it a lot. And I'm, I'm going to have him make me some for other other cues.
And the other two players will advance. We'll be down to uh, four players after this round, the final four. We'll be back again at 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and the finals will be at 7. All right, coming up right now on this table, number seven from Ackworth, Georgia, former winner right here at Turning Stone, BCA Hall of Famer, won tournaments all over the world, selling his uh, Rocket Science DVD to support uh, Mika Eminen's medical expenses, and uh, he's also going to donate all of his prize winnings to Mika. All right, Rodney Morris. His opponent comes all the way to us from Finland. This is only uh, his first time here at Turning Stone. He's a former European champ and the number one player in Finland, and those guys can play. That's where Mika came from, Kasper Matikainen. Right. And these two guys here, I'm sure they're no strangers to each other. <laughs> they're both from Canada. First from Toronto. He's a former Canadian nine ball and ten ball champion, a runner-up right here in the past. And uh, he's a multiple winner on our tour in our regular season events. He's just spot, sponsored by Spot On Billiards and Kuiper's Bakery, Eric Big Red Horlifson. And his opponent, <coughs> he's won a plethora of tournaments in his career. He wins every time he comes to one of our events, he's the favorite to win. And he's won many, many, many tournaments on our tour. And he used to run his own tour up there in Canada, and he used to win all those tournaments too. He's just been win he's a winning machine. He's been winning forever. He's sponsored by Winning Stroke from Levesque up there by uh, Montreal, Quebec, Danny Hewitt. That should be a great match. Good luck, everyone. Please remember to turn the ringers off, people, everyone, off your cell phones so you don't. All right, folks, we're muting Mike Zuglin. Sorry about that. I picked up the wrong headset. I'm talking to you guys with the wrong headset. Uh, the race in the finals is not a double elimination. I see somebody was talking. It's an extended race. I believe it's a 13. And then that would definitely be the final race, not a true double. Uh, both of these players right here out of Canada, as you heard Mr. Mike Zuglin say, and we're going to get the scoreboard ready to, to roll. Let's bring him across. Eric Hollison, Dan Hewitt, both out of Canada. All right. I want to thank everybody that's been sending in their graciousness. Appreciate you much. I just want to check in case there is. Okay, ready to roll. The cut break's been working here all week long, and that's what the players are shooting at. Let's take down the next match so that we can clear the aisle on the right side of you. Huh? What happened there? What did I do? I guess that's what I'm looking for. Boom. There you go. Cue ball. Wow, nice break, but no shot on the one. I don't think he can spin behind the six here and go rail first, but if Eric can, he's going to take a look at it. I guess he's looking to roll out, a.k.a. push out, to the right side of the table. Be careful, because if you put that cue ball on the rail, I think Danny will just bury you here or play the bank. The 
hot match will be the hot seat match will be the next match on the table here, which will be Jason Shaw and Fed August. And uh, yeah, Mac, that'll be at 3 p.m. Eric moving the cue ball a little bit closer to go rail first. Arms in a cast. What happened, Troy? Oh, you mean uh, you're casting the rod? I hope. I hope you didn't hurt yourself. Yeah, this is going to be a rail first. Got to take my sneakers off. I sit here too long. I like to be comfortable. Oh, get these big trucks off. Troy, are you all right, or is that just a joke where you're casting? Casting a rod in the, rod in the reel. Are you fishing, or is that a cast where you got on a jetty and hurt yourself? Now you're scaring me, pal. That's my friend right there. Oh, fishing, all right. You had me spooked. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Come on over. I mean, yeah. One of the uh, spectators says, hey, you need help? I told him, come on over. Hey, Jack Taransky. Good afternoon, sir. JTQ Repair. Well, Danny definitely has the one ball. He's just running his road map in his head. You heard Mike Zuglin uh, say that he's probably the most winning player on his tour. And I happen to be there to witness it. I did a live stream at uh, one of uh, Tim Berlin's room, I believe, is the owner. He owns Sharpshooters and the one in Clifton Park. I did stream that at both of them. And Danny had a double dip, and I'm not going to mention any names. And he double dipped the gentleman. What's your name, sir? John Schneider. John Schneider? Schneider. Yeah. Put that headset on right there. My friend Jason also had some interest, if it were possible. Come over. We'll get Jason in here, too. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome. Tell everybody your name once again. John Shiner. Ooh, Whoa, easy. Sorry. Ooh, yo, oh, oh, e there e we go. Easy there, pal. <laughs> Gotta find it. John yes. Shiner. Yeah, it's, it, they're very sensitive microphones. Thank you. Yeah. More directional than anything. And uh, we'll let him, this gentleman, introduce himself also. Who are you, sir? Jason Benware. Jason what? Benware. Benware. Welcome aboard, both of you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. We got two Canadians shooting the breeze over here. Both know each other for a long time. Oh, he came below it. I would have thought he'd come across. Coming across was a shot also if he wanted to, but I don't know where the eight is. Maybe he didn't want to contend with possibly hitting it, you know? Yep. Buddy Hall. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Buddy Hall. Oh, yeah. He once said, don't play position when you already have it. So <laughs> he, had, he had it right there. This guy um, is shooting. I think plays really good. He just didn't really get a chance against Feder. Yeah, Eric Hollison, yeah. It's uh, tough, you know. When you're handcuffed to the chair, there's not much you can do. Kind of wiped its feet, that eight ball. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. Very rare you see him use a bridge. I think he can reach from one side of the table to the other. Yeah. One nothing. In addition to being tall, he's he's got long arms. And talent. <laughs> Good well, size for a pool player. Instead of AT&T, it's, it's T-A-T, <laughs> right? Instead of T&T. <laughs> Tall, arms, and talent. <laughs> Great guy, too. Geez, I'd like to have one of those. <laughs> yeah, even on a bad day. <laughs> uh, he's also a great commentator. He sat in the booth numerous times. Very shy, but once he got in the booth, he was on a tear. Hmm. It's nice to have a guy who can really give you that perspective. Yeah, well, you guys are doing good so far. You're batting 100. You haven't missed from here yet. I do my best work. Yeah. <laughs> 
You got a little problem with the a lot of a lot of pressure. Yeah, you could be under pressure in the booth too. I've been there. Find myself on the edge of the seat, you know, needing a seat belt just to keep me in it. Because when it starts to get hill hill, I get jumpy like a kid in a toy store, you know. And I know the viewers are really liking it when it gets there too. We got predictions here, nine five. Uh, sure is going to win his uh, hot seat match. We don't know that hot seat match will be coming up next. We got a line of people willing to sit down and talk about it. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Well, Shaw's going for number ten, right? Yeah, just ten. He said he wants to win another ten and then take it easy after that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said, <laughs> quote unquote. Small goals. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, he seems to have the number of this place down. <laughs> oh well, wow. yeah, he's comfortable here. This is his house, basically, away from home. Eric can retrieve the balls from the pockets on a drop pocket table while standing 100% on the head end. <laughs> <laughs> Sean's beautiful. <laughs> to the break, we're going to go. Ooh. Dry break. He's using a controlled break. He's not hitting them as hard as he normally would. Maybe he's got a, a sweet spot picked out or something. I'm not sure. Can you throw this two ball in? I can't really tell from the angle. Well, I don't know if he can throw it in that close. I think you'll see him just bring the cue ball down by the nine here and just bump the one. I think he can hit the, the left side of the one ball and make that two ball. He's creating separation. Ooh. He's bringing the cue down by the nine. Oh, he's going to be able to see it. Yeah, he can see it, but he's going to have to see it with follow. That cue ball is right on the rail. Doesn't come behind it and try and stick it? It's a shot. It definitely is a shot. Send the one behind the nine. Yep. Nice or, a route. Or that. That worked nice. The thing that scares me about that shot is the next ball in rotations around the money ball, you know. Sometimes you leave a dead combo, sometimes you leave a dead carom. This time he didn't. Danny will put this cue ball, if he can, behind the 7 6. The problem with this shot is you've got to make sure you hide the rock because it'll be a duck if you don't. Well, that 2 and the 8 are no real. They work. Oh, he went straight up. Wow, he's going to really get away aggressive. with it. All he's going to get away with is right. There's no wave of the hand between the Canadians here. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually I apologize, but no wave. Not today. Of course, one could be from, like, Quebec, and the other could be from Ontario. So, so. That, that nine makes it r even more challenging as to how he can come in. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a beach ball, without a doubt. Oh, there we go. He's tall enough, actually, to jump this with a regular cue, but he's just going to masse. He could over masse and miss it. Mm. Got to be careful. Well, I got it. It's going to work it's out. It's going to work nicely. Well, roll to roll, right? One, yeah. one person deserves it, and the other one get it, too. Now let's start all over again. One nothing, Eric Hollison. <laughs> <laughs> if this is on the rail, I would imagine Danny's going to cut this in. If it's on the rail, some inside. He well, yeah, he can hit it with inside. I like running English here. The, the five ball is uh, down in this corner pocket, makes that corner a little bit bigger. But he he's hitting it outside. The outside. Get it behind the six. Did he get it? That was a good play. <coughs> uh oh. Yeah, at this stage in the game, you're, you're really going to get a little more uh, deliberate. You know, you each step now from here on in is bigger money. Absolutely. So conservative is uh, probably the right terminology. Nine's going for a ride if he smacks it good. Yeah. Off the bottom side of the one, though. Oh, oh. Nine went for the ride. Still a mess to contend with on the right side of the table. I think the eight ball is workable. So you come down to the bottom rail and essentially either come across well, it or try and hit the eight in? That is, that's not a bad choice either. Play the carom. Yep. 
Yeah, I like that too. You know, you got to control that two ball though. Al, have you seen any three I'm fouls? Here all game. What's that? Have you seen many three fouls uh, at all? I seen one. One three foul, and it was with Jimmy Rivera last night, the last match. Because it's a really good opportunity to play the one, get up above the two, and then bump the two out below the nine and stick him on the three ball. The shot, give yourself an opportunity. I'm sorry, what did you say before I, I lost you? What's you that? said something prior. I just had asked about the three foul, that's all. Oh, oh okay. See, so he's in a pretty good spot for that. Yeah. Does he play Whitey down the rail, or how's he going here? Does he mm. just thin it? He's a little too sharp on the two, or I would have just bumped the two down below the, the nine and frozen right up on the three. But I think the three ball is going to be his hidden ball, yeah, to hide the rock. He's coming across to the seven. No, just using the three. Yes, he can get to that from behind, I think. Maybe from the other side. Wow. Wow. Oh, nicely done. Nicely done. And he's going to scrape the paint. And watch the eight ball here if he can just scrape the paint and get to the rail. Yeah. I don't think you want it, though. It's, it's good it didn't go. I don't think you love it. <coughs> Watch this. Smoke the two. The nine both goes in and nips off the four in the side pocket. What's that? Coming angle? back from the yeah. bottom, you mean? Yeah, from underneath. I like it. It's going to be like a roundy shot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's going to use it and try it. but nah, no. I wouldn't either, but it would be fun to watch. <laughs> it could be. It's the exact opposite of conservative. <laughs> if, if you're not sitting in the seat, it could be fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, the opposite of conservative, right? Just let that arm out. He swings it. It's got a possibility. All right, that ain't bad. Danny's got an opportunity to bank this two ball. Either direction, yeah. Yeah, he can control it here. I think you'd go toward the toward the bottom pocket so you're above the three well here's the thing if you bank that if you bank that two to the side pocket with a little bit of draw you likely make the three ball into the eight oh there you go that was nice Oof, didn't work, but it was nice. They left the window, too. Yeah. Well, this could be 2 nothing real quick, but this could be also 9-2 Danny as quick as he shoots. <laughs> when Danny starts to get on a terror, you really can't blink. Yeah, I was just like watching him play at this. I keep going back to the uh, st uh, story that I mentioned a couple of times where I was streaming up in Clifton Park and Danny Hewitt had to beat the gentleman two times. This was a true double elimination in that tournament. And before I can go to the restroom and come back, it was over. I mean, just so quick. There was, you didn't miss a ball. What was the race? Race to nine. So it was uh, wow. 18 games. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Shot real good. Hey, you know, I don't think there's really a time where you shot bad at all, no matter when I watched them shoot. So is the hot so is the hot seat not streamed or is it it's later? at three o'clock yeah go to uh, digitalpool.com and look at the brackets that's a good thing to know because I was trying to find the bracket yesterday and I had a hard time finding it yeah it could be yeah Mm -hmm. If you're born oh, like when I was, oh, sorry. A little close to his work. Oof. You know, I was born at the wrong time, too. I'm afraid to push a button to destroy something, but you can't break it. You can only fix it when it comes to technology. I guess with my luck, I can break something. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
Does Danny go all out and just bank this? Mm. Tough. This is like uh, I make it, it's tied. If I don't, it's a big game, and I'm down 2 nil. Sometimes you got to shoot for the cash. The way he approached it, that looks like he is. He's sitting outside. I don't know. Yeah, he's it's looking to play in the upper left-hand corner. If he's, well, he went the other way. Now. He knew he missed it when he hit it. Yeah, that. Yeah. Good point, Chrissy. Not only can you go back to the bracket on Digital Pool, you can watch the whole tournament all over again. Good point. Yeah, it's, it's such a great service. It's, it's amazing. And if you subscribe to the Upstate Owl channel over there, I have tournaments. It's, it's $19.99 a month. You can cancel any time you want. But I have matches on there from the Expos and I think the Expos. I forget. I got a lot of tournaments on there. Let's put it that way. You can watch. In fact, I got a tournament on there that was bigger than the U.S. Open. It happened recently when all the players came in from like 26 different countries. It was amazing. So you get to watch all of those also. Some just the way for me to pay back. Do, do you have any idea how many different countries was re were represented this time? Well, I don't know, but we can figure it out, I'm sure. Jason's from Scotland, but he lives in Connecticut. <laughs> Torsten's from uh, Germany, but he lives in New York. I mean, you know, we'll have to go down the whole list. The kid that's playing on the table over, he's from what, uh, Finland or? Finland. Yeah. 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 What's his age? That's Rough. another question. If I had a guess, 17, but he's actually, I think, 24. <laughs> <laughs> he looks 17. Everybody does to me. I've got socks older than him. Right. I mean, you guys don't look 17. <laughs> Take it easy now. <laughs> now I'm insulted. I'm sorry. I apologize. I got to call it like I see it. <laughs> you don't know a lot of 17-year-old bald men, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what an unfortunate role. He got hit that so sweet. Yeah. Trying to get on top of it, too. I do, and I like to fight for charities. <laughs> I do. I did a cancer charity in uh, Nanuet, New York, and we had WWE, I the wrestlers up, or something. I, I grew up in Nanuet. Oh, did you? Y yeah. Cool. Yeah, it was around the corner from Diamond Gyms. It was called uh, The Spot. Yes, I'm familiar. I was, yeah, I, I live in New Hampshire now, but I grew up there, so I go back a lot. I, I actually brought my friend to the spot before it closed, and right. we play at Diamond Gyms when we go down there. Right, Diamond Gym's been there a while. Oh, yeah. In fact, Nal got, Naldo... Uh, got new ownership a couple of years ago. Well, uh, what's his name? Died, didn't he? I don't know, because I only go back a couple times a year. I can't remember his name, sorry. Well, do I look 17? Mikey Casamassima, you look 17 to me all day long, baby. Mikey's... Uh, I think most of the people in his family lived over 100. He got his own... 45 doo-wop album and stuff out. That's Mike Castle. We see many dances like professional at that age. You should see John dance. John, John is actually you shouldn't. This Nobody is John. Should, yeah, we no. do have a roving can. You know what I mean? It should rove in another direction. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> I got a good face for radio too. Yeah, it should definitely. Watch the three. He might be trying to nick it. I think yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go off and tuck him up behind those balls. I think. He wants to stay aggressive. He's got to shorten it. Yeah, he's got to shorten just a little cut.
watch the three. Duck. Oh, no, we didn't get there. <clears throat> now we got a break, and anytime we got a break, we do have sponsors that are on board. Um, prime sponsors. Yeah, somewhere around here. Timeout. And we put them on the timeout board, folks. And you can get on there, too. I mean, I do have a lot of sponsors, and I appreciate every single one of them. But if you want to get on there, get in touch with me. Send me a private message. We'll talk. What time does Upskirt Al <laughs> come into the booth? <laughs> I remember that last night. <laughs> you guys want to turn me into a drag queen. <laughs> I get it. I got no complex. Believe me. I'll wear a mini skirt. Rambo style. We're going to need the rolling <laughs> camera for that one. The rolling camera. If you even dream about that image, you better wake up and in sweats because <laughs> it looks like a nightmare <laughs> you, you know i've had i've had jp chow uh for over 20 years almost 25 years now they just uh we just married up well, not even a week ago and i you know their cues are wonderful their customer service is the best i've exquisite. ever exquisite i talked to riley on the phone and uh it's, it's just so comfortable of a conversation that you know they're, they're bendable and workable and that's the way i am you know. They refinished a queue for me that, that I, I've had for about 20 years that I, I, I actually bought from a friend who's really rough on queues. <laughs> right, right. And um, I got it back, and it looked brand new. Yeah. It was absolutely beautiful. I like to hear that. You know, anything that happens yeah. positive, keep it positive. But you won't see any post about, hey, man, these guys really did a good job of my, my queue, and then find 200 people commented on it. But yet, if you say something negative, 2,000 people want to oh, get involved. Yeah. Yeah. Trolls I, are out. Yeah, and I get negative publicity, still publicity, but I'd rather keep it positive. Well, I can't say anything but good things about their cues. Yeah, good, good. I, I got to get a little more familiar. Like I said, we just married up uh, less than a week ago, and I'm looking to do whatever I can. All the times that I've been doing live streaming through the years, and I do about 35 to 40 shows a year, uh, I never had a cue sponsor on board. Mm. And I was talking to Tom Kennedy down in Florida and you know, reaching out and just getting feelers. And I was in Super Billy's Expo and Q-Tech I got approached by and, and somebody else. But Pichawa jumped on board. When you go into their booth at the Billiards Expo, the, the guys running it there, uh, they're just very approachable. I will be there this year to, and at the booth occasionally. You know, I got a show to do. I, mm. I stream the professionals there. The arena. All right, Danny took a break. The phone call is over. <laughs> and now we're on a two ball. All right, well, it's on the rail, so he's just got a stone cold hit this one. Yeah, and I hope you don't get, you know, you can't let the cue ball run behind a seven. Drills it. Yeah. Well, yep. A couple of more revolutions. Now, is he off the rail enough where he can get back on this three to get to the six? Yeah, I guess so. He can jack up here. Yeah. You know, Earl Strickland jacks up from here and draws back right to where the cue ball is. Earl's he got practices a pretty special shot. stroke. <laughs> Absolutely. And Danny can hit him. He's going to try to draw back. Shot Nicely perfect. Nicely done. Just woke up, Al, having coffee with you guys. Any breakfast left? So you just woke up. You need a late note. Does he come out two rails from here, or does he just draw back out? Bet you draws back mm. a single rail. Yeah, if you overdraw, you play the side. If you don't overdraw, you play the corner. Nope. Now he two oh. railed out. He did play for Good the side. Good call, John. Big John. That's the first time he's been right since he's been here. <laughs> Al left you the rinds Ouch. from the toast. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I don't mean any harm. Oh, we're good. Just, just we're commentate good. with a sense of humor. We're, we're good. Going. Yeah, I have no. <laughs> He's pretty sensitive, John is. <laughs> well, yeah, I can feel it. Uh, where you guys originally shoot at? Well, like, what's your home room around here? Or? We don't really have a home room, unfortunately. So okay. we, live, um, we live on the western side of New, uh, Hampshire. New Hampshire. And unfortunately, all the rooms are on the eastern side of New Hampshire. So you know Dave Fernandez. Then, yeah. Right? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we, I like him. I love I, him. I help support all his uh, Vermont championships each year. I donate right. towards them on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, he's a really good guy to 
to be around. I like Dave. He's so positive. Yeah, Dave lives about 45 minutes north of us. Yeah. 45 miles north of us, Dude, it is. I know he had a heart attack one time, and then I was doing a stream. I forget. I don't know if I was in Snookers or somewhere else, and I could actually hear him. And I had to call it. You know, I said, look, uh, I called over somebody. I think Mike Suglin or somebody. I think Mike was. I said, look, we got to stop this match and give this man some air. I said, just take a listen to this. And, I mean, you heard it. it he was gasping. It, and mm. He remembers. Thank yeah. God he's okay. Yeah, he is. He's uh, he's adjusted to playing with the glasses now. Or actually, yeah, I think yeah. he had the eyes done, didn't he? Yeah, he had, had laser. <laughs> laser one I time think. he had the big pool glasses. Yeah, and I think he just, this past year, he got a LASIK. Did he? Oh, well, there it is. You just blew his action. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, I'll Dave. Pl I'll play you without the glasses. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, Dave. I'll see, you, I'll see you next month. You know, Johnny Morrow years ago came into a pool room, and I happened to be doing a live stream there, and he, somebody challenged him to a, a gambling match, and they wanted the seven ball from Johnny Morrow. Johnny said, I can't give you the seven. I'll tell you what, I'll play your lefty. You give me the seven. <laughs> you, know where wow. my yeah. <laughs> you know where my money went. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was before everybody knew he could shoot lefty when he originally started lefty years ago what a talent yeah, yeah he, without a doubt mr smooth another canadian watching right now he wasn't here this week though was he yeah he was was he was he, was he? Yeah. yeah okay there was that match uh the other day where he climbed out of a hole against mr shaw there i didn't see him uh, also against uh dave shrimpers he climbed out that was uh the match that was on that table over there it was hill hill i did not get to see that one it was a late match. I was playing. Oh. I was playing in a tournament uh, in a new room in uh, uh, the Lakes region of New Hampshire yesterday. So new room. Yeah, Winnie Bar and Billiards. All right. Uh, Shout out, got, Winnie. It's got about uh, I think twelve tables, ten nine footers. We've actually got uh, several places that are coming into the area in the next. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's good so. to hear. Yeah, yeah we're getting uh, another room in the, the capital uh, in Concord, um, owned by the guy who owns uh, the one in Pelham. Strokers, Strokers. yeah. This oh, one's nice. going to be Capital C City Billiards. It's opening. They, All they new Brunswick equipment. Yeah, they say it's going to be opening sometime this month, so I guess I'm shouting them out as well. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, and here we're playing on Diamonds. Yeah. Oh, uh, I love yeah. diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Buster's just put di diamonds in that whole room, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. New, New Hampshire, the, the number of rooms has grown considerably over the last couple of years. Love I it. I really like to uh, hear that. Interest is going up, yeah. Nice position. You know, wintertime's a good time to open. I mean, that's when you're going to do your business in a pool room. Summertime kind of slows down yeah. because everybody's at the lake side camping you know especially in that region because he's right on the lakes region there yeah uh, well i think the thing you know that we were talking about this on the way down uh, th those rooms are also uh, playing league just about every night of the week which is keeping keeping everybody busy and that's right it, they, the leagues they do you got the apa leagues or whatever leagues they got up there yeah we've i think got they've several. got usapl they've yep. got several yeah well, you know, as well nice as I know, the pool room is a community business. It's, it's, that's where it is. You can't depend on a tournament uh, once every four months to survive. No. Yeah, and where we live, you've got to have decent food, and you've got to have, you know. I like that. A big draw, you know. Now, now I'm interested. Anytime somebody mentions decent food, I'm coming up. <laughs> and so is Eric Hollison coming up. Nice three, three to one. one. I've heard Mr. Shaw's room has really good, what is Filipino food? Is that what it Korean. is? Korean. Korean, Korean food. Korean food, okay. yeah to die for <laughs> well see i'd travel just for the food oh it's unreal unreal his mother laura uh, definitely has the recipe and of course uh ara his wife uh taking the reins over and uh this is greg wilson uh, thank you for your graciousness you sent in a nice donation appreciate that my friend Al, how many days does it take you guys to get set up for this before this uh, actually starts? To the last minute. Uh, we got here, uh, we 
drove up from Tennessee. I know I was up for 38 hours. That I know. After that, it's all a blur. Uh, Zach needed some sleep. He slept. But uh, I told him I'm going to set up. He says, there ain't no way you're setting up. And I thought he was pumping my chain, you know. <laughs> and he knows me better. I, I, I like to get set up a couple of days prior. But the night before the tournament was supposed to start, uh, we finished all these mon 32 monitors, 16 cameras, all live streamed, plus the booth. I had this all set up already, and I had to help him with that. Now, are you setting up the tables oh. for the, the non-main table as well? Oh, yeah, they're all live streamed. Okay. Yep. yep, all of them. And no more beads where you have to stare and get a pair yeah, of Yeah, no, I love I loved the new digital setup with yeah. the, the iPads or whatever they're using. Yeah, we're 30 days late. I mean, 30 years late. <laughs> they don't even have to pull the little piece of paper out every time either, which is nice. <laughs> right. You're, if you remember, at least 30 years earlier, um, you walked into a bowling alley, and when you threw a strike or a spare, it come up on a screen. Yeah. yeah. And that was about 30 years ago, so we're lagging. Well, I'm only 17, so... Uh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. You were more into, the, like, the Nintendo games and... Absolutely. We were the first generation of Nintendo we games. We were, yeah. I loved it, man. I actually wrote a program for uh, Asteroids. The, when you got a computer back then, you had to type in all these characters. took me, like, a week. <laughs> you know? I cannot type. And then, of course, when the game got started, there was a glitch. I had to go back and check the characters again. But I did it. All right. The one ball is the shot. Oh, that was a push out. He, he j well, it wasn't a push. He just took a foul on right. purpose. Yeah. Right. He pushed out to a foul. Yeah. What happened here? Oh, it's reboot. Damn it. Hmm. Oh, my Sorry. wife just my wife just sent me a text message. Lies, you are not seventeen. <laughs> Thanks, hon. That's the difference. Your wife's listening to you. My wife doesn't care about me. Well, your my f your wife might be listening to me. Guys, let's start from the beginning, and then I'll send you a check. <laughs> uh. I should send him a bill, but I'm going to send him a check. <laughs> Eric Hollis, look at this. He's he's halfway across the table and it still looks like he's so comfortable. Hardly stretched. Nice out. ball. Nice position. Beautiful job. Yeah. Just gonna put some right hand English on it. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> look at this man. He could shoot on the next table up in front of him. Geez, he doesn't even need to take up the the, the whole buffaloes thing the, if he went there. Right, he the ten footers. <laughs> there is no bridge. The only bridge he knows is the one that goes from Buffalo over to Canada. Oh, oof. Oh, that oof. came close. I think Cut. he's still okay, but it limits wow. his options. Yeah. He's going to have to bank the eight probably at this point. Huh. Well, he can, yeah. or he can draw it back and play it down. Either draw back or he can even force follow. If he draws back, he might draw back all the way to this lower rail and spin across the table. Like that's, that? Yeah, that's what he's going to do. Oh, that's nice. That's what he's going to do. Nice shot. A tough crowd here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'd have clapped for that if I was over there. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not biased. I don't have anybody in this race. But, man, you got to call a good shot and applaud when you see it. Nice out. Good job. 4-1. Wow. Good job. Nice out, Eric. You're really messing with Jason and I's over-under bet. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> we are? <laughs> no, we... <laughs> No, we, we have a, a strange custom before it starts. One of us sets a line, and the other one has the option of an over-under. Okay. Total games. Yeah, well, you know what? On the road, it friends, keep, why not? It keeps, it you keeps us am amused. It right. Is, yeah. My wife asked how tall he is. Um, very tall and extremely lanky. I'd say somewhere Ooh. between... Uh, well, the lights are approximately eight foot high. Next time he comes underneath it, take a good look at his head in that light. He's probably like 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, My maybe. younger brother's 6'5". I think he's a little bit taller. Hey, Eric, how tall are you? How tall are you? 6'5". 6'5". 6'5". Good, 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 good. Just look, this is the... 
one of the plates at US One Billions. Jason oh, I'm Schiller's going there. Room there. That's, yeah. yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> that's courtesy of Katie Burley. Thank you, Dolly. Bulgogi. Yeah. Mike Siegel. Check out what Trump said about Mike Siegel. I'll check that out later. <laughs> Mike Siegel, good friend. Oh, we got to get to the break. What am I doing? Oh, I, I always that. found him to be entertaining to watch. Mike? Yeah. Oh, he's great. I hung out with him many times. And his sons, too. Well, fellas, uh, since you guys got in the booth here, the viewership is going sky high. Just to let you know. See, I guarantee you it's not a lot of women because <laughs> with Jason, that number just usually plummets. I like you, mosquito I, repellent. I bet you it's a lot of gumball girls. You said you were 17. <laughs> And they were like, whoa, whoa, let me tune into this from TikTok. Well, let, me, let me not catfish anybody, okay? <laughs> fortunately, there's, fortunately, there's That's no the cameras break. back here. Wow, 5 1, quick. Wow. Golden break. I do have cameras back here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, na the nano technology is uh, unbelievable. I, I had a camera right here in front of everybody, and they said, oh, where's the camera? Well, it's out there now, but it's super tiny. 4K PTZ. The thing is, is that. If I if we're using one of those, I need to powder up, or else we're gonna just glare everything with this forehead. Oh, yours and mine both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Danny doesn't do too bad of a job. <laughs> Powdering or <laughs> I'm quick as a whip, you know. I do make mistakes being that quick, though. <laughs> Where's my buddy Alex? Oh, Alex, KGB. He's probably in the poker room. KGB. Kenny? Say that again? Kenny, KGB? No, no, Alex Podolkovic. Oh. He's a spy for Russia. We let him commentate. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard him. Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm sure I have. They heard him in Russia, too. <laughs> Actually, he went over there for a tournament. I know your voice. You know, he was telling me people know his voice. I was promoting that tournament. Yeah, I think it was called ABN. It was the, the tournament out there. It was a big tournament. All right. Anyway, we got a big tournament here. Turning Stone <laughs> Classic 38. 5-1 going into rack 7. Eric Collison set to break. The wing ball goes right in. Uh -oh. Oh. And the cue ball goes in the other side pocket. Is that a good opportunity for Dan? Uh, yeah. Is that a 5-9 there? What's that? That f I'm, l I'm trying to look at the overall table. Oh, you want to see the combination nine? at the yeah. other That's pretty straight, yeah. We can take a look. Eh, it's not that hard if he wants to go for it. I would say he goes for it. Yeah. yeah. Make up for lost time. Absolutely. A little bit of cranberry, we can party. <laughs> <laughs> right? Absolutely. That's my <laughs> cranberry. Where's the waitress? <laughs> You'd think we'd have a waitress. Here. Diana Hoppy once did that to me. I don't know if you guys know Diana Hoppy. All of a sudden, uh, some scotch shows up in a glass with, like, a silver tray. And I was like, what's going on here? Diana Hoppy called up the casino and sent up a drink. There you go. <laughs> Top shelf. Any, yeah. Anybody close, a single malt would be fine. <laughs> there you go. Don't be surprised. Well, it never hurts, right? It's not going to hurt if you have a few of them. Well, <laughs> I partied uh, after I got done setting up here pretty hard. Pretty hard. I had to had to blow up some steam. Then he he begged me to go to sleep because I was up, I was up 38 hours, and then I was up more, partying that night. He didn't just ask you to roll over. Well, he's a little spoon, so he does, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Zach Goldsmith, folks. He can't hear us. We can talk anything we want about him, but he's going to see the recording later. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I guess he is going to try for this 5-9. Uh, the position he's in now, he's going to have to get back past the 6 ball. Don't be surprised if he dr – yeah, he's going to draw back past the 6. Yeah. I think if he leaves the cue ball where the 2 ball is, it's workable, but it's a little more work. Natural if he gets to this left rail. He's got to put a stroke on it if he does that. Yeah, he's coming the other side of the 6. Yep, so he was playing for it. More natural, you know what I mean? Yep. Well, it's kind of a steeper than I think he wanted, though. Well, still not bad. He'll hit the first diamond above the right-hand side pocket there. He'll be okay. You know, in all honesty, he could come around uh, a couple of rails and just play the five without playing the combo, too, here. 
He could, but I think he's going to be he's going thin enough where. Now he's playing. No, he it. did it. Yep. Oh, he did it. Shot. Yeah, he's going for a run out. Yep. And there's a difference between professional pool players and us. Right, right. Yeah, you want to keep your opponent in the chair to cool off as long as you can. You know, this could be the momentum swing right here. And that's most of the time what they want to do. But sometimes it can snake bite you, you know. From here, I don't see anything bad happening. Mm -mm. Except for that one wiping his feet. I thought you were going to commentate and curse him. I, yeah. I tried. <laughs> I just didn't succeed on that one, but I did it quite often. I need something to drink. Oh. All right, so he's just going to stun it right You got here. a jar of stuff behind there. This one here? Yeah. yeah. This is uh, watermelon juice. You guys are welcome to it. Just don't light a match. Do you have any, <laughs> do you have any paper straws? I have cups. <laughs> cups to help you out? Would, you, li would you like a little watermelon? It's good for you. <laughs> Clear us oh, out. Yeah. Take the sinuses. Yeah, these guys from New Hampshire week. <laughs> I didn't say no. <laughs> I, I know. I was trying to let the people know you weren't. <laughs> All right. Seven, eight, nine, roadmap. The See waitress still has not arrived. Not yet. <laughs> All right. You guys <clears throat> talk me into it. I'll be the waiter. I'll go get the cups. <laughs> You sure you trust us? Just don't push that button over there. You'll send a Scud missile overseas. Danny Hewitt making a statement. There we go. All right. He's left us alone to our own devices. He's a, he's a trusting <laughs> he's a trusting man. Wonder what's going on over there. One of them shooting. Yeah, he's been shooting for a while from what I've seen. And you can see from the screen, he's looks like he's going to be out here. I don't know. That's kind of a reach. I'll be right back. And here I am by myself. With all your friends. Yes, with all my friends. All right, here's the break. All right, guys, I apologize because I do not know how to work the equipment, so you're going to have this one angle till uh, Upstate gets back. Uh, obviously, there's like there's going to be a push out here. My co-commentator here just tried to launch himself off the uh, <laughs> off the platform. It's not the first time somebody spoke with you for a long period of time and then tried to jump off of something. It is more shallow <laughs> than most of them, though. <laughs> Significantly more shallow. To push? Yes. Uh, uh, uh. He left him a lot of the ball. No, he didn't. I don't think he left much. I think he's going to give that one back. Yep. He sure is. Is a masse or a jump? Yes. A masse. <laughs> this guy's tall enough. There's no such thing as a uncomfortable shot, I don't think. I think he's just cutting it in, yeah? Yeah, and then he's going to go up and down the table. Play the, f the two, yeah. Yep. He was trying to get the side. But you know what? Cuts the two in the side, and I think he gets around onto the five pretty, pretty good. He doesn't well, push. I think he'd prefer to hit the four next to not foul. Oh, shoot. I can't, I'm sorry. I thought th I didn't see the four over there. Never mind. He gets on the four then relatively easy, too. I mean, it's a choice if he goes the other direction, like you say, but I, I don't advise it. 
You got a little short on that one. I'm going to say he recovers, though. Yeah, bottom bottom right corner and comes across and back out for the five in the side. Yeah. Oop. Oh, he's a little short on that one. Oh, another opportunity for Mr. Hewitt. I bet. <laughs> was it a cord? What tripped you? No, there's a step there. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> <laughs> the one right behind you. Oh, apparently we're having... You, you, for, you clearly don't require an IQ test to let people up here. That's all. John, don't be so def self-deprecating. Way to mess that up. Yes, that was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, a, an altitude test? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, don't light any flames around this. All right. We have been warned. Thank you. <coughs> Cheers. Salud. Salud. Easy. Go easy, pal. Just sip things. Don't just shoot it down. Enjoy it. It's good. Mm. Smooth? Smooth. Yeah. That's I, the I was courtesy expecting. of CTQ man. He's... Uh, an unknown in the witness protection program. Well, thank you, CT. Yep. Very smooth. Yes. Yeah. I was a little concerned that <laughs> it was going to bite much harder than it did. I'm afraid of that stuff. When I was probably in 16 or 17 years old, we had a few friends, and uh, their parents were real cool. They would let us go to their house and party. Today you get in trouble for it, just so stupid. But they were cool to keep us indoors and yeah, yeah. and let us have a good time. We had a New Year's party and we had some uh, white lightning there. And me being young, dumb, and yep, got the rest of it. And just stupid, <laughs> you know. He pulled out some the, the parent. He pulled out some moonshine, and they had their whole living room set up like a discotheque. And I just remember feet dancing over me <laughs> as I was looking up at the ceiling. <laughs> Knock me out, man. But I drank it down like I had a glass of orange juice. Does it Turning Stone have a sports book room? They do, Marty. They actually moved the sports book from the front of the Turning Stone to the back side oh, really? where the lava room used to be. It's beautiful. I mean, huge, beautiful, beautiful. Nice shot. All Danny right. on the comeback here, and now it's three. There we go. Canadians are clapping now. Let's go, eh? Hey, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> there will be some strange brew references before this is over. Yeah, that's right, Hoser. I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. If, if I could do a better foghorn leghorn impression, I would uh, try and pull it off. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. I said, boy, I'm going to turn that <laughs> camera on. Now, this here a rabbit. <laughs> Watch the wing. They've been making them. The wing and the one. There we go. One on the side. Oh, no. the wing ball went in. Okay. Yeah, that eight, sucker eight spin. Eight in the corner. Seven and eight are gone. Yep. How'd you like to start from here without a ball on the rail? Well, I still think he's got a pretty good shot of cutting that in and getting the two on the side. Yeah, I, I don't know about navigating this cue ball that much. I mean, it's a lot of tar mat to the left side of the four where he can run out, but he's got to spin this cue ball, and you don't want to overdo this because that six gets larger as the second rail bounces. He's got to watch the cue here. I wonder if he's going to try to just roll this in, and the cue will be right where he's at now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, a little outside. and boom. He did roll it in. Yep. It hung on them. Yeah, and that's the problem about rolling balls. When you let your stroke out, it becomes a little bit easier. I don't think that would have happened on day one. Day one. A day one of this you, turn, you and think, that ball goes in. The change in the felt condition? Yeah. Could be. I mean, it's fairly new. Uh, I think it takes, yeah, a few days. I just think he hit the rail, you know, in the deep shelf. He hit it too far out. I, 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 watching on day one, I saw some shots that I did not think were shots that would go in, and they, they slid in pretty yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> oh, you couldn't hit it any better than that. This looks like ball in hand position. Jeez, whiz it. Nice shot, Eric. So we notice these are coin ops. 
Well, you know, uh, from here, they're probably going to Derby. That makes sense. You know, I'm, I can't speak for Diamond, but they are one of my major sponsors also. Oh, they make such beautiful tables. They, they Unreal. Are just Unreal. Our friend just got one. Yeah. Our friend Craig just got one in his house, a nice nine-footer. Ah, yeah. oh, plays great. Yeah, I got a guy, too. I got a couple of guys. In fact, we installed this system in one of my friend's houses in Texas. We stayed there for about three weeks with him just hanging out. And we said, you know what, let's throw the system in for Iggy. So he's got the complete system with the uh, monitor and oh, camera wow. and microphone. Yeah, we gave him the whole work. So he's streaming matches from his house? Yeah, he yeah. goes live every once in a while. You know, what, He plays what, one of his friends. What is the setup like that? Rob? About 1,200. Okay. Yeah, you get a computer with every table. You get a monitor and a tablet. Uh, well, that's considerably less than I thought it would be. Well, depending on how many tables you're going to do, you know, uh, we can probably do a little bit better. But it's more labor-intensive to install than it is basically unwrapping the boxes, you know. So, Al, when you come to my house, 1,200 is what it's going to be? Um, when I come to New Hampshire? Yeah. I need. Uh, it's a beautiful place to visit, sir. I've been there. Yeah. I, l I love the gorges up there. They're well, beautiful up we're, there. We're, we, we've the got one. The Queechee Gorge? First I don't know which one it was, but I was up there already. First step's tough, but after that. I like the open carry, right? It's open carry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I like it. Yeah. Live free, right? Absolutely. I love it. I would like to come up and do it, and uh, if we got the time. Right now, there's so many pool rooms on the list to get done. Oh, I bet, yeah. It's incredible. In fact, uh, this one right here, Copper City, is in the midst of putting the whole system in their room. I just saw somebody wearing, I think, one of their shirts. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had it on. And the one you saw wearing a shirt is, is actually one of the owners. Okay. Where, Where are they located? Store. Five minutes from here. Oh. Rome. When oh, in Rome. Sorry. You know. Yeah. But uh, you guys can always help yourself if, if you can handle it. That's all that's <laughs> left. <laughs> I've got to drive tomorrow. Oh, oh. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink any less then. <laughs> Wing ball, perfect. And the one ball. Ball, ball, everything's trumping and holes there like rabbits is. here. Oh. That uh, two ball and the yeah. nine are kind of a squirrely. Well, yeah. Yeah. This shot here requires more of a finesse shot than speed. Is yeah. it a billiard? If he plays it so he can just kind of billiard off the two, he could probably make the nine. I think I'm the call it a, a billiard, call it a carom. Yeah, yeah. You think way. that two's a little low for that, though? No. No? Nope. Especially if he's on the, the, the right side kind of by where the one ball is. It's not. He's looking to play it. He's looking to just play the ball, though, I think. This is the time when I'd, I'd kind of want to try to just make the nine because the three ball is kind of a pain. You know, a lot of people think you got to hit this real hard. you got to give the English a chance to take here, being so close to the rail. There you go. Oh, he didn't even try to get back there. Oh, and he got his oh that's perfect. He got the three broken out. That, that <laughs> as long as he makes this, that'll work out well. He doesn't seem Not happy I, with it, though. His I body think he, he will play the Karen from here. Sorry to cut you short. No, it's fine. Because the two will go up behind the three, five. Kind of a two-way. It's a free shot. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yep. <laughs> Nicely yeah, done. Beauty, eh? Nicely done. Wrote it and look. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, unfortunately for Dan Hewitt, uh, Eric is getting not only the rolls, he bumped that three out of there and wound up perfect for the uh, billiard into the nine ball. And is this pronounced Jorlefsen? Uh, Eric Hollison, as far as I understand. Hollison? Yeah. I can butcher all the names, but I believe I asked Eric about it. Oh, see, I was, uh, I was uh, making the H silent instead of the J silent. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I, I have no clue. You know, I, I break the names down, and if that looks good for a pitcher, that's good for me, you know. <laughs> you know, you're doing this for so long, and you bump into so many people. And the names are like, 
all become one. I, I just want Bob Smith. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> Again, Eric's making that wing. That time it come up short. Simbo? Nope. In order to make sure you remember us, I'm going to offer Jason a double on an earlier bet today. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think Al wants me to take that one. No, no, no we don't want to go that far. Okay, let's get this over with. You have no idea how right you are. Hill, hill. If it goes hill, hill, you guys are in here by yourself. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. As long as the camera doesn't need to move, that's fine. I mean, I can push buttons, but I don't think it'll go well. I'm just getting used to pushing buttons. I had this thing for a couple of years in the closet. And I said, you know, it's about time I use it. So our, our friend uh, that does the Friday Night hey. Fight at Buster's Billiards Freddy uses Agnes. a similar yeah. setup. Eric's last, Chris name, Freeman. Eric's last name is in metric. <laughs> Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie's a sweetie pie. <laughs> yeah, Freddie's down in Florida, I believe, at this point. Okay. Used to live in New Hampshire. Is yeah, he Ag lived in the Northeast. Agnes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Freddie Agnew. Yeah, yeah he used to play uh, down in Keene. Yes. Got you pegged, Fred. Look out, pal. Freddie hey. and I have had a couple of exchanges. Not always the most positive ones, unfortunately, but he's a good guy. Great commentator. Yes. Great a commentator. Absolutely. Absolutely. Good. Much respect for him, but we just don't always agree. Well, you don't always have to agree. No ball on the rail. Unless we're talking, then you do. And every ball has a pocket. Yeah, that's a pretty good-looking table. Yeah. I would have to predict uh, uh, Danny's getting out here. So does he, does he come single rail or two? I like the two coming yeah. to the natural angle. Yep. Casper and Rodney in the background, if you guys are interested, are 6-6 six, six tie. <laughs> Looks like somebody's wearing a bat. Push. I can still win. That was Freddie saying. Used to live in Mass. Won a New Hampshire State 8 Bowl Championships in 2007. That's Freddie Agnew. You guys. Oh, I turned the comments off. Hit the uh, bottom of that TV all the way to your right so you can see the comments. I'm sorry. No, where would a red button is? Yeah. You'll find it. Yeah, but you got to be careful. You can't be literal with him. Figure it out. <laughs> I hit it. You can't no, be literal with him. He'll oh, knock it he right goes. over. Forgot. I'm sorry. I, I forgot I shut that down. I had a refresh on this side. There you go. Now you got the comments. That's big enough for my bad eyes. That's perfect. Thank you. There you go. You're welcome. I'm sorry. Apologize. James Kearney, what's going on? It's a good ball. Good afternoon, sir. I mean, other than bridging over that ball. I think he can uh, cue it right up. beside it. I don't think yeah. he needs to. At least the left side of it, right? Yeah, I think so. I think you'll find he's not going to be. You know, playing to the long rail on the left has, needs a touch. Yep, no, you're right. And he doesn't even have to. No, he's good. You can trust your speed, man, and your stroke like that. Gonna bring it back above it. He, I, I would imagine he's gonna go backwards. Yeah. But he Crunched. could spin. He looks. Is he spinning? Yeah. He is spinning. Oh, mm. that didn't yeah, work that, out. And that's the reason I said that he would go backwards Ooh. because of the nine. Well, ball. that's what I thought too. The path wasn't obstructed. Can he see enough of the six to get him in behind the nine ball? Tuck him in behind there. If he can, that'll be the shot without a doubt. If he can, he's gonna kick right and kick the bottom of the six so that the cue ball comes squirting back towards the nine. Right. Looks like he's kicking. Yeah, back towards Perfect. the night. Wow. That worked out. Yeah, kicking with a purpose, right? I'm right once in a while. Broken clock. What do you think? If he twice, shoots twice, just past. They say once, but it's twice. If he shoots yeah. just past the point of the side pocket, he's got a pretty good shot of kicking that six ball in. I think you should tell him. I will. I'll take a timeout. Time up. <laughs> See? Wow. Oh. Nice try. Wow. He plays billiards, does he? Wow. You got a billiard table in New Hampshire? Do we have a? 
I think the uh, nearest no, one Amazing is, Billiards is, is the billiards. closest. In, um, Bo act, uh, he called me yesterday. I spoke to him. Bo? Bo? No, Amazing himself. Oh, Shuni? Oh, yeah, Shuni. Known him a long time. Great room. I yeah, love that room. The ceilings are kind of small for me. You know, I could set up without a ladder. <laughs> right? I mean, they're yeah. low. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at this. I guess he's going to play the 8-9, huh? Might have to. I think he kind of forced himself into it, yeah. Either that or he's going to play behind a nine. Uh, I, th I think, he, I mean, that's so close to the pocket. I would be surprised if he didn't just shoot it. He's supposed to play it, but, you know. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, there you go. And again, Danny starts to trudge back 7-4. Yeah, still anybody's game, I think. Could be. I mean, you know, any one of these two guys could go off and hit you with a package. So have you, uh, did you see that Farron Harris question about the packages for the? Is there a link on the website to order of the packages you guys are talking about to stream from home or a pool room? Uh, are you talking about the past tournaments and everything like that? Well, the stuff that you're selling, the equipment, the hardware. Oh, the hardware. Yeah, just go to digitalpool.com and it'll all be right there. Is that a dry break? Yeah. Look at that three and the eight. He can get into it now. Yeah, if he does, though, and he doesn't, didn't, he's doesn't gotta roll catch past square, though. he's yeah. going to be a little tough on that two ball. He's got to go past. You're welcome, Farron. Where are you located, Farron? Do you guys know them? Uh, I don't no. know. I do not know Farron Harris. He did get into oh! it. Oh! That was pretty nice, and that worked out quite well for him. Alaska. Oh, I told, wow. I, I told you guys so. We want to get up there. You're going to head right over there and set one up for Al? No, no. <laughs> my schedule is pretty busy right now, but we will put you on schedule. Long way from you guys. That's all right. We want to get up there anyway. I mean, we're in Australia already, so we might as well get Alaska. Go do some fishing. Oh, some halibut fishing. Yeah. Absolutely. For for no other reason, just for the halibut. Just for, I love the halibut. Could be a year old. I, I just strained my eye from rolling it too far. Sorry. I'm a dad, man. Need dad some, jokes. Dad need some jokes. Medical attention quickly. I am a I'm a semi pro dad joke specialist. Eric made work of this, huh? Knocking the eight and the three apart. Oh yeah. He's getting himself some better angle there. Yeah. This guy's got a really nice, smooth. Alaska stroke. loves upstate Al. I actually have a good friend of mine. Is I'll just say that full name is Alaska. Sean Alaska Morgan, working in Amsterdam Billiards, New York. When Sean first came here many years ago, we used to go butt heads in uh, three cushion billiards. Uh -oh. Uh oh, you let the rock go. Oof, you are playing on Simona's cloth, the best in the world. Got to be real careful. There's no cloth tighter woven than Simona's. Not in business for 334 years because they don't know what they're doing. I love Simona's cloth. If your table or your pool room doesn't have Simona, send me a private message. We'll get you hooked up. Who's in the booth with me? Would you guys mention who's in the booth? Uh, well, so I'm sitting. My name is Jason Benware, and I'm sitting with John Sassy Pants Shiner. So it's Shiner and uh, Sassy Pants. Shiner is sassy pants. Oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> so in, in I don't know if they know you. Do you guys know Freddie? Freddie Agnia? So, like I said, uh, Freddie was just a gentleman we, we went, I went back and forth with several times online. Oh, okay. Realized we were uh, basically had played out of the same state. Okay. Um, and I simply know the name. I don't really know Freddie, but I know his okay. name. Okay. He was just curious. So, Freddie, you and I have had some uh, just – back and forth exchanges on Facebook Messenger. Nick Marino, what's up, buddy? Out of Connecticut, Q repairs. Hope to see you soon, Nick. Sassy pants. Sassy pants. 
This is you. So that nickname was given to me by his little uh, son. Wait, that's a real nickname. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That's his uh, in our list. That's his pool nickname. Uh, yeah. he I was, swear. Yeah. I'm innocent. No, it's real. He was he was given kid obnoxious, but I think the kids <laughs> kind of seen its day. So now he's just obnoxious. <laughs> I, I, Kid I'll Delicious. I don't know if you guys know <laughs> how. Oh yeah, oh, yeah that's Danny where Bassovich? it came from. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. that's Rest exactly. Rest in peace. Yeah, that's exactly where it came from. Yeah. In our room, we were we were on a, a a top ten list, and the rule was you could not give your own nickname. It had to be assigned by one of the other players in the, in the okay. group. Okay, that's, that's a lot of fun, I guess. Yeah, mine was given to me by his son. There you go. Well, Kid Delicious. I don't know if you know how he got his name. Many years ago, rest in peace, Kid Delicious, Danny Bassovich. Known him a long time. Many years ago, he was playing in Chelsea Billiards in Manhattan, New York, on 21st Street. And the other gentleman he was playing was Eddie, and I forgot Eddie's last name. I, I drove the guy home many a nights. But he was Kid Vicious, <laughs> was his nickname. They also called him Fast Eddie. Uh, but Kid Vicious, and Kid Vicious and Danny were in a match, and Danny had no nickname. And one of the guys on, on around the circle, I would bet, and said, hey, he's Kid Vicious, but you're Kid Delicious. No, he, <laughs> Danny beat him. And that's he, a good story. Yeah, that's like what that. happened. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. I think Joe Rogan used to hang around back then, too, with us uh, back in that day. Joe says he remembers me from Chelsea's, but I don't remember Joe. Sorry, yeah. Joe. <laughs> Joe's pretty supportive of pool these days, isn't he? I know Joe, but I don't know him as well as I did back then, he said. so. I just wish he'd do a little bit more with his life. You know, Joe just, Rogan? Yeah, it seems, <laughs> he seems like wasted potential to me. You know, Joe, I, I'm rooting for you, okay? Things are going to turn around. Joe Rogan. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's there, man. <laughs> if you need some support, call me. You know, I'll help you get back on your feet. <laughs> I do hope he hears this. Not that he'll well, ever call me. But there, there is somebody right now on Facebook that will call him. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really want uh, Joe to come over here and take the booth over. That would be know? amazing. Yeah. Just I to not know. have to hear you talk. <laughs> it'd, it'd yeah. Be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, I get this abuse at home. It's all right. <laughs> I don't want you to feel homesick. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> no, I, I was just been nice and started off with the jokes and kind of made me feel comfortable enough to do it. Uh, yeah, so I appreciate that. Now, yeah. Al, don't you wish you hadn't? No, I, 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 it's an honor to have you guys be honest, uh, you know, on a serious note. Um, you, I always tell everybody there's no door in this booth. Uh, you guys just don't realize you've been muted since the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I did do that to somebody, by the way. That's, that's <laughs> and he commentated the whole match. But he felt good about it the whole time, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. Until he got home and watched it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had three people like us, and I invited anybody. And he said, I, sure, come on, sit down. I didn't realize he was full of Jameson, <laughs> and uh, he was swearing up and down. I mean, every other word. And I, I muted the mics. I said, look, I don't like the swear in the air. There's a Children watch with their grandparents or uncles, sisters, mothers, whatever. All right, Al, no problem. Well, they just thought it's spewing again. And he was muted, and you can hear him, but, you know, the other two guys, myself and uh, Marco Daniels out of Jersey, we kept doing the match. <laughs> Thank you very much for sitting in. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. But not a bad guy. He just happened to be drinking that night. Right. Happens to a lot of us. Yeah, not me. It's hard to navigate this thing when you're in the stupor, you know? I just meant the drinking. Hmm. Wow, this has become a match, hasn't it? Yeah. This is like great. I'm at an AA meeting over here. <laughs> 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 it is a good match. I like to come back. I like to see it, see Soar back to a Hill Hill match from here. Absolutely. Uh, the Canadians. Wow. He's fired that one hard. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Shang. Man. That came close. And the Better nice is the. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say the nice part about watching two Canadians play is is that they're both going to be polite regardless. 
Federer is not the only uh, pool player to ever be on Joe Rogan's uh, podcast. Also, Jeremy Jones was on there. Yeah, that was great. And Joe asked me to get Earl on there. Oh. And uh, Earl uh, doesn't want to be made fun of. Oh. He said Earl, uh, Joe's going to make fun of him. And Joe said uh, he's not going to make fun of him. And I, Earl just, Joe said, Al, you get him to come out here. You come out with him. And just Earl doesn't want to go. And you can't, uh, he's a man of integrity. And I know Joe is too. And you think it's because of that impression that, that goes around online of Joe doing uh – well, no, Earl's met Joe before plenty of times out there when um, Tar was around, the action report. You know, they had a studio room set up, and Earl's been out there a few times when Joe was there. But maybe it has something to do with it. I don't know. You know? I got to say, I, I think that was a nice there's, shot. there's very few things that I enjoy more about pool than listening to Jerry, Jeremy Jones commentate pool. Right. Now, Mark Kendall of the Great White Band, the lead guitarist, um, was on Joe's podcast. And Mark Kandel also was a pool player. Really nice guy. Great white. Great white man. Wow. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Loves it. There's Katie. Justin Collette in Vegas. That's right, Katie. Tar, the action report. Thank you. So I'm in Virginia Beach. I go live with my phone because they had the surfing competition, world championships there. And I said, hey, this is Upstate Al. We're going to handle the averages of everybody's ride on the wave. And I was standing next to the Red Bull concession stand. <laughs> I was just tired. I made that all up. And I was like, yeah, we're going to handle this. <laughs> I had to bring it up. Don't ask me why. All right. There's plenty where that came from. Uh-oh. Did he get there? Is nah. he on the wrong side? He's he can little, roll it. You know, yeah, just roll forward and accept it. Yep. Take the longer shot. Yeah. Is that eight? That eight goes either side. Yeah. Right? Yes. Okay. Either corner, yeah. Yep. Yes. Again. He went low. Well, he's drawing it back to the short. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was a lot straighter than we thought. Yeah. Clearly. Oof. Gee whiz. Don't call me Shirley. Jack, we agree. JJ is awesome. He's JJ wonderful. is definitely one of the t top commentators of the world. There's right a, there's Jack's from down near our area. There, there's a man I would love to just sit there and listen to stories all day long. He's uh, he watching him commentate one pocket is about as Top notch. Yeah, it's top notch. It's when you do it over and over again where it becomes like any other job. You know, you just get lackadaisy and tell stories. You know, another guy that's really good at the, at least with the one pocket, uh, Tony Chohan does a nice job, and so does Scott Frost for that matter. Scott Frost uh, will be working with me in uh, February 2nd through the 4th. It's like a $75,000 players auction uh, wow. takes place last year. I'll be down at J-O-B's in Tennessee for that one. Oh, so Eric just hit the hill. Boom. Yep. Looking forward to seeing Scott. Man, there's a lot going on down south this winter. Well, I wish I was down south this winter. I did it last year. I stayed in the south last year and didn't miss, a, not even seen a snowflake. And then came back after everything was already gone. It was a nice feeling. Mm. That's the first time I did that. We've got um, you've got several events. Uh, I pay a lot of attention to what's going on for One Pocket and stuff like that. There's several of those events going on down there. Right, right, right. Um, toward the end of the winter, early spring is when the uh, Scotty Townsend Memorial is down there in Louisiana. There's there's all right. sorts of stuff. It's and talk about Calcutta's. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, most of that money comes from Carl Bloom. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, I mean, uh... Carl Bloom walks over. Frost's big buddy. Uh, he says, I don't want no smoking in this pool room. Oh, and, the owner says, and the owner says, give me 10000 I won't let anybody break. smoke. And he just calls just says, here, here's 10000 Nobody smoke. Gives the owners. I don't want no smoke in your pool room. <laughs> Did you see the video when he won the 128000 No. Well, I happen to be personal friends with somebody, and... Call Bloom's. He's got rolls of hundreds. He's gonna come around. Puts us. it on the bed. 
rolls another 100, rolls a 50s, 20s, he rolls them, and they're all rolled up. He gives to a stack of fives, and he throws it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> there was $3,700 in fives. Fives? <laughs> wow, that's a lot of fives. Yeah, that's, well, it's a nice hold Dom, on Dominic five. doesn't have that right. kind of money. It was the whole room betting against Call, you know, thinking he was going to lose, and he won. It's a nice hold. I think it's just going to roll forward here a little, take the long shot. No, he's loading up for a little more net. No, he did. Oh, Beautiful. Just about perfect. Beautiful. He actually gives lessons up in Canada, too. Does a lot for the game. Did he draw and play the seven on the side, or did he just squirt across a little and play the seven in the corner and the nine in the same spot? I like the side pocket because it's shot, stop, and Horse rocket. Follow. You know? Horse follow. Yeah, right into the side. It well, we nah, sure. You want to get straight in that, but he's no harm, no foul. He's okay. So you come down to this bottom pocket and then just back slide up. across? Down and back up. He could go down I mean and the, back the up. The seven's coming down here. Oh, then he just, okay, that works too. Shot. That's why. That's what I thought. I recall See, I was right out. twice. Hey, remember we just had this conversation about pro shooting the ball up rather than taking the side pocket? I do remember that. Depends on the layout. Way to go, Eric. Nice job. Good job. Good showing, Danny. Nice showing, Danny. Well, folks, uh, that's the end of the road for Mr. Hewitt as Eric Collison is going to move up in the brackets. Next will be the hot seat match between Jason Eagle Eye Shore and Fedor the Robot Ghost or the La Machina. He had a couple of names. <laughs> uh, they will be coming up next at 3 o'clock. Please spread the word. Uh, let everybody know. And I want to thank these two gentlemen. I want to thank uh, gentlemen. <laughs> I use that term <laughs> loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy and Jemmy, right? Perfect. Auntie Pants and Nancy Pants. Perfect. <laughs> Al, it was a pleasure. No, thank, thank you very much. Thank you Thanks, for Al, initially, uh, initially coming over to me and say, hey, I'll keep you company. I appreciate it. And thank, thank you so you. much also. This is thank all on film. Don't squeeze it that hot. <laughs> all right. These guys have been great, folks. It's you know, it's not me by myself. It, it's folks like these guys, you know, and you guys watching. That, that makes the whole pool world great. I thank you once again. We'll be back at 3 o'clock.
new to pool and practicing the basics, or a more experienced player performing drills to improve your shot making and positional play, the Drill Partner is perfect for you. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, Absolutely. Hey, folks, I just want to bounce in here uh, and, and thank a couple of people. And we'll get back to the sponsor commercials, of course. Farron Harris, thank you so much. And uh, they said, Turning Stone Stream. Thank you, Farron Harris. Appreciate you much. And also, uh, Jeff Purvis. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that. Just wanted to jump in here. I'd like to thank people for all the help. We'll go right back to the ads. Or did we do them all? <laughs> I think we did them all. All right. Let's not say we did. There you see them right there in front of you. That all ghost. There'll be hot seat coming up next. John Barton and lovely wife Karen. JB Cases. We'll be back in a second.
uh, Hanoi Open Championship in uh, Vietnam. And he's six-time Moscone Cup team member as well. Six-time. Eight-time. Eight-time? Six-time winner. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. And nine-time winner right here, by the way, at Turning Stone, Jason Shaw. <laughs> All right. And we have this gentleman over here, young fella. He's been here a couple times already. And if my recollection is right, he's been here. He won one, and then he came in. I don't know where he came in. was right up near the end. But I think the only guy, I think the only guy that beat him here is this guy. Nobody else beat you, right? He's the only, <laughs> right. So he's our reigning defending champion. He won this tournament back in uh, September. And he's also a world nine ball champion. He's only 23 years old, world nine ball champ. He won the Perry Open last year. He finished second in the U.S. Open last year. And he's a two-time Derby City all-around champ. There he is, Fedor Gorst. Okay, good luck, everyone. Please turn the ringers off on your cell phones, everyone. They can be very distracting to the players. And um, we still have the second chance tournament going on. Perfect. Hey, folks. Man, do we have some special guest here. I'm going to let you in, let them introduce themselves to you. Go right ahead, ladies, first. Hello. I'm oh. Christina Tkach. <laughs> Christina is in the booth. What a pleasure. Guess who's playing? Fedor. <laughs> and the gentleman all the way to the right navigating the whole ship. Sean Santoro, a.k.a. Pancake. <laughs> My man. And Al is absolutely correct. We have a great matchup. The matchup that I think everybody here was waiting to see. Correct. Probably the two best players in the tournament. Head to head. Does, uh, Christina, does Fedor do the dishes in the house? No. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now it's nothing house related. Okay. No more. <laughs> That's all we're going to ask. Okay. <laughs> Well, first of all, we haven't been home for quite a long time. So. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. <laughs> so it looks like Jason uh, won the lag and he's going to be breaking. This is uh, the hot seat match, race to nine. And as you can see behind them, Rodney and Eric are playing to stay in the tournament. So the loser of this match is going to be er uh, going to play Eric or Rodney. Yes. Is it correct? So yep. it's last four in a tournament. Yes. Yep. This is everyone who remains. All right. Looks like Jason's ready to break. Yeah. They've been working the wing ball, of course, and the one ball towards the side. Right on cue, Al. Yeah, no pun intended. That is a book made by Tom McGonigal. It is available on Amazon. It's called Right on Cue. It's about a love story that took place in a pool room. No joke. I'm serious. Tom McGonigal from Boston. All right, so he's not left with a great shot on the two ball here. Makeable, though. I think he's going to take this on. I mean, you don't even really have to hit this side hard because the three is kind of a sitting duck up there towards the right-hand corner. The problem is the nine ball. You don't really want to touch it. He fired it. Wow. I thought he was going to shoot the three in the upper right-hand corner, but well, this, is, uh, this is the table day four of the tournament. Day one, that ball goes in. Yeah. In other words, uh, for you guys out there, the cloth was brand new, so it was kind of slidey. And it would accept shots. Now it's getting a little tighter. Yeah, and uh, my money's on Fetter here to get out. What do you think, Christina? My, <laughs> my money, too. <laughs> <laughs> She's not biased at all. <laughs> oh, an unfortunate kiss on the six ball. Now he plays to the short side. Is that what the way we're going? Is he going to try to spin towards the short side of that four? He hates slow, slowing down, slow roll the ball. Mm -hmm. So if it's possible to use as many rails as possible, he's going to do that. Right. 
So you're looking at four rails and maybe three and then slow down. A lot of left hand spin here. Mm -hmm. I would imagine, I don't know if he can pull it off. It, it, you know, because of the cut on the three is kind of thin. Yeah, he's going way outside left there. He's got to. Maybe he's going like four rails. No. Could, you couldn't yeah, hit like it that. any better. Yeah. That's, that's close to ball in hand, but wait a minute. He's Does underneath he it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 sounds like Christmas all over again. What a shot. Oh, 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 oh. What a shot. <laughs> Beautifully done. Well, that's what he does. <laughs> but I, I honestly think he was playing to the other side of that yeah. four ball. And he kind of got a real fortune to get underneath and winding up like this. Well, but maybe he wanted to go like just above the four ball, not underneath. Right. That, that too is a possibility, yeah. If he played that shot right there, I just take my stick, I break it down, I go <laughs> home. <laughs> right. I just go home. Okay, a little bump off the rail. All right. Now he's back to being the favorite of running out the rack. That's a pretty routine layout. I don't think he will have any problems cleaning up the table. Oh? Commentator curse. <laughs> well, <laughs> not bad anyway. I mean, still playable. From the camera, it seems like the angle is a lot smaller. Right. Yeah, the cameras could fool you. They do fool me occasionally. Christina, you won the 14.1, didn't you? I did, yeah. And then you won also the prize for the high run, didn't you? It was, yeah, uh, we didn't have a high price. It was like $100 a day, and I won like three days in a row. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay, so you won a little extra cheese. Yeah, a little extra. That's yeah. good. Almost like tips, you know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't mind. Thank you for your service. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's, uh, actually, it was uh, very enjoyable to play in straight pool because when you're home and, like, you don't do it for the camera, it's right. really hard to focus sometimes. Oh, this is a little. Well, you have competition there too, which makes it uh, like yeah. when you're when you're at home practicing mm -hmm. with Petty, you got really no competition. So. <laughs> that, that's true. Like it's very easy to lose the focus, and it's sure. some, you know at some point you just like it's getting boring for me, I guess. Right, right. But when you have a competition, it's it's very you know um, fascinating game. Absolutely. That can drag you in. Uh, especially if you have a competition. What a shot. And you turn into the crystal when you got all the competition. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The, crys the crystal. The crystal. <laughs> Sean, uh, the other day he came to me and said, hey, how, how come your name is not uh, KTO? TKO. Technical TKO. Knockout. I'm TKO. like, where, knockout. where you've yep. been all these years <laughs> when I was trying to look for my nickname? I told her I sent it to her on Facebook when she asked, what should my nickname be? Because... Her first two initials of her last name is TK. Right, right. And in the United States, everybody knows TKO yeah. as a knockout. And competitive speaking. I didn't even speaking, think that far. That's pretty deep. Yeah, competitive speaking. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. We should vote now. <laughs> well, I think, Chris, I think Crystal's starting to really snowball, you know, getting bigger and bigger. Crystal. Yeah. A lot of people was asking me, like, why Crystal and stuff. And mm -hmm. the thing is that a lot of people associate me with, obviously, Russia and cold and snow. Right, and crystal is something like winter related, but oh, I didn't I gotcha. like I anything like snow or ice princess. It was like weird <laughs> for me, you know. You know, be from the states here though, crystal is like a, it's not not just like a normal glass. It's it's a classy type of yeah. right glass. Yes. You know what yeah. I mean? Yes. And it's cold, and a lot of people say I have a very like cold face when I'm playing. I'm not <laughs> showing a lot of emotions, mm -hmm. you know. So it has a lot of meanings into yes. that if you really know. You know. All I know about Crystal is lead. You know, I think TKO might be a better name, uh, but uh, it, it, the Crystal's been catching on. Okay, voting. Open <laughs> voting. Okay. Comments. All TKO. Right. It, <laughs> sounds, it, sound, it sounds like Christina doesn't really appreciate Crystal too much. You guys out there, come up, <laughs> come up with some names. See if you can top Pancake. Okay. Give us some nicknames, guys. I would, appre I would appreciate, yeah. And if you do come up with a real good name, you get a signed cue ball and a photograph autograph. <laughs> a photo TKO autograph. much better, okay. <laughs> right. I just made my new shirts with Crystal. 
<laughs> yeah, guys, we're going to need a donation for, for for TKO's new shirts. Oh, oh the cue ball. Very unfortunate. That's, that's the bad part of the, about this game that Darren Appleton always mentions to me. And uh, You could be punished. You could shoot perfect and be punished like that by getting kicked in the pocket. And it's true. Jason Shaw now up at the table, and everybody's telling me, Al, put up the scoreboard. And I am. Um, Yes, it's one nothing uh, Fetter right now, um, and Fetter just scratched on the break. Jason had ball in hand, and he is uh, running out as we speak. Princess. Oh, look at that! Catch me if you can. <laughs> That's good. That's pretty good. Jason missed almost straight in. Oh my goodness. I feel like Jason is not playing like his best game this week. Yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen a little bit of that. Um, I also think the the factor of just playing someone like Fedor, you know, putting a little fire, you know, if you miss, yeah, you get a punch. You're probably not seeing the table again. Yeah, well, I'd like to shoot like Jason on a bad day. His right. worst oh, day. Oh, absolutely, hundred percent. Hundred percent. How you doing out there, Ian? The name's Pancake, not Waffle. Get it right. <laughs> Get it right. Or else. You know, I'm a celebrity now. I made it to Saturday, so. I know you are. I uh, signed a poster for somebody. <laughs> it was very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to ask Zuglin after this match if he's going to put me on the next poster. I say we get in touch with Cleary and have him pull strings and oh, get you on the Moscone Cup. 100%. 100%. Just perfect speed. <laughs> Makes it look so easy. John Francisco says pineapple. Pineapple. I hope he's talking about you, Sean, not oh, about <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's his new idea for a nickname, pineapple. Yeah, nothing to do with Christina my hair pineapple. color. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're hey. tied at one. Oh, no, two nothing. Two nothing. Sorry, I apologize. Wow. Well, you know, either player can af cannot afford to let one go by four nothing. You know what I mean? Four nothing's like scary, scary. Well, I mean, you I know? I saw in, a, um, in this format when you just win a break, it's it's scary. I I was mentioning before, I didn't see too many packages this turning stone usually you have someone running four five six seven racks at a time four pack is the most four is the of. most right yeah right, uh, casper did it okay he start he well he's i know he started i think with a three pack on donnie when he played uh when they played last night i think he hit uh might have been ron casanzio with a four pack I, one of those players what a tournament he had ron yeah well how about errol herring yes 80 years old, he cash. Yeah. I don't think there's ever been an 80-year-old, whether it be female or male player, yeah. cash in the turning stone. Yeah, Earl. Uh, Earl's a great player. Um, yes, Sid, Dave Pinkston. We were all representing the gallery. gallery. Okay, yeah, the, the gallery, gallery crew. crew. And yeah, actually, absolutely. you know, the, been playing with those guys the last four or five months. We play five dollars a rack. Of course, I pay everybody at the end. Whether win or but, lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it, it makes you a better player when you play players that know what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could, you know, you could stay at home and, and play in uh, your normal people that you play every week, and you might not get better. You have to step out and play with the big boys or big girls. Absolutely. Um, I'd rather play with the big girls. I, I appreciate honest. you <laughs> mentioning girls. <laughs> okay, yes. women. Yes. <laughs> no, listen. To me, and it's a pet peeve of mine, it's not a female pool player or a male. You're a pool player. Right. You know, when Karen Core beat Earl Strickland here, you know, and uh, Earl was practicing back in Steinway after this, and Shane came in, Shane Van Boney said, hey, Earl, what happened to the girl? <laughs> and uh, Earl, said, Earl said, man, that girl got so lucky. That woman got so lucky. And Shane said, don't worry about Earl. He said, I lost to a lot of women. And, and Earl looked at Shane like, okay, I guess it's okay then. <laughs> and it was nice. It was a yeah. nice sight. Here we go to the break. But players are players, female or male. Correct. Just don't swim with my granddaughter in a swimming meet. <laughs> Here we go. Six into one. Keep your eye on them. 
Wow. Wow. The six jumped. It didn't right even in. land on it. Felt just jumped in. Right in. Look at this. Look at the three. three. Ball. Ooh, he still might. He still might have it. I he think so. It. He's got I it. I think so. I believe he's got it. Christina's out here. We know that. It's very close, but if you look at Fetter's uh, body might. language, mm -hmm. it seems like it does pass the three ball. And on top of that, pockets are pretty big, so he can always chew the pocket a little bit. Wait a minute. <laughs> four and a quarter is pretty big? Four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, a little, this much makes a difference, I guess, right? Oh, oh it makes a big huge difference. difference. Huge difference. Huge difference. On top difference. of that, the, the cloth that wow. you and bowls are clean, so it also right. helps a lot. Wow, that quarter inch makes a difference when you're out there. That's big. That's big. And these tables, I think, are going straight to Derby, right? Probably. I mean, they've got coin ops on them. Oh, okay. So they'll probably be down there. Yeah. We will be there at Derby also, by the way, folks. We're streaming all 16 tables on the first floor. Awesome. Yeah, so you guys will have your choice of matches to watch. I will also be going to Derby, Al. Will you? I, uh, I'm putting my uh, appointment schedule, I backed it up to the 29th so I can go to Derby for the nine ball. So I'll be there from the 23rd to the 28th. Oh, cool. Looking we'll be there three days up, earlier. Looking to stir up some trouble yeah, before well, I, I get locked away. You, you, you're never, yeah, that's right, because <laughs> your season's season, coming yeah, up. That's yeah. right. So me and Carl, me and Carl Baum will be there. Uh, <laughs> Stirring things up. Yes, yeah. Accepting all challenges. Now, wait a minute. Didn't I see you go out to, like, Cincinnati or something for a football game? Or? Cleveland. Cleveland. I went to Cleveland oh, with, hi, uh, yeah. with uh, the, Andrew Cleary. Andrew Cleary. And, and you guys were, like, VIP. I mean, well, Skybox, what's the deal? Yeah, yeah. We had uh, very good seats thanks to uh, FanDuel. Uh, <laughs> so it was uh, Andrew's birthday, and he's a huge Cleveland Browns fan, and I'm a huge 49er fan. <laughs> so uh, we chose that game, and Cleveland ended up winning because my kicker missed a 41-yarder. And the Cleveland fans let me know how they felt. <laughs> Dave, can't you drive these monitors to Derby for me? <laughs> <laughs> Dave really came through like red, white, and blue, honest. Listen, Dave Saved is, us six hours on the road, man. Dave is a good guy, best pool player in, in Jersey. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy. You are. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Rivera, don't forget about Jimmy. We might have yeah. to have a challenge match. I know. We should have that. That yeah. would be fun. As Fetter runs out, makes it three nothing. Yeah. So Christina, you're going to be going to Derby as well. Yes. Okay. I mean, we leave almost like next street. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's uh, I I missed uh, the previous two Derbies because we last year we had a World Championships uh, nine ball in Atlantic City, and the previous year I I just didn't go with Fetter. Uh, I was staying back home in Russia. So it's going to be fun to be back because I've been there in uh, 20, beginning of 2020 before the pandemic hit and uh, it was a little different. I felt mm -hmm. like the all, all action died because they moved the casino right right, right, right. next door and um, I'm excited to, to be back. It's a legendary event. So I mean after, after you win in Alabama, you then <laughs> go to Derby. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yes. I like it. I like I'll it. try my best. How many times? I mean, they must really ID you when you're at Derby, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, know I was surprised. Uh, I was um, uh, with my dad here, and uh, a couple of times got him a shot of whiskey, and nobody asked me for ID, and I was <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> when they start calling you ma'am, <laughs> then you got to worry. <laughs> right. The first right. time somebody called me sir, I was like, well, I guess I'm there now. You know, I'm old now, so... It's it's a long, long road, folks. I mean, I had Brian Russell's son in the booth. His other son was in the booth with me 10 years ago. I couldn't believe it. It was like a reality check. Now I have his younger brother in the booth with his dad, too. I like to have that all recorded for memories. Al, they're asking if you're charging for the stream in Derby on the uh, the, the Yes, it is a pay-per-view. That's correct. And Zach will answer that. Did you answer that question? Where is it? Pass by? No, they were asking if uh, you were charging for the stream down in Derby. It was, so, I saw it in the, in the chat. All right, here we go. Watch the four ball. 
right in the hole. And the one ball. And shape on the two. Six gets out of the way. Well, this is a... Uh, I think Federer would take this break every time. Yeah, absolutely. You would like to start here all the time. Um, it, it's probably going to be 4 nothing. I was just talking about 4 nothing in a win-a-break format. It's pretty scary when you're sitting in the seat. 100%. I mean, you really, I mean, you got to hope for a shot, and then you got to dance when you get the opportunity. But if you're playing Federer and he gets in trouble, believe me, you're going to be locked up somewhere. He's not just going to leave it out in the open. He's going to play you safe. And the same thing about Jason, but Jason has to get out of the handcuffs first. All right, so. I hit it a little bit too hard. <laughs> a little bit, right? I always start getting so nervous. <laughs> stopping the cue. Christina was stopping the cue ball with her mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guilty. I do that a lot of times. <laughs> well, there's more pockets on this table, not just one. So he has opportunities. Yeah. I mean, you saw behind them, Eric uh, Horfson just ran out against Rodney. We'll try to get you a score on that. The live scores are on digitalpool.com. And it looks like Rodney Morris is up 3-1. to one. Eric is having a great tournament so far. Absolutely. A couple of big wins. Yeah. He beat uh, Vitaly. He beat... Um, Danny Hewitt just before. Now, how do you play this? Uh, hey, Jason. <laughs> how do you play this five ball, Christina? You go well, real first can, here? No, no, no. You can stun the ball, mm -hmm. like stun draw. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can follow too, but I feel like the angle is a little funny. It's like not enough of the angle you can force it of course but it's it's always i think better to go with a higher percentage shot which is like stun draws like that there you go but i think the problem is seven doesn't pass the nine is it yeah, we'll take checking. a look yeah, he's looking i'm not sure what the camera he is looked here. he looked pretty quick it looks like it may it might go yeah because if it doesn't go then uh, then he's got to spin around yeah. right Spin around? Go you mean under the forward? eight ball? Yeah. No, but he's going to clip the eight ball. Oh, okay. So he would have to go like two rails, but like stunning. It's got to go. Yeah, but it seems like it does go. Yeah. Yeah, he looked at it pretty quick. Maybe it does go, but only like half a pocket. I hate those kind of shots. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough, right? The, the other so object ball tough. gets in your eye a little bit when yeah. you're down. And your mind almost wants you to hit the mm -hmm. ball. <laughs> Always. You set a pocket, right? Right. Mm -hmm. You got to play the inside of that pocket when mm -hmm. it's only got three quarters of a pocket. Like oh. a robot. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. What a respectable young man this guy is. Oh, Fetter? Oh, my God. Well, I've, I've hung Everybody out with Federer quite like a bit, that. and uh, this is actually the first time hanging out with Christina and her father, and they're all very, very genuinely good people, and Thank that's you. what you need to <laughs> surround yourself with, Yes, especially yes. in the pool world. Especially if you're going to get married, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the lady to see. You think I'm joking. I know her personal. She's number one best event planner for a wedding, parties. <laughs> This if Al's you, upselling. He's oh upselling. I like it. Listen, if you guys get married, I'm sure they would be more than happy <laughs> to bend over backwards or do anything just to say that you got married. They got an estate. You can touch the smoky mounts. If you go up there, you're like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm not pushing the issue, with <laughs> Mr. Fedor. <laughs> Somebody is asking, what's the, oh, what's the comment? What's the Ferris highest nine bowl? packs that he ever put oh and i can tell you that i'm not keeping track of fatters <laughs> 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 running out <laughs> i'm sorry i don't have an answer for this question chrissy polowski says that uh, you're an amazing teacher thank well, you i also see um 
Chrissy. I, I've never met Chrissy, but we're friends on Facebook, and she's doing a lot of big things with pool. We will be there February 2nd through the 4th at J.O.B.'s. The last player's auction was 75 k Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. It's unbelievable. We're going to have Scott Frost do the commentary. It's going to be amazing. Get in touch with Chrissy Porowski if you want to play. You better get there quick. It's I think they're opening it up, or they have 192 players already. So it's something nuts. Get in somebody's it. Somebody's asking what Q Fatter is using, and it's a uh, Viking Q with a uh, white carbon shaft. Thanks, Frank the Tank. <laughs> Frank is saying my voice is too sexy for the stream out. Too sexy for the stream. <laughs> Frank is a, a pool player from Italy. Mr. I know him. Mr. Candela, very good guy also. The mozzarella was great last time, let me tell you. <laughs> He's got a spot. When he comes back next time, we're going to this uh, spot. Of, uh, he he said is the closest to his hometown pizza there in Italy, so we're going to visit it when he comes back. Nice. Nice. Yeah, nothing can beat Italian pizza. Actually, we've been in New York, and we went to some Italian restaurant, and the pizza was amazing. Right, it was called the Godfather, right? It was like, Something oh, like I've that, been yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, they got a nice vodka pie. Oh, <laughs> my God, to die for. It's, it's tough to compete with New York City with food. I tell you, there's so many good restaurants there. It's, it's insane. Restaurant Alley. All right, so this break's a little different. The wing ball didn't go right in. Does Fedor jump with a full cue, or is he going to roll out? I think he's going to mm -hmm. push. Push. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, I don't think it's possible to jump. Where do you push? Here. Push to a kick? Yeah. But where? I mean, that's a small area right there. You can't leave Jason any air. I know. That's that's a tough thing. He might be thinking about kicking at this ball, but I, I mean. Maybe rolling it next to the four ball. I don't know. I'm trying to kick. Yeah, yeah, that I probably like that. is the best option. I like that, yeah. Leave them on top of the four, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, actually leave the cue right there and bank the four towards the short rail. It just works fine. Well, you'd, wanna, you'd want to give him a harder but shot, right? And like, you also if you got the, the chance of him giving it back to you. Right, but you if you move the four out of the way, I mean, he's going to, Jason's definitely going to kick it. How about this? And tie something up oh, close. Up. Wow. That's probably even better. That's triple That's shot. Better. Yeah. <laughs> it's triple trap. That is pretty good. And a good thing about, like, even if you try to bring the cue ball back behind the eight, mm -hmm. there's too much traffic on the way as a nine ball or five ball. Mm -hmm. So it's still a mis mistake possibility. So you'd kick behind this ball. Oh, he oh, cut he it in. Oh. <laughs> they call him eagle eye for a reason. Uh, wow. <laughs> I didn't think what? he could cut that in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we plan B. Plan, plan B. B. <laughs> wow. I don't think anybody thought he can cut it in. I mean, there, there's, you got to play it safe. There's no reward here. You got to play it safe. Lock him up behind the four, seven, or behind the eight, even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's the speed? Pretty sporty. Pretty good. <laughs> but he didn't freeze him to the eight. Correct. <laughs> and. I remember watching the uh, the Moscone Cup, and the amount of kick safes and re-kick safes back is these guys are incredible with how they kick and and stick a ball wherever they want. Yeah, it's uh, it's the ability to pick up the right speed as well. Like in case you're not going to hit the right side of the ball, you're still trying to get lucky. And a lot of people think they're getting lucky, but they are shooting to get lucky. Right, like picking up the right speed to get lucky. Yeah, as an amateur player, we tend to swing hard because we want to make sure that the cue ball is going at that ball. And if it mm -hmm. hits a rail, maybe it'll still hit the ball. As opposed to, we know we're going to hit the ball. Let's worry about where the cue ball is going to rest so our jo opponent doesn't get a shot. Joseph Chaplo, thank you for your uh, generosity. Also, Shane Van Boning, thank you for your generosity. No, this is actually Shane Carney's. Thank you. A.K.A. Shane Van Boning. Also, Andy Pesh, thank you so much. Thanks for letting Fedor yes. stream the. Yeah. Thanks for letting Fedor stream the Shaw match. I do. Fedor is very respectful, and he acts before he actually sets Ooh. up his camera. Just missed that ball. 
Well, the good news is, is the four is still kind of tied up. Somebody's uh, Steven. Yeah, I still have my work books. Just hit me up with a message, Facebook, and I'll send you a new one. Steven, I didn't know you were, uh, you know, using professionals for for <laughs> your stuff. You know, our, our challenge match might have ch just changed. Yeah, you're not that. getting the five out anymore. Me knowing Pancake. that, Pan Pancake's yeah, he, not giving you the he five. He wants out. to play me even, and he's getting workbooks from from Christina here. I don't. You see how that works? I don't even have cookbooks. <laughs> He's the one that came up with uh, the nickname for me, the Russian cupcake, <laughs> which is very close <laughs> to a pancake. There you Maybe go. he's <laughs> the one who gave you this nickname. <laughs> well, that was that oh, was nice Gre safety. Greg Antonakis and Dave Pinkston came up with that at our pool hall, but nice that safety, was crazy. But yes, Jason put him right on the seven, and Christina, take it away. What is he gonna do here? To rail kick. I don't think he has any other options. You, yeah, with the cloth and jacked up over the seven like that, you know, it, it, you don't want the slide. You don't want to hit the inside of the four, though, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, yeah. You can scratch. Gonna scratch. Yeah, pretty hard to do but when you're jacked up like this. Go ahead. But if he's going to kick it good, he might save him back. Yeah. And the, the important thing here is the speed of the cue ball, right? Because mm -hmm. if, he, if he hits the four properly, he could end up behind the nine with the cue and the four sits on the, on the long rail. Mm -hmm. Oh, too wide. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh I thought he was going to hit the six. Okay. He would have made it. Any closer, he would have made it. Yeah. All right, so Jason has ball in hand, and Federer is on two fouls. Oh, come on, Jason. Let's tie this up. Let's go hill, hill. <laughs> Sorry, Christina. I'd like to see a good match. <laughs> <laughs> Christina's face was great when you said that. She's like, she, excuse she actually, me? She pulled out a stick on me. She said, keep talking that way. <laughs> She's gonna, <laughs> she'll be TKO in a moment, oh. guys. <laughs> she was ready. <laughs> All right. So do you think he's going to play 7-8 combo? Or I think so, yeah. Playing the small area for the 7 ball? Well, being where the 6 is, I think he has no choice. Unless he decides to get high like this and then bump it out and get an organ underneath it. I mean, I think he's going to take the combo. I mean, he's he's really pretty good at those shots. And he, if he ends up dead straight on it, it, it looks like it's dead <coughs> He's dead coming straight. underneath the 7. Yeah, it seems like. It's a pretty big area, though, for the seven ball. And it's not frozen in the rail. Yeah, I don't think you want to be challenging these it's gonna combos. Yeah, it's going to spin under it. Yeah. I mean, there's oh. nothing wrong with it. I think the combo is fairly easy to do, but... I think the, the, com I think the combo is easier than this shot. Well, no, nah, not really. I mean, you miss any one of the two, and you might be looking at another four-pack on you, you know? So yeah. it's kind of pressure. Oof. Oof, what was that? This is four and a half. <laughs> yeah, four and a quarter, Al, that doesn't go in, just no. to let you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Another day that doesn't you're go You're right, in. yeah, yeah you're right. You. You're right. Well, I mean, Jason, you know, Jason didn't give, uh, you know, Fetter any room, so. There you have Eagle Eye. On the board, four to one. Looks like Eagle Eye might be the local favorite here. I hear more applause for Eagle. I think uh, Ara is around here somewhere. A little spy on her. Yeah, she's up in the stands over there. I'll give her a spy. Somebody was asking me in the beginning if I uh, cashed in the tournament, and yes, I did. I'm very happy about it. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Broke even with entry fees. Yeah. And your dad cashed as well. Yeah. Wow. He was my, he was my horse, actually. <laughs> I put him in a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I hope he gets a good percentage. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he wanted to give me all the money back. I'm like, hey, keep the $100, and you got to spend it. This yeah. is the wow. real your first money you make in a tournament. That's, That's nice great. to hear. That is awesome. That is really nice to hear. Yeah, he um, he knocked me out, so. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but he's, it was a lot of fun. We TKO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. TKO. Yeah, he, he, he TKO'd me for sure. <laughs> Jason Shaw got, 
He has the one ball. Where's the two? Perfect. And he's got a pocket. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's all good. This was a very, very, uh, very good tournament for me. I was very happy. Uh, my dad doesn't have Fargo because you've never played any uh, official tournament outside of Russia. John, if I had to give him a Fargo, I would say he's um, in the 620 range. Jesse Joans uh, Joansky, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, but I know you, Jesse. Thank you for your uh, contribution. Appreciate it, buddy. Great photographer, too. Well, there's no problems for Jason cleaning out this table. It's a little bit straight on yeah, the six ball this, row. This, he, do you punch this or you try to get to the short side and play? You got to get to the short side, I think. I believe he can come up with He's gonna have to hit some it hard. angle, yeah. No, he no. did get the short side. A little bit too short. Christina, you got the four out when it comes to commentary. I'm giving you the four out and the breaks. Wow. Okay. <laughs> How much do you want to bet? That's yeah. what you're supposed to say. <laughs> no. Al, Stephen wants to know if you have Cash App. I do not have Cash App. I see some folks are uh, sending Cash App. I used to, and I don't use it anymore. Johnny Ortiz actually tried to send something. I do not use Cash App. The only thing I use is PayPal. Thank you anyway for the gesture. Appreciate it. Jason Shaw. I actually do this for Mike Zuglin, and I don't charge him a dime. Not Four one penny. I do it for free. And the contributions do help, especially on the road. You yeah, know, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough, bro. It's a tough road. I haven't been home in three years. Thank you, Mr. Wolak. I appreciate the kind words. I know you had a pretty good uh, turning stone last uh, last September, so just trying to uh, to get better. Trying to get better. All right, Steve, you got it. Steve wants me to give you 20, Al, and he'll, uh, he'll cash at me. I don't accept money from Pancake. Ooh. Last time I did that, I got three guys surrounding me with, a, <laughs> you know, with earphones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we see Eric in the background breaking. Let me give you an update on that match for you guys. 4-3 Eric. So Eric, who was down 3 nothing has won the last four racks against Rodney. And if you guys are just watching this, this is the hot seat match. So the person that gets defeated will not be out of the tournament. Nope. Will just probably, most likely, have a second opportunity to come back and play the same person. Speaking of uh, Jason Shaw equipment, I think he uh, quit Perry and uh, he's playing with Vikings as well. Yes, correct. Yeah, there's he is not with Perry anymore. There's a lot of players changed their equipment. Yes. In the past couple of months. It's kind of like the uh, the Nike and Adidas of everything. Everybody's <laughs> changing changing their shoes, yeah. change their equipment. Nothing wrong with it. Now I mean, it's all business. Here's a good question: While while Feder is racking for Christina, is as far as equipment goes, how as a as a you know good player do you decide? Hey, I need to change something even at such a high level when you're playing well, you feel like you need to do something else to get better. Well, a lot of times it's not about the equipment. It's about sponsorship contracts, to be honest. Okay. Right? I'm not going to bullshit people. Right? No, that's, that's transparency. People people I love know. it. The people want to know. Exactly. I mean, as a we know he doesn't, athlete, we know he doesn't do the dishes, and we <laughs> now we know it's about the cash. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. Yes. So we got it. And I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's you're very lucky if you have really good equipment and, and the, the company yeah. that supports you and appreciate your effort and there's a lot of companies that you know when you're in the top they offer you everything mm -hmm. and the moment you're not showing your best game for a year or two now they talk different to you that's the uh, reality yeah, yeah. that so is the reality well said you gotta really appreciate people that truly cares about you and you know support you and us understand you're not a robot and you will have a bad year everybody's having a bad years right you know 
So it's uh, here is a young lady that was so shy when she was younger. When I first met her in Chicago, like how old were you? Fourteen, fifteen, maybe? Not Chicago. I think it was New York. No, it was in the Renaissance Hotel. Oh yeah, for uh, <laughs> yeah. that's how long ago. <laughs> Atlantic Challenge Cup, the for like kids' version of Moscone. Yeah, how oh, old were you? Wow, I was sixteen. Sixteen. She was so shy, <laughs> so shy, but great player. She's Americanized now. She was. I'm telling <laughs> you, she was the best player on there. Uh, Christina <coughs> and uh, Maxine Dudenitz mm. were the best players on there, and Shane Wolfer was on the other side. I was talking to Shane uh, after this Moscone Cup, and I'm like, hey. Do you remember we played like Atlantic, Atlantic Challenge Cup against each other, and now you're playing an actual Moscone Cup? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's surreal, right? It's I surreal. saw I saw an old picture of Shane. <laughs> that makes me feel old. so little. <laughs> it's crazy. Good times, though. Good times. Many good times. All right, Jason Shore here is stuck on his two ball. Chris Best, I do come to Florida sometimes. Uh, in Jacksonville, I built a couple times for Predator. But maybe I should make my way to Florida. Combine vacation. And there you go. Give some some sun. Yeah. yeah. It seems like two ball doesn't pass the seven. This Jason is checking if it does. That's close. Yeah. But you're going to hit the wrong side of the pocket. So it might stay in the pocket. I think he's looking for a safety. Is it safe or safety? Either one. Yeah. Snooker. Same thing. Either one. It's like with either or either. There's so many <laughs> weird <laughs> words you can pronounce it the way you want. <laughs> well, listen, your your English is actually very good. Oh, thank you. Much better than my Russian. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. Although I'm learning more and more. I am listening to the conversations, trying to pick up things. That's what I used oh, to tell cool. people. When I like learning languages. <laughs> that's yeah. good. That's what I used to say to people when they've been mean to my English and saying that uh, I'm pronouncing words incorrectly. I'm like, yeah, but my English is better than your Russian. That's right. That's <laughs> there you right. go. That's, that's a good answer. Absolutely. All right, we're going to look at the safety. He's probably going to put the two behind the five, the cue ball by the four ball, if he can squeeze it back there. Oh, he cut it in. It looked like he was trying wow. to do that the way he was being wow. so precise with that with that stroke. and. Wow. It was actually a very tough shot. Yeah. I didn't think it went. You, know, you got to be out there on the floor really to see it from the camera angle. It didn't look like it went. It looked like he had three quarters of a pocket. Yeah. And he also put inside English. Right. Yeah, it could have sat right on the shelf. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm a double agent. <laughs> double you're right. You're right, though. This is my training. <laughs> that was another good egg. Yeah, that oh. was great. Uh oh, this came up light. Wow. This came up light. It's very unusual for Jason. Yeah. He usually hit balls most of the time with a lot of pace. Mm -hmm. So. It looked like he just decelerated out of, out yeah. of the shot. Yeah, I don't, or, or I don't know if it was his shot or maybe the cue ball grabbed under the rail and come off a little slower. Yeah, but he had a lot of table to run yeah. forward. You know, like if he would overrun it, it would be still good. Yeah, he could have went to the other side of it, without a doubt. I think he was trying to slide to the short side under the seven. Is the shot that he was taking. Yeah, Sean, I think... Uh, Every time I look back there, Eric is breaking again. So I think it is six to three right now. So, do you think he will think cut it? Oh, went for the bank and he nutted it. Wow! Perfect. Wow! The eagle is on the hunt here. It was kind of two-way shot. Yeah. Yep. He hit it pretty hard though. Good call, William. Free bank on the five. Play shape on the seven. Yeah. yeah, when it's a winter break, it's uh, very easy to be up and then find yourself <laughs> actually behind. Absolutely. And the worst part is all said, you can't do anything about it. You, you just nope. sit and hope. Yeah, we were, we were talking about it the other day, but... Um, Jason was playing um, 
Abdullah at a turning stone mm-hmm. a few years back, and he, Jason was up eight. Or Abdullah was up eight to three, missed the ball, and never saw the table again, and lost nine eight. I remember you coming over and telling me about yeah. that package. Yeah, it's crazy. The thing with this is too, you know, you got these guys on the table now, as Jason has taken a break, and it just seems to me that even whoever doesn't win this match is going to be coming back, yeah. in my opinion, to play again. I mean, I don't want to count Rodney or uh, Eric Hollison out, but you have to call it the way you, you know, odds and you see it. Absolutely. But uh, Rodney's capable, you know. Oh, for sure. So is Eric with the right rolls and they break good. They both can get there. Tony Iggy in the chat. Christina, do you have a table where you are staying? Of course, yeah, we have a diamond uh, nine footer, and we also have a seven footer. <laughs> she has, she, I think she has a whole fortress over there. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's even people that come out and give them water for breaks and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, we have a great facility to practice, to be honest, and uh, it's yeah, they an got a good place. setup. Because yeah. you do all your videos on the table that you guys practice on. Yes. Right? Yeah. We we try to uh, always like keep it clean and the fatter order this LED light that oh, says okay. pool is live. Yes. And we put it in the wall and mm-hmm. uh, we're trying to upgrade all things. Take your time. There. Thank you, Angel Levine. I'm going to put that on the broadcast. I, you held on to that brochure and I will put it on the broadcast. Uh, if I yeah, I saw your last uh, TikTok you did with Feder uh, where you knocked the chalk <laughs> off the table <laughs> or something. I actually didn't understand what it meant. I'm, really? lo- I'm watching yes. it going, well, what is this? Because it says, has this ever happened to you? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I've so. seen this video somewhere in uh, TikTok or some Asian girl doing that. He's like, oh, we got to do it. I'm like, why am I have to Why I have to do it? I understand that the, the joke is about a girl, you know, right. not a man. Right. Um, and I, it took us like solid 30 minutes for you me to hit it. Him, <laughs> I'll do it. But you got to go do the dishes. It looks like <laughs> ja- looks like Jason's back in town. Quick break from Jason, and uh, the score is four to three. Right, Al? Four to three. Yep. Uh, well, somebody didn't change their score. We have nothing to do with the scoreboard. It's, it's all digital, excuse me, and uh, they have to update themselves. Actually, happened uh, a year ago with Fatter and Joan Mora. Yeah. When he didn't put the uh, the point for himself, and then it was too late to change it, so he gave one game on the wire. It's not changed yet. Um, actually, Zach can keep score if need be. He will change it. Looks like he has a drill set up there towards the right bottom right of that table. All the balls are just perfect <laughs> perfect semicircle. Yeah, and absolutely no problem on a table. As long as you make the right shape in a two, you should be good. Sweat the, sc- sweat the video right in front of you. That was the Atlantic Cup. Yeah. Right there. Angel Levine just sent that in. Thank you, Angel. Appreciate it. 2016. Wow. Feels like it was another live. Well, <laughs> you know, I keep saying this. There's a scene in the movie, and, the, and the, he's dying of cancer, and he says, this whole life of ours is only five minutes long. Yeah. You know, you can remember when you were 16. You can remember when you were 10. And it's true. It seems like yesterday. It doesn't seem that long ago. You make it sound like it's a long time ago. <laughs> that makes me feel great. <laughs> Maybe I was reborn. God forgot me. <laughs> no, I'm always talking to, like, my grandparents and and they always tell me, look, I'm I might be 70, but I feel like you know, 20. Yeah. And it makes me feel like, you know, that we're wasting a lot of our time thinking we have all this time, mm-hmm. which we don't. No, we do not. So, live here now. Meanwhile, Jason is a little too far on his two ball. And he either 
slow roll it to have some kind of shot on the three ball or trying to play a better position. It's very risky. In between the balls, look at that yeah, shot. Perfect. Wow. That's a really good shot. As a player, you know, going up for nothing and then now, you know, four three with the other player breaking and, and running out again. What's your mindset during this time? Well the thing is when you play good opponents, it's not like a shocking experience for you. Mm -hmm. You expect, you know, something like that happens. Mm -hmm. It's more like shocking if somebody makes a silly mistake and not running out. Right. Rather than somebody somebody putting like three, four packs on you. So I think the mindset is, yeah, it's just part of the game. It would be great if I would go four, five, six, zero up and right. then make it easy, but it's never easy. Right. Why, Sean? Do you have a problem with that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I thought you were picking a brain a little bit. <laughs> well, no, I, you know, I like to get the, uh, you know, the mindset of a, of a true professional and there you go. what they go through when they're sitting there knowing that they had the lead and all of a sudden it's tied and, you know. It's tough. When does it's panic? When tough. does panic set in? You know yeah. that mentality that you need as a professional to be able to keep the swings in check right. and not show that emotion. Right. That's you know. Well, I don't think you show that emotion at all when you're playing. I mean, I've seen you play with the best in the world, right? Oh, me? The video, sure. I've, well, I have no, you know. I'm you're, you're just having fun and enjoying <laughs> yourself. I do. I do have a good time. Yeah. It is. It is a lot of fun. Met a lot of great people in this game and. Uh, I'm glad that it seems to be going in the right direction, and and the uh, younger generation coming through now is is uh, fantastic. That's Mr. Pancake, folks. How do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, and it looks like Eric's racking in the back. Six five now up on Rodney. As Jason is coming up, he's trying to work that cue ball t the best he can. He was in a tough spot right there. Mm -hmm. This is where the eagle eye comes into play right here. Very thin cut back and forth. It's off the rail. Or is it going to go forward? No, oh, back and forth. How's the speed? Uh, Still not out of the woods yet. No. Just like I said, Jason can get up there and run a three pack and tie us up at four apiece. Yeah. And now we're going to seesaw all the way to the hill here. Now 4-4. Four, four. I think about, you know, mentality of the game and, you know, we all come here to win. And obviously we all competitive and we, you know, want to get there, but... Enjoy the game and show my best pull and try to enjoy, mm -hmm. you know, the easier it is for you mentally go through, you know, those tough matches when it's hill hill, when you have to deliver, when you always feel like, okay, this is another experience. That's right. a great challenge for me. Can I pull, pull through or not? Uh, instead of I have to do it because mm -hmm. I want to win. Right, right, right. But right. sometimes it's so hard to maintain that mentality. Oh. Because <laughs> it costs so much money to get to an event. <laughs> of and course. And that's that's the trick. And you're, <laughs> saying, you're saying, wait, i got to come in fourth place just to break even for the yeah. trip and, uh, and everything. So it's, it's tough to if hold If it would mentality. be easy, we would have a lot more great players yes. well, in this sport. I mean, that's why it's so important for the sport to take off so that these players that are, you know, quote, unquote, starving on tour get, get a chance to make some money if they're not winning tournaments if they're showing up and showing good play giving them something some incentive you know how about taking care of them yeah i mean for w sure. wpa just got six million dollars from joy table <laughs> two million a year for the next three years mm -hmm. how about compensating the players well how much did your airfare cost here's a check absolutely you know what i mean because without them guess what you there's got nothing. no tournament there's nothing these are the stars yes. take care of them yeah it's that, that, that gets me inside burning all, every time I talk about it because it's been the same way for years. Everybody is making money on the players' backs instead yep. of taking care of these players. Yep. And get, it's the, get, only, it's the only sport in the world you can 
go up to the best player in the world yeah. and talk to him. Yeah. You can't do that any other sport. Right. Tell Celine Dion to come in here right. and film her. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and see if you're going to yeah. make money off a of hubback yeah. or, any, or any actor. Correct. Well, Jason Shaw is not acting. He's looking. I'm sorry, guys. I, that, I'll go off on a tangent. I'll bounce. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so 4-4, Jason's breaking. He is currently on a three-pack. And I got him. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yep, that's trouble down there. Wow. Well, the six, I'm not sure if the six is kind of wired. I think he's going to try to go in him now, right, into him. Well, what do you think, well, It's Christina? too risky because yeah. if you go in there, if the cue ball dies there, you're hooked behind the three. Do you think at the angle on the one that he would come on the inside of the four and maybe be able to come back yeah, up Yeah, but what the is two? the percentage yeah. of the shot? <laughs> Ideally, yes, but in reality. Because the six looks a little top. high at, for the combo down there. Yeah. I mean, if he would go, it's a very risky shot. Oh, we tried oh. for the side pocket. That would make more sense. Okay. All right, well. And it seems like he got away with that because Otto doesn't see the one ball to cut it. But maybe go behind the six ball with the cue ball. Yeah. And there you have it, folks. At 4-4, four, four, Fetter back at the table with a chance to take control. And the seesaw battle goes on. Yeah, this is what it's going to be. It's going to seesaw from this here. Is what, this is what Al was predicting, yeah. the seesaw effect. Dave Pels, thank you, Dave, for your generosity. Got to get these names in there, guys. RH Studio, thank you. Michael McDaniel, thank you so much. There's the safety you were talking about. I thought he would use the two ball, or the four ball there, but he didn't. Also, want to thank Jason Lynch. Hey, <laughs> I know Jason. Have a drink on me. Thanks for all you do for the sport. This guy has more voices than the guy who just passed away in cartoons. Jason Lynch. Stephen Sutton. Sudden death. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Arturo, never say that again. Don't ever put me with that guy. Okay. okay. <laughs> Gary. Orgeron. Oh. The lock. The lock. Says I sound like Gary. I don't think so. It's Gary the dancing machine. <laughs> yeah. Or he calls himself Gary the Gambler now. David but Connery. <laughs> David Connery, thank you, David, so much for your uh, donation. Yeah. What is he doing now, Gary? I, he's, I see him, like, taking pictures with, like, strangers now. I think. What is that all about? Is I think he's selling hair treatments. Really? He should use it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was... Reading some of them because he takes pictures with these random women and yeah, says, like, another person loves the package. And I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> do, do they even know they're using your <laughs> I product? Don't, I don't <laughs> even know. But, oh, oh, spa packages. Spa. Oh, yeah. Now, you've seen Gary. If he comes up to you and offers you a spa package, are you going to say yes? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. He probably, he probably then wants the five out from him. He's after pulling his hair out package. right now. Yeah. <laughs> He's funny. Oh, it looks like um did Fetter take away that rail past the six? Between the nine? That's close. Oh, I don't know what's going on down there. Somebody's applauding. Rodney got out again. I think it's yeah. tied up at six. I, I think he took a part he took part of it away. I think he can well, Jason's gonna show us some mass A here. Oh, wow. he hit the sixth ball. He hit it so hard. The, the ball the didn't English. even mass say. No, he just jumped. just jumped, yeah. And the English would have never took. No. I actually love mass shot because it's a very, you know, like feeling shot. It's not like you have to go through the ball a lot because the spin wouldn't grip, but you right. also can poke it. Right. Because it's not going to grab. It's something in between. It's it's very, right. I don't know, I love this kind of shots. It's more, it's probably the most artistic shot on the pool yeah. table. Very useful in this tournament when you can use the jump shot, the jumper, sorry, jump cue. 
Do you like the jump queue? I do. But I was born in a different dr right. you know, generation where everybody used jump queues when, when I was playing, so... I'm still not high enough for a lot of jump shots. Oh. You know? <laughs> That's what everyone says about me. You're, oh, you're a little bit challenged. You're so tall, yeah. you should be able to jump. Well, I can't jump. I've tried many times. Really? Yeah. You just didn't I have a I dropped my lesson. shoulder. That's yeah. what it is. I know. <laughs> I'm going to need one of your workbooks, I think. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's also depends a lot on your length of the fingers, mm -hmm. how high you can go with your bridge. Yeah. And this is where like me and Feder are not very equal because his fingers are so long, and he can really, really put a high bridge, which I can't. So. See, so really so hard. he's at an advantage. That's not fair. Yes. Man. Dang. I mean, there's certain you know. Well, you don't want really long fingers, do you? <laughs> I don't know. I have a very short and fat fingers. <laughs> Maybe I'd like You don't have fat fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my palm is wider than fetters. That's crazy. That is crazy. I, I got it from my dad. I'm like, thanks, dad. Yeah. yeah it's very helpful. <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like Fetter is running out here to make it 5-4. Check the seven ball. Is it frozen or not? It's also very, like, it seems very easy. Mm -hmm. But if it's frozen, it's very unpleasant shot. Right, because it's just going to jump off mm -hmm. that rail, right? You have to be really careful. And a lot of players with a shorter stroke, like Skyler, who do not drop their elbow, mm -hmm. it's a lot tougher shot for them than if you have a longer, smoo smoother follow-through, like Feder does. Right. Yeah, he's very, very long and, and straight on his stroke. Yeah. Somebody's saying about the workbook. Yeah, it's not. My workbooks are not educational content, guys. And I mentioned it many times. <laughs> it's just to write down your own mistakes and remember them. Oof. I, I would need one of those five subject notebooks, you know, that has a yeah, lot of pages. No. <laughs> and I believe it's really hard to explain pool in words, you know, without pictures, without videos, you know. So I... There might be a lot of helpful information in the books, but still, if it doesn't, you know, come with a video or something, it's right. really hard to, like, understand what's going on, especially if you're new to the pool. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, and uh, while Jason is racking the balls, Rodney is up seven to six behind them, but Eric is at the table, and looks like he got very, uh, I don't, does the eight go past the nine? No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it, right? So he's probably going to go for this combo? Maybe a safe, safety? He overrun quite a bit. Yeah. Yep, went for the combo and got it. So they're all tied at seven there. And that match is to play the loser of your match that you're watching on the stream table here, which is 5-4 Fetter in the lead as they continue to look at the rack. Okay, Fetter looks satisfied. Pancake, I'm trying to cut the imbibable cord. I'm trying to do it wrong. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I did a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks, that's an inside joke. Don't try to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. You might hurt yourself. That's right. 5 4, Fetter. Keep an eye on the five ball. Yeah. Oh, just rattled. The speed maybe is just a little too hard or a little too slow. They were making it before. Or there's been a little gap. Or the rack might be a that's little too slow. <laughs> See, that's a lot that's of things. That's, that's what I don't want to mention. Well, that's <laughs> you know what, though? That's what I think it is. I mean, even, oh 
Well, I remember the last Turning Stone. Um, Fetter, you know, Fetter doesn't like to complain about the racking and stuff. He just wants to play. He just wants to hit the ball. So I could see AC Billiard turn out. <laughs> I think I think he just. I think he saw it. I think he saw the gap and tried to <laughs> it's okay. and tried to hit it harder. That's no, all. I, I, it, it's just a black eye. Yeah, you know I what know. I mean? <laughs> on the on the sport, you know, on the game itself, it's it's a black eye. But I get it. It's not like I don't know it either. Uh oh. He's a, little, he's a little straight here. Might have to force follow this and come off the top rail. I can't really tell. I think he can chin it pocket a little bit. Yeah, come off the top rail. He's back in line again. Look at yep. this tic-tac-toe right here. Oh, Al said seesaw. Yeah. Well, I think it's exciting. I know it's not exciting for the players out there to go hill hill, but they would like to win it right out of the gate. But for the viewership. It's Eric Roberts' dad. Oh, Eric, who, uh, Brian? Yeah, oh, Eric okay. Roberts is a great player, young player. Yes, I've, I've seen him in many tournaments. Yeah, yeah very good shot. Yeah. Nice speed. I have to be biased here. Yeah. You know, this is the USA playing Europe here. It is. Yeah, I have to be kind of biased here. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Come on, Fedor. Come on, Fedor. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's asking if we're practicing together with Fedor. And no. Most of the time we practice separately. So everybody can stick to their own routine and... You know, I think it would be fun though to have two tables side by side and practice together, but on two separate tables. You know, it's always, I don't know, funnier to practice together than go there on your own alone. Yeah, because what, what, what Fetter does isn't necessarily good for what you do. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, when he advises you with a shot, you always have to ask, you know, do you think I should play this kind of shot? Right. Because, you know, sometimes he, you know, push for a kick or for the jump. Obviously, you know, it's not good for me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you not always have to uh, blindly copy what the best player do if you don't have the same abilities and skills they have. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, a lot of time he's saying, well, for you, it would be a good shot. I'm like, I got you. <laughs> 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 or when you play women, also, it's very different. So. Okay, well, Jason made the wing ball and the one ball. And now he has an issue with the two ball. Do you think he can see enough to cut it in? You know, it, uh, I think he he might even be looking at kicking the two into the nine to see if it's dead. Th that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. You know, also Jason. Jason's a showman, so he wants yeah. to he wants to win. You know, stylish. Stylish. Yeah. <laughs> and also, you know, um, a lot of people commenting that you know Russia is Asia, and uh, it's really bothering me a lot because Russia is Europe, and yes, it's continent-wise, it's partly in. European continent and Asian continent, you know, right. like, right. but it's still part of Europe. It's not part of Asia. So they have separate Asian games, for example, that Russia cannot participate in because Russia is not considered as Asia. Right. So, please. and this is coming from someone who lived in Russia. 
<laughs> so please <laughs> not people from know. people here who are like wait that's in asia <laughs> yes partly it is late in asia partly in europe but it's still considered as a european country see how much education we're getting in this in this match i'm just saying it w- it's just a lot of people saying that it's you know asian i'm like no it's not well, oh how I people say how can federal play in Moscone cup for europe if russia is asia and i'm like yeah i've seen i've seen that too but now everyone in the chat is going to start commenting, asking when your podcast is going to come out. My podcast? Yeah. About? The TKO podcast. Just oh. you. Just you talking about pool and stuff and educating <laughs> And countries people. and, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ge- just Ge- geography. Geography. It yeah. doesn't have to be about pool. <laughs> yeah. About everything. Hey, Sylvain. The now TKO I podcast. Better, better get it copyrighted now. <laughs> What are we doing here? We're looking to play the carry yeah. into the nine here? I, well, I think he's looking, he might even be looking to kick. I don't even know. I think it's a two-way shot, a safe carry into the nine. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like he's going to try to bank the two out of there and, and rub the nine and see if it'll. Right. Yeah, but the thing is to deliver so much speed for the eight bolt to go. In oh, got wow. It. <laughs> wow. What a shot. Some shot. It was not two way shot. I, I just no. walked over. He went for the nine. <laughs> yeah. I walked over to Ara on the way past Ara. I said, I'm rooting for Fed all right now. He's the USA. She said, I'm going to kick you in your face. <laughs> <laughs> the women are strong, boy. <laughs> the women are strong. That was an incredible shot. 6 5. Back and forth continues. Greg Antonakis, get your Southwest from the best. Mr. Greg, we missed you this uh, this tournament, Greg, but we'll see you at the next one. Greg and Nick, great guys. That's the cue maker that made Keith McCready's line right there, Gary Langley. He made the nightmare cues. Of course, pitch hour is on board with Upstate Al. Thank you, Joe and uh, Riley. Moonlightingbilliards.com for your trail partner. Bo Power says he would love to see the f- see Federer as the new owner of Turning Stone. HV came. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're selling though. <laughs> Even for three hundred seventy-five million, you couldn't buy it. <laughs> in fact, the new building they're putting it in—if you look it up on Google and punch in Turning Stone's new hotel—it does cost three hundred seventy-five million. The project they're doing right now—it's big. Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> the funny—the funny thing. I always thought Ireland is uh, Korean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, you know, and uh, and turn out he, ethnically he's Chinese. And I always said, Anya Azeo, like, is a Korean, hello. Right. And he used to got mad with me, but I was joking. Oh. I remember he was, you know, he told me he's not Korean. But I thought it's funny, and obviously he didn't think it's funny, so. And looks like double hill behind them, Al. Wow. 8-8. Eight, eight. Wow, Rodney Morris, I'm telling you, he's going to be breaking them this time? Yep, he's breaking Wow. We're going to take that uh, donation button out of there so folks at home can actually watch both matches since it's Hill Hill back there. We'll just drop it to the bottom out of the way. Right across the board. Oh, this might end up. I thought might be end up behind the five ball, but. Actually, who doesn't know, Ira is the one who came up with this amazing Predator square. Lights. The lights, yeah. And I absolutely love them. Yeah, I met Ira b- um, at New City Billiards uh, when they were open. Him and um, Kang Lee mm-hmm. met those guys over there. Nice guys. Jason running through this like he's just walking the park right now. Almost looks like practice, right? Yeah. And Rodney broke dry. 
Eric at the table. We got a Go Canada in the chat. <laughs> yeah, they're rooting for uh, Eric. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see Go Hawaii. <laughs> Jason looking to go up 7-5 here on Fetter. How you say in the blink of an eye. Yep, that's exactly how you say Everything it. Everything turns around. Yep. And that's what we were talking about as far as mentally sitting there and, right. and, and getting hit with the few racks there. 7-5. Mm -hmm. Yes, so uh, it's still race to nine, and I believe it's going to be race to 11 in the finals. 13. 13, I believe, yeah. Race to 13. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, there's not going to be any double knock, or how you call that? The double elimination. Double elimination. Yeah, yeah, double yep. elimination. So it's just one race to 13. Yep. So after this match, um, the loser of this match will play the winner of the match behind you, race to nine. That's coming up at 5 o'clock, and then the finals will be thereafter at 7. If Eric Hollison has to do this... He's so tall. I know. His torso is very long. This this might be the first time I've seen him <laughs> use a bridge. Someone take a screenshot of that. <laughs> I think it's the first time. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's going to try to cut that two ball in there and come around for the three with the bridge over a ball. Oof. I'd get a referee on scene. Yeah. The ref's watching. He's watching from the chair. Is he, he sleeping? He should stand up. <laughs> who is who is that, Al? I don't even I think it's Rick Motts. He oh, is standing okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's got to watch that five ball because he's right over it. Yeah. Oof, that stick looks awfully close. Uh oh, Rodney oh, lives. Oh my goodness, what a what a bad kiss. Looks like Rodney lives. This. Jason Shaw to the break, 7-5, going into rack 13. The one one on the side, what's the two doing? Oh, two is uh, about to be cut in the corner, it looks like, because Jason goes for almost every shot. Yes. And he makes it. <laughs> yeah, he does. A lot of people going for old shots, you know, but yeah. not a lot of people make like, it. <laughs> right, right, exactly. So. Yeah, but Percentage. You, yeah, I mean, if you're aggressive here, I mean, you could lose this set. Yeah, true. You know, I, I don't like going after the shot, but. Oh, yeah, I mean, maybe he's not. Five he's ball there and the eight ball and the cue ball coming off of one of those or scratching. Yeah, he's, he's looking to kick. That's what he's doing, kicking behind the two, it looks like. Mm, or maybe not. No, I don't think he's kicking. Oh, now, it. Wow. that's a horse of a different color. Interesting. <laughs> but it also, again, was almost like a free bang. R Unless he hit it short. Right, because then, then it would yeah. come back up, right? Mike says Rick Mox is <laughs> about I like how asshole. he tagged him, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. We'll uh, talk about it later. <laughs> that is him, right? It is him. You yeah, see yeah. that? I, yeah. I didn't take a guess. It is him. <laughs> You're welcome, Robert. We're honored to do it. Glad you're having a great time. What What is uh, Troy talking about here? What's the matter with Troy? <laughs> I don't know. The Y. I think he just got back from the Y. because uh, he was out fishing. Rodney didn't get out. Rodney did not get out. Hung the six ball. And Eric's going to be running out for the win now. <laughs> Someone in the chat, I'll take Rodney for something. All right, you got to bet. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Won't you get me <laughs> your Mercedes Benz? Oh, my God. Better's in trouble here, Christina. I hate to tell you, but he is. Well, it's not much he can do. No. Honestly, he can't do anything from the chair, but... He only had a dry break, right? It's 
Hood. Yeah, he had the dry break, and it went from there. Yeah. Because we didn't know what uh, Jason was going to do with the ball. He cut it right in. He back cut it the two ball into the upper corner. Yes. And Jason's been in control since. Yeah. It's about to go up eight to five. On the hill. Yeah. Melina Mike. Windows open to said pancake. Moscone 2024. Yeah, you're in. But I'm. I mean, I'm just really trying to find a job with Matchroom commentating, you know? Yeah, yeah. You and Scott Frost would make a team. Well, I think my shirt hit a ball this <laughs> this yeah. tournament. So maybe maybe they'll offer me something. Absolutely. We're glad to be a step ladder. <laughs> Al, you get 10%, okay? 10%, I'm in. <laughs> Let's vote pancake. <laughs> All right, well, Eric, uh, Eric took care of the rest of that rack, and he's... He's on to the next. So he awaits the loser of this match. Chat's going by so fast on my side. I don't know about you guys. Yeah, it's, it's quick. Well, that's good, though. That means a lot of people are into it. Oh, yeah, I love it. Lightning Larry in the house. Zooming around here. You're going to get a ticket. I think he I think he put a NAS system on that. Well, I'll tell you what, the first person that comes out with a Uber easy go like that for <laughs> like for like and uh in Disney World an outside track when no people are walking, gonna make a fortune. Mm-hmm. A fortune. I heard Bo, that's great. Good commentary going on. I didn't receive my offer letter from you guys, so it's all right, next one. It's all good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he didn't read the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if I'm Federer, I know that all it takes is one chance at the table. So once he gets back to the table, do everything that he normally does. And you could guarantee yourself he's going to give you a good rack. Oh, Hundred percent. Yep. Mr. Pinkston. Did you get home okay? Are you guys home already? How's the uh how much snow did we get? Thirteen inches in Newburgh. Wow. I missed uh, all the shoveling. A lot, but roads are good. Perfect. So I can drive home later. That's good. It's been not only dry break, but also cue ball is in a pocket, which means that Federer will have a chance to go back to the table yeah. with a wide open position. And that's how Jason got his break, was when Federer scratched on the break. No. That's when he, yeah, because Federer scratched and he, on the break, in the side, and then Jason won those won those couple of racks to get back into yeah, it. Yeah, but the last one, Federer just broke dry. Like no, 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 I know. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying, like, as far as, like, just the swing mm -hmm. of the match. You're right. You're right. <coughs> so, hopefully, 8-8 eight, eight would be nice to see, you know, make it interesting for sure. Sure. Oh, sorry, I got to take this down. Why don't you guys yell at me? Yes, please take Alex down. Sorry. <laughs> he's he's saying, <laughs> saying Happy New Year. <laughs> Where is Alex? Sorry, I haven't seen him. He's a poker player. Oh, he's still playing poker? Yeah. Eddie Coons from Long Island. Thank you, Eddie. See you next week, I guess. Thank you for your contribution, Eddie Coons. Jonathan Lewin, thank you so much. He says, thanks for the live stream. Appreciate it. You know Robert Martin? I do. 
Thank you, Robert. Appreciate it very much for your generosity. Shall I keep going? Absolutely. <laughs> Harry Art. Okay, A R T I N I A N. Artinian? Harry Artinian. Thank you, Harry. Appreciate it. Keep up the great work, Al. Thanks for all you do. My honor, my pleasure. Kenny Felton coming through with a sack of cash. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. See you soon. Stakes on me, he says. Appreciate it. Very nice. Al does do a lot for the uh, for the pool world. I got to keep these reading. Streams. One more here is uh, Carter Tamel. I've watched several streams without donation. I cash. I cashed the first place at a local for six hundred. Just mentioned me on the stream. I'm Carter. We met in Chattanooga, Tennessee, for the UBL finals. My team placed second. Oh. I think I remember you, Carter. Forty thousand you got for second place. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, Carter. From Chattanooga, Tennessee, baby. We'll be back there. Federer got a little unlucky there with a little yeah. kiss on the seven. He but definitely yeah. didn't want to clip it. With a little kiss on the seven? Mm -hmm. What? To make this five, you <coughs> mean? Yeah, well he wanted to he wanted to come shorter so he didn't have such an angle away from the six ball. I think he's more worried about the seven being in the way block in the pocket there. The five ball is fairly easy for him. He's trying to get underneath it, and he scratched. No. Wow. He, he, was, trying to, he was trying to get under it. <laughs> don't, don't upset Christina. She did not scratch. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I've no. seen his going in a, <laughs> what do you call it, a point. You see, that he, he, thinks, he believes it doesn't go, so he was trying to draw under the six and shoot it up in the other corner. Well, I think what he's looking at is, I think the six ball does go, but he, he's trying to see where the seven is going to end up when he hits it. Well, we could all surmise that, but this is the problem, see? I guarantee you 100% he was trying to draw under it. And the reason being, he's, he's super curious about this six ball. It would hit it hard, if anything. Wow, he hit it perfect. Wow. It's no still worries. A tough shot. Really. Still very tough. And the eight ball is also not, you know, hanging in the pocket. Yeah. He's fighting. It's a very similar shot that Jason Shaw had to. Sorry, Pancake. I got to refresh. Oh, no worries. Just want to get the numbers here. To tie yeah. the score, I think. Remember the seven ball that went in? Yeah, you know, that's yes. in the pocket? Yes, it's yes. a very similar shot. Mm -hmm. right. Tough, though, but Jason made it. Let's see if Fedor makes it right in the corner. He made it also. What a shot. Bravo. Great shot. Boy, tough crowd here. Great shot. I think tough they're stunned crowd. just by going in. They're like, whoa, that went in? Okay. <laughs> you guys at home are witnessing top of the world players right here. Joshua Phil is at McDonald's. He's riding on the. He's in Alabama. He, he's riding. Okay. Giving out big <laughs> spots. <laughs> Wherever he is, he's riding on one of those 25 cents machines like a car. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching, actually. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. All right. We have eight wow. to six now. Fetter back in control and yeah. breaking. Rodney Morris is coming down. Who won that up there? Eric. Really? Rodney missed the six ball. Good showing, Rocket. Good showing, brother. That's it? Can I give you another DVD? Remember in the beginning, I gave you one to show? You gave it to Zach. I think you gave it to Zach, yeah. Let's see. Didn't like the rock. Yeah. 
It's yeah. not easy to rack, but at least you you should try to freeze like the first two three balls. Well, after he broke dry last time, I think, like I said, with the dry break, I think he let him off, thinking it wasn't gonna yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. But now he has to, being that Jason's on the hill, you can't. You have to give it back now. You have to make sure you get what you want. I don't want you to make you look bad, but at this point, it's crucial. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's basic. Yep. It's do or die. No, the nine is not on the spot, Trevor. Are you watching the video? <laughs> <laughs> um, James Goodman, why no template? Good question. Actually, uh, that's totally up to Mike Zuglin and his crew. I think they have a deal with Diamond where to use their rack. Somebody in the chat was mentioning four-inch pockets, and I played uh, I played the U.S. Open this year, and <laughs> those pockets, it was the most fun I've ever had because you're seeing these great players not all the time, bobbling though. balls. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> it kind of makes, makes them look silly. Well, you know what it does? It, it adds more excitement because at any given time, it's, oh, that, that can happen. Well, well, you think Tiger Woods, if you change the cup size, you think Tiger Woods is going to say, agree with it? No, I'm not coming of course, to your tournament. Of course. I'll see you later. Course. Here we go. All right, so Federer's happy with the rack. Let's see, let's see that wing ball. Let's see what happens. It's always going in the short rail. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going to get a good kiss there. Well, it's a good thing he's that five ball is there. It could have been a quick rack right here. Yeah. Yeah, the first couple of, uh, of breaks, that wing ball was flying in. Do you make the nine and call push? Bring the cue ball around the three. Yeah, I mean, where, look at the three nine right now. You know, I think you have to do that. A couple of people are agreeing with us here on Facebook too. But yeah, he's gonna do it. Oh, interesting. Smart move. Real smart move. Well, Federer's a banking champion. I know. So I was there. He might uh, just bank the one into the nine, no? A couple of rails. A <laughs> couple of rails, yeah. I don't think he's taking a I shot. Know, like I know, that. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> he might play with the cue ball, though. But being on a rail this close to the rail, you know, he can play the left side of this one ball and still maintain a safe on the shot and bring the cue ball around for the nine. But it's really a risky shot, and... I well, don't think he's going to do it. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to bring the cue ball back to the nine, not the one. Right. You don't want to put the right. one anywhere near that nine ball. Right. I would like leaving the cue ball behind the four, five, and seven up table. What if he tries to make it and leave the cue ball on the right side of a table and then think yeah. cut the two ball from the left and bring the cue ball to the nine? Try it's and tough. Like yeah, it's tough, though, to make this never but mind your like position on the two, yeah. right? I think Christina is right. How do you get on the two? Looks like that's what he's going to do. He was How do you looking get on the, the one ball, yeah, like he's trying to make it. So maybe that's what he wants to do. See? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't hear that. What do you mean, see? <laughs> you think he's going to make this two ball from here? Well, no, no. no, no she's no. saying that he was going for the one to make have a thin on the two to bring the cue towards back towards the nine ball. <laughs> that works. <laughs> it works. Maybe I like not. the cue ball behind the three. She knows his game, you know? I guess. No. <laughs> if you look at my safeties, I don't know the game, please. <laughs> but somehow when you look from here, it's a lot easier to call the right shot than when you're out yes. there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you got yeah. some more time. Calling it from the chair, it's very easy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Somehow I look at the table, I see all the options, and I always choose the wrong one. Like. So your next match, make sure you're by the TV table. Mm -hmm. Then come sit down. Just look at the table, then you can go back. Yeah. As okay. long as there's no shot clock. Just wear mm -hmm. virtual glasses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no shot clock. I 
I like fitting this. Go after the nine. If you don't make the nine, the cue ball goes behind the three. But you have to hit it super thin. What if, what if you go from the left side of the two? Yeah. And Maybe try to make the nine the that right way? I well, wouldn't try to make the nine straight. Well, it works. I mean, he can even get behind the three eight, no? Yeah, the thing is, if you yeah. think out from the right side, there's a high chance of you scratching, mm -hmm. I think. Well, with the nine there? Yeah. You think you get between the cushion? Yeah. Might be. But it seems like that's what he's doing. Maybe he's just playing a safe. Yeah, he's not going to get aggressive. He is. He's shooting your shot that you mentioned in the very beginning. Oh, it's a two-way. That's, that's nice. That's, that's a great shot. That's a great but he shot. put the three in position, too. Yeah, that's a great shot. Sure. That's an excellent he shot. Got, he got rid of both problems right there. The only problem he has is this man's at the table. Right. What a great match, though, I tell you. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you get these matches and these guys are so good, they'll run out eight or nine and then it's nine one and you're like, oh, okay. But this is what brings the uh, the viewership up. <laughs> he's going to come two rails, right? Behind it or is he going one rail? Seems one like rail. He's going one rail. Look at the nine. Oh, wow. Stop. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Jason had lucky charms for dinner. Unbelievable. What a shot. It's going to play safe. Yeah. Freezer time. Oof. That wasn't a good save. It blocks him, but I mean, he's not on the nine ball. Right. Well, the three ball's not in the pocket, too. It's an easy kick if it was. Ball ball way up table between the five seven. Well, like Christina said earlier, these guys know how to kick to get lucky, you know, and that's. Well, what does he do here, Christina? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she's I she's mean, feeling she's feeling the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you, you were right before. Come on. I what mean, do you do here? I mean, it's tough to kick from a short rail. It doesn't make any sense. Even if you make it, you probably, the cue ball will go behind the nine. How about three rails? Yeah, three rails. Might be. Two rails, long, short. is a high percentage of scratching if you're not hitting the three ball from the right side. So, I think he was looking at Massey earlier. I don't know if... Maybe two rails like short long with lots of spin mm -hmm. or opposite long short with a little bit of inside spin. I don't know, but they should turn the air yeah. conditioner off in here. It's cold. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's chill in here. They play with wow. lots of spin. Wow. Did Fedor just put the nail into the balloon? I was looking at that four ball from that angle you just had, and it looks, I don't know, it looks a little funny. I don't think he... Goofy? Yeah, can he cut it in that corner? I, I guess he can. I don't know, that Maybe seven looked a little him. ahead of it. Yeah. No, he's perfect. Yeah. Well, that was a very, very lucky rock. Yes. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. The saying, uh, it pays to hit him. That's exactly what happened. Made illegal contact on the, made legal contact on the two and got rewarded. Yeah, Bo, I think you're right. We will, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we will see this match again with a longer race. No, you know, disrespect to Eric. I'm Good match, fellas. It. What a match. Yep. 
9-6, Jason wins. Unfortunately, in the game that we like, somebody has to lose. Yeah. And then uh, I guess in uh, about 26 minutes, you'll be seeing Feder right back on this table with uh, a rematch against Eric Rolfson, who he beat the round before. Correct. Correct. And um, Al, thanks for, uh, for having me in the Are booth once me? again. Are you kidding me a <laughs> lot? We love having pancake in the booth, folks. How about a hand for pancake and Christina? Yes, thank you, Christina. Kudos. Thank Thanks for guys. the knowledge. Uh, thank you, Christina. I know me. you're ready to get out of here. You can't stand it. <laughs> All right. Take care, everyone. All right, thank All right. you. See you in a little bit, All guys. Right, bye. We'll be back. Well, folks, unfortunately, somebody has to lose in this game that we're playing. So, uh, Mr. Fedor will be back. Don't count him out. <laughs> Eric Collison and Fedor Gorst next in about a half hour. Let Upstate take a little break. Uh, this is the sad part of tournaments that I don't like where they come to an end soon enough. It's like having a energy drink and coming down from one. There you see Mr. Dave Isaac. David Isaac drives for a diamond all over the country, wiping down the table, and getting it all cleaned up. Be right back. to pool and practicing the basics or a more experienced player performing drills to improve your shot making and positional play the drill partner is perfect for you premierbilliards.com exceptional cues cases and accessories from top tier brands want it need it find it premierbilliards.com Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com. The question is, is do we ever, do we ever step back and like, you know, look at, at what, we've, what we've done and wonder, you know, why we're here, kind of pinch ourselves? And, and my answer to that is, yeah, every day pretty much. I mean, I look at her, we talk about that all the time, like we can't believe we're here. 
We truly feel lucky. You know, I mean, if, if anybody asked me, what's the secret to this business, to us in this business, beyond the quality of the product, it's the relationships that we forge with our customers, with the people who, who, in, who enable us to be here. You know, it's the people who come back and buy two or three or four cases and the people who bring their friends. They trust us enough to vouch for us for their friends. And, and that is just amazing to us, you know. We look around and we're like, how lucky can we be? At JV Cases, we care about your cubes by putting layers of padded protection around them and then build as much case as you want around that protection. Visit us at jbcases.com and design your case today. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. But, you know, Richard uh, Sue? Yeah. He makes those tsunami uh, shafts. Those are really good. I've you know, got like one I'm of those for my Southwest. I like it a lot. And I'm, I'm going to have him make me some for other, other cues. Hey folks, uh, I just want to let you know we're going to refresh the stream here before we get done. This will be the only time we got to refresh and we'll be able to finish the semifinals and the finals. So bear with us. Uh, we're going to refresh in about five minutes. So you're going to lose the stream and then just go back to my page. Uh, I'll share it all over the place. Again, if you guys can help me share it, that'd be great. And here we go. We're going to refresh. Yeah, YouTube, you, you could stay right there on YouTube. It's just a Facebook page. All right? We're going to do it right now. I'm lucky. 
Yeah, if you want, yeah. Hey, Zach, this is chili. smoke a cigarette, man. I can't eat right now. <laughs> How you doing? You gonna wrap this one? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> nah, you. What? I just think it's gonna be a longer match. Probably. That's cake I probably. actually, that's a, I think you're probably fine. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, I think I recall if there's gonna be a long Eric Collison is going to be more conservative. Fedor is very calculated. His rhythm, down. yeah, but Fedor's rhythm is perfect. Eric's going to be more conservative. I hope not. I hope it goes yeah, our way. You're not going to have a Rodney or a Sean. Or Whose phone is this? Rodney. Somebody left it on my channel. It means I know them. Jonathan? It's not Johnny's, is it? <laughs> no, it's not open. <laughs> I'll leave it here, they'll find it. You talk to Johnny. Yeah. He might have left it here. Refresh the raise act. It's cold, man. They turn the air on again, right? Temperature controlled environment, but. I feel like I took a shower, and I'm soaked and wet, and I'm cold. Huh? We got it. You want something? Would you guys like something? Huh? You want anything? <laughs> Turn the screws on. Heck, might be watching it. Is that a micro type C charger back here? Uh, get a C charger down that way. <laughs> Whose phone is this? I don't know whose phone this is. Isaac, Dave Isaac. <coughs> Open mic, open mic, open mic. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> open mic, open mic. <laughs> Federal Ghost, Eric Collison coming up next. I wanted to smoke a freaking cigarette, but I can't get out of the box. Thank you, Teresa. Love you.
We have Jason Shaw, who's undefeated, and these two gentlemen are going to play to see who earns the right to face Jason in the finals. This is a race to nine. The finals will be an extended race to 13, as always. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, we have this gentleman right here, former Canadian nine ball and 10 ball champion, former runner up right here at Turning Stone, sponsored by Spot on Billiards and Kuiper's Bakery up there in Toronto, Eric Horlifson, Big Red. His opponent, he's from Memphis, Indiana currently, originally from Russia. He just played on the USA Moscone Cup team not too long ago, two time Derby City all-around champion. He's a winner right here last time back in September. He just won the Perry Open this past season, and he finished second in the U.S. Open as well. He's a world nine-ball champion, Feder Gorst. All right, remember, Feder's on the poster along with uh, Jason and... Well, folks... Welcome to the semifinals. Eric Hollison on your right and Mr. Federal Ghost on your left. In the box, Mr. Pancake, Sean Santoro. How you doing, everybody? Gonna do one more, uh, one more match here before my trek home and uh, Christina is going to be joining us back as well. She'll be in momentarily. Wait, Fedor is gonna be in the finals with Jason and you're gonna trek at home? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'll think. <laughs> let's see how this goes, and uh, I'll I'll check the weather outside. I, I heard it's frightful. It is frightful, <laughs> and it's not delightful. <laughs> right. Okay, it looks like Feder. Hmm. You guys got it. Take has, it over. All right. Thank you, Al. Uh, Feder has won the break, and now we have Christina. I'm back. She's back, everybody. How you feeling out there, chat? What, uh, give us some uh, some predictions for this match, some scores. What do you like? Give us some finals. Okay. First break. All right. Well, he doesn't have a great shot on the one, but the... Wing ball flew right in that pocket. Yeah, I think somebody started figuring out the break. <laughs> Not that it's too late, but. <laughs> wow, nine nothing. Someone predicted. Oof. Okay, Trevor, that's a, uh, a bold prediction. Oscar, I agree. Eric is very talented. Very talented pool player. Great opening shot there by Feder, practicing his banks for Derby. How you doing out there, Mark? Hope everything is well in uh, in New Jersey. Now, I will say this, and. Um, I'm going to ask your opinion, Christina. Uh, as far as playing on a table that you just came off of and having another match right after you just got off that table, does the advantage lie with the player who have played just played on that table? Do you feel more comfortable on a table that you already played on? Um, or do you think it not matters? Personally, me not. It depending from what kind of match you take, like coming from. Is okay. it losing or winning? 
Uh, okay, that's a good that's a good point. So how are you feeling emotionally? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Just won. He had a tough match. Yeah. And from my experience and what I observe many times is whoever had a, like a thrill match, like super tough match emotionally, mm -hmm. the next match they're a lot calmer, more a lot more calm. I guess mm -hmm. this is the right word yeah, <laughs> way no, to say it. No, you're doing And they're very more well. relaxed because they already burned out in a previous match. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So they they still, of course, we all get nervous, but it's not as intense. Gotcha. So you're kind of like more focused with less pressure. It's a very dangerous combination for a good player, right? Because yep. whenever you don't feel a lot of pressure, you know anybody can play great. Mm -hmm. So um, sometimes it happens. Uh, I've seen that in a lot of matches you know especially with man also you think oh he's gonna lose and then he end up winning the tournament right right right, right. it happened many times mm -hmm. so eric had a quiet and test match hill yes. hill with uh rodney mm -hmm. uh so might be a little advantage emotionally you do tend to see in those double elimination kind of formats even in the matchroom events where it doesn't get to single elimination to the last 64 that a player who has already lost comes back and wins. Yeah. Aaron, this is the semis. Um, this is Feder Gorst and Eric Carlson, And Jason Shaw is waiting in the final. Race to 13 should come up around 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it is one nothing. Feder Gorst. Al, can we get the score on the bottom? The score. A little kiss. Yeah. Got a little jelly, as they call it. I don't know if he can see the one ball to make it, but oh, it seems yeah. like he doesn't. Like he doesn't look bothered, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah. like he, he's okay. And everything else is uh, pretty open. Wide open. Mm. That's a great first shot. I think that's so important in every rack, too, right? That first shot to get your run going and, mm -hmm. and how you get on that, that next ball. Yeah, the layout looks pretty good, mm -hmm. but also, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, when I, whenever I watch uh, good players run out, it seems so easy. But the thing is, it's all about making the right angles, right? Because right. if he would end up short in the three ball, he would have a lot of problem to get to the five ball. And right away, there is a possibility for a mistake, right? So creating the right angles, that's what making easy, you know, run easy outs, yeah, yeah. easy outs. Mr. DeMarco, ship the cash. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Hope all things are well over there. As Fetter is making quick work of rack number two, kind of seems on a mission after that last yeah. match. Yeah, he's pumped up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Fetter is playing with the Viking cues uh, for the butt. And white carbon with the shaft. All right, two to nothing, Fetter Gorst. Mr. Greg Taylor in the chat. How are you, sir? Barbox PA Barbox Eight Ball Champion, Greg Taylor. How are you? And I did watch a little of the first uh, the first match between Eric and Fetter, and it kind of looked a lot similar where Fetter seemed to be uh, getting out of a lot of uh, a lot of racks pretty easy so you know like with with any of these guys they're just waiting their opportunity you know to get to the table and end of the day it's all about the break here right and now the first break he, that wing ball went right in Second break, it did not. So let's see what happens here with that three ball. 
right in. And a shot. Okay. The seven's a little funny there down by the nine. The brown seven as the matchroom commentary goes, right? <laughs> the brown seven. He's on the yellow one right now, trying to get to the blue two. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, they also do commentary for TV, and know, there's I a know. lot of people <laughs> watching who I doesn't. Know. I like it. I think it's funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice shot. He's running a little bit. He's okay. Now, at this point in the rack, Christina, are you thinking about? The seven ball, like how how do I get the best angle to get into that seven ball? I mean Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> like uh that's the first thing you actually see after you're breaking. What are my toughest shots or how you call that a uh, key shots? I did it, yeah, okay. Two nothing feather. Might be, you know, cutting six ball in a side and trying to split to nine and seven, mm -hmm. run into them. Okay. Because five ball is right there and it's not going to be right. too hard to create a right angle for the six. He looks like, he looks a little straight on a four ball though. forced it in. Mm -hmm. Little stun action there. Yeah, that's what he's looking at. Just to create a little angle in the six to naturally go and run into those bolts mm -hmm. and hoping for some luck. A little short. Now, Christina, if somebody is interested in, you know, lessons or advice in in pool, male or female, how do they get in touch with you? Just directly message me in, uh, on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, okay. email. What is your uh, Instagram so people know? The Christina Kutch. Okay, there you <laughs> go. The Christina The, because Christina <laughs> Kutch was already taken, so oh, I had to come up with something. <laughs> I like it. Yes, so. Yeah, if anyone's interested, give her a shout. Also, very I'm very thinking knowledgeable. I'm thinking about doing, um, you know, a kind of session with analyzing stroke thing, like one time thing. Whoever doesn't want to. Oh, that was a great. That was a great shot by Feather. Um, yeah, whoever doesn't want to, like, um, who just wants to figure out what's wrong with their stroke and how can they improve just to give advices and uh, view uh, what's going on, like a one-time thing. I think I'm going to start doing it from this year because I had a lot of requests where people like, okay, but if I have any problems, can I like film myself and send you the video? Can you look at my stroke? Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I, I didn't do that because uh, there was a lot of things going on. Right. But I think I want to start doing that. That's awesome. Yeah, because uh, as we see in the end of the day, it's it's a lot about your stroke. This is what gives you consistency or inconsistency. Right. And also the speed control that also makes your game inconsistent if you're running off positions all the time. So having a consistent speed control, consistent speed. Yes. And performing the speed, the, w the, the exactly the one you wanted, is is very important. As important as pocketing balls. Great shot by Fetter there. It looks like he's gonna jump up uh, three nothing. I think I think the uh, the different levels of pool are uh, kind of funny, you know, being an amateur player when I first started playing and not really being able to make two balls in a row. There's the levels of of pool where you know first you have to learn how to pocket balls. Mm -hmm. Once you get that down, now you got to figure out speed of the cue ball. Then it's spin on the. G it's like there's so much to it, and it's funny to me because pool is played on such a small surface. Mm -hmm. So how can there be that much to it? And it's just, 
it, it is very fascinating just just the fact you know the game has evolved and and you see the the young talent now such as yourself and and these other guys and it's like how did you get that good you know you, there's there's just shots that shouldn't be possible that you see and you're like wow like that's amazing but that you know kudos to you working on your craft and and becoming the players that you guys are and you know you know the more and more you do it i don't want to say it's like riding a bike it's like riding a bike but with spikes on it i think <laughs> where if you yeah. fall off you're going to hurt yeah. yourself the problem is that a lot of people are trying to like learn how to uh, pocket and throughout this process they learn a lot of bad habit and yes in the beginning that's another great break look at that break wow and yes, in the beginning, uh, event like you are going to involve eventually because it's a beginner's natural tendency. The more you play, the better you will be. Right. And then eventually you will hit the ceiling. You will hit the plateau because to go to the next level, it always come back to fundamentals. Right. Always. Right. And um, I went through this myself. As I said many times, I changed my stroke. I changed my stance. And yes, I was, you know, playing good. I was like over 700 Fargo and beating good players, but it's all about consistency mm -hmm. right yep. so uh, it always come back to fundamentals oh 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 <laughs> that ball is deep yeah <laughs> that ball is deep and i think you know that's a good thing with you too is is you know you you are a you know a top tier player in your profession but you can relate with somebody who is struggling with their stroke and their stance yeah. and they know that they can fix things so I, you know, I'm in the APA, and I call it, you know, like the low-rated players that want timeouts. You know, I always say, I, you know, you know how the levels in APA go two, three, four, all yeah, the way up. I know, I know. So I feel like I speak three very well. You know, like mm -hmm. a low-rated player, I can explain to them, hey, this is what you do, without making them nervous mm -hmm. or sweating, because I said, spin the ball, put right, put left. I, I, they feel comfortable. And I think that's where you come in, where you, as a teacher, to somebody, you know, even though the skill level is much different you know how to speak down and say hey listen this is what you do and make things simple and it makes them people comfortable and that's important yeah i think also um you know i'm not, not talking like hey i'm a great coach or something but i think my advantage is that i explain uh, things simple due to the language barrier right like i explain in very easy words and everybody can understand so um and I really appreciate, you know, my experience with changing things here and there because it really made me dig so deep into every single aspect of the game. Like, you know, simple things a lot of people don't even think exist in pool. So, yeah. Somebody's asking the question, do you think 700, 700 Fargo women play the same? as men but actually there was a research i've okay. seen on facebook okay somebody researches researched me and pian i think uh, margaret mm -hmm. uh and uh, they analyze our games with uh, men okay. in open events mm -hmm. and it did show that it's the same fargo basically and uh, i agree with my, that from my experience uh you know it's it's very close you know like for example, what Cali is seven forty fifty, and I think she can beat any man that's seven you know fifty. Yeah. Yes, maybe the break is you know is what gives us disadvantage in a lot of games for women. Well, speaking of the break yeah. as a disadvantage, <laughs> here we are again. Feder up for nothing and breaks dry. Eric at the table with a chance to uh, take control of. Uh, of the rack. Eric been in his chair though for quite a yes. bit. Yes, yes, and Eric and is very tall, see. so his back probably hurts. <laughs> yeah, we can see right away he's a little off position on the two ball, but nice recovery shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think 700, 700, it doesn't matter if you're male or, f or female. Yeah. I mean, I think the only difference between really the 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 men and women is the power behind the break yes. everything else i think is technical mm -hmm. you know and and if if you have it you have it and i think you know you can make balls just as good as anybody your speed 
you know, male or female. It's just the brake, the power behind the brake. And that's just, you know, that, uh, you know, a guy who's 250 pounds and who can crack a rack open compared mm-hmm. to someone less weight, uh, you know, that's, that's the only difference. But talent at the table is talent at the table. Meanwhile, Eric is cleaning out the table. Mm-hmm. It was pretty wide open. So he's trying to decide now, should he play for a smaller area for the 8-ball in the side? Or maybe roll it up a little bit to play 8-ball in a corner or go maybe behind. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see this <laughs> coming. I didn't Ooh, see this this isn't good, I don't think. He's going to He's going to end up a little funny. Sometimes, you know, you, maybe you, like this, for example, would be the right shot. But if you're not feeling good, if you're not feeling comfortable on the table, like me personally, I prefer to go for a tighter area, but have a shot for sure, rather than trying to go and do something fancy and my not getting, you know, a shot to play. But it all depends on the, how you feel on the table right now. He's gonna he's gonna swing this ball around, and like you said, that's what happened. He uh, he tried to get fancy, and look at this. Well, I mean, Feder's got to be happy to be back at the table. Can he get the cue behind the nine? Send the eight up table a little bit. I think so. I think the, the cue ball is way too far off on the right mm -hmm. for this kind of shot. Maybe he's going to try to make the nine and just bring the eight up a little bit. That's what he's looking mm. at. This is tough. Somebody is saying uh, women see the game different. Well, it would be weird if we would see the game the same as men, because <laughs> our brain I think, I think that's differently. I think that's all aspects of life. Everybody all, all sees it yeah. different. <laughs> it would be weird, if, you know. Then the, maybe the marriages will never would never fall apart <laughs> if yeah. we would think yeah. the same way. I was gonna say <laughs> I, I could tell you, uh, my girlfriend does not like pool that much. Look at this shot. Wow. Look at that shot. Well, that was that was incredible. What a shot! Speed and power relative to the break. I saw someone ask that question. What is the uh, the difference? But I mean, well, I know true. with the break, it it is timing more than it is power. But the more power behind it, the more. You know, you're going to have yeah. balls flying around the table with more of a chance to make something. There's a lot of factors like your height. The higher you are, the longer hands you have, which gives you more room to accelerate, gotcha. right? If you have a super, sm like, short. And, yeah, somebody's saying Alex Bangaline, you know, short, but, but he's not breaking as, you know, Kachi or Jason. Right. He doesn't have as powerful break no matter what. And same with like Dennis or Colo, right? Sometimes, yeah, if the timing is good, if everything comes together, they mm -hmm. have a good break, but it's inconsistent. Right. And for, you know, players like, for example, Ruslan Chinnikov, a right, Russian guy, super, super tall, he didn't have to do much to break. He literally just opened and closed his hand, and the length of his hands led him to create so much speed in his break. So it is the power combined with the speed and timing as you mentioned. I actually met Ruslan at the Wynn Buffet in Vegas. <laughs> and I went, I went, I never met him before, but I went up to him like, hey, you play pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, Jeff DeLuna breaks pretty hard, but he also jumps high. <laughs> yeah, Je- I mean, Jeff DeLuna, like, jumps out of his, his shoes. And also, he's very muscle. Yes. He's built very good physically wise. <laughs> DeShane so. is like 4'3". <laughs> I don't think that's true, Thomas. 4'3 <laughs> is pretty short. Tell us more about timing. Well, timing is everything in pool. I think I think that, you know, whenever great players miss, it's because most of the time they're not in their good timing. They either decelerate, as we've seen with Jason Shaw in previous match, when he was too short on the five ball, he still banked it in, but, you know, decelerated a little bit. Or you accelerate too fast, which is like jerking, right? So um, it's very important to keep this smooth acceleration towards the end. Um, to in order to like fit in your timing. Wing ball goes. One ball's coming and no I shot. Yeah, that was a little bad kiss there. But Federer is in complete control of this match right now at five nothing. <coughs> George, the uh, finals at seven p.m. Race to thirteen. Winner of this match plays Jason Shaw. What what I would be doing if I wasn't a professional pool player? That's a good question. That is a good question. What would you be doing? You know, I really love animals. I think I would work with maybe grooming dogs. Oh, okay. Every time I lose in a painful way, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to, <laughs> to grooming for dogs, <laughs> cutting their nails. It's very relaxing, no stress. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm done with that. Yeah. So if you're in your area and Christina's playing a pool tournament, she <laughs> loses, bring your dog. <laughs> and she will Free hair, guys. <laughs> she will trim it up for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's this is a, a tricky game, though. Once you like, like it, mm -hmm. it's just... You know, it's a trap. You oh, can't it doesn't. Quit. Yeah, it doesn't go out. I, I've seen people stop playing pool, but they always come back. Yes. It's you know, just, when it's I was just in you. when I was twelve, I stopped playing pool for almost a year. Yeah. I quit pool, but then I came back. Uh, actually, I think Alpen Ocean did the same. I think a couple of great players did the same thing. Anyway, back to pool. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we have uh, Fetter here. After Eric kicked at the one, Fetter is going to be banking the one. Oh. And. A little bit too short. Yeah, he hung it up there for Eric. <coughs> well, Eric has to uh, has to take advantage here. He's uh, running out of time. Yeah, it's now or never. Mm -hmm. And everything looks pretty good for him just you know make sure he's not somebody wants you to go to Toronto for a clinic Canada for a day oh wow well like you were saying right the last match that Eric played mm -hmm. was a tough grueling match that went double hill yeah and it looks like mentally he's exhausted, exhausted. from that match yeah uh, Steve, I uh, I won a couple matches. I made it to uh, Saturday, uh, 10 a.m., and I played Christina's dad, who eliminated me. But that's okay. I like him. <laughs> yeah, uh, so like Rick Bentley, you're saying that uh, women can come close to the men break. Uh, for example, like Jasmine. Mm -hmm. But again, if we look at her muscles <laughs> yeah, and Jas her hands, and you know she built really, really good. And I think Jasmine has bigger mu muscles than Alpin. <laughs> yeah, and she, I mean, she's been working out all her life. In this case, yeah, it, it, if you're saying it takes a lot more effort, if you mean working out all your life, you mm. know, lifting, yes, right, it right. takes more more effort for women to, you know, come close. But How old is Eric? I don't know. I want to guess 30s. Does anybody in the chat know how old Eric is? 41. Okay. 
He looks very good for his age. Yeah. And Feder here is on track. 6 and 0 oh, coming up. Just let me jump in here. Wayne Walsh. Thank you so much, Wayne Walsh, for your donation. Also, Marty McGee's. Thank you. Thanks, Al, for the stream. You got it. Thank you, pal. Uh, also, well, that's Marty McGee. From Steve. Steve, I got that 20 from Pancake. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. John Walsh. Thank you, John Walsh. From John Walsh, Bayshore, New York. We'll see you guys a little bit later in the week. And also, uh, Mark Foxborg, Turning Stone, he says. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate you guys. Everything, every little bit helps. All right. You guys got it. Thank you, Al. Yeah, Cheska. Cheska is a pretty good pool player, too. I was watching her play a little bit. She's, she's a world champion. Yeah, she's pretty good. Absolutely deserves. She's a great player, especially when she gets in her rhythm. Mm -hmm. She plays really good. Feder definitely has a uh, better control of the break, it seems, in this set. Yeah, his break works a lot better than the previous match. And again, if you have a consistent break, even if you don't have a shot, you can always come up with a safety, right? So you still have a shot on the table and uh, opportunity to come up with something. Mm -hmm. Then sitting in a chair and waiting for your opponent to miss and give you or give you some kind of kick shot or something. Right. See, everyone likes you in the, in the <laughs> booth, you. see? All right, Feder to break. Switching sides. They must have seen something in the mm -hmm. rack. Let's see the six ball. Right in. <laughs> Three and the eight keep trekking. Looks like they're running in a pair. And to the person who uh, who predicted nine nothing, they're uh, getting closer. It looks like <laughs> that is a bold prediction against someone uh, with Eric's talent for sure. And yeah, as, as we, was we mentioned already, uh, coming uh, from the match like very exhausting match like that, you can either play really good because you're like relaxed and focused, or you are so exhausted that you can really pull yourself together so Eric though is, is a really good player and uh, he's having a great tournament beat many many good players including our friend Vili Patura from Ukraine <laughs> yeah Jim <laughs> Jay's probably in his ice bath again <laughs> Oh, Russian sauna. <laughs> the Russian sauna. There you go. <laughs> With clay masks. <laughs> All right. Looks like he's going for this 3-8 combo. Seems pretty straight. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, Eric is playing his third match for today, right? He had two matches in the morning, races to eight. It's, it's pretty exhausting to play those matches back to back, to be honest. Oh, absolutely. I think that's the most uh, grueling thing about this tournament is if you get on that loser side, it's match after yeah. match after match. And then people say pool is not very, you know, sportive game. But oh. if your stamina is not good, then good luck winning all those matches race to nine back to back well i so always tell everybody mental exhaustion is way more, more than yeah. physical especially if you're like getting nervous it's a close match it's a lot of pressure and just you know purely from work walking around the table it's uh it's actually a lot of steps if you count so it's physically and mentally together exhausting so yeah sometimes it's not easy
And Feather looks absolutely comfortable on this table. And if he wins this, he's going to be playing Jason, so it'll be his third match in a row on this yeah. table. But hey, Feather is working out now. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting. He's prepared. <laughs> he's getting. He's getting jacked. You know, I uh, in my last women tournament I played in Alabama. I lost my first match and I had to uh, play 11 matches to get to the sem semi-finals. Wow. And I was telling Feder how exhausting I am. And all I think about is go to bed and spend <laughs> a couple of days. He's like, hey, nice nice job. It's almost one discipline on derby. <laughs> almost one. <laughs> right, right. From the winner's side, if you oh. go through the winner's side. I'm oh. like, wow, I don't know how you do that. That's you crazy. Know? Derby is, is something special, you know. I know, I'm going to get to experience it uh, this year for the first time ever so I look forward to uh, seeing a lot of exhausted players yeah <laughs> as uh, Feder Gorse is now up a touchdown seven to nothing yeah no nope, wrong sport <laughs> yeah I mean at this point what can you do you know Eric had that chance at four nothing with that that two ball that he you get a touchback and you win <laughs> yeah <laughs> what are they, they well if this was golf we could get a mulligan you know i gotta start over the mulligan yeah yes i will play derby city in nine ball and banks i'm not gonna play one pocket I don't think anybody wants to see that. So <laughs> I'm making everybody's favor, keeping this discipline. <laughs> Let's see Another. the kiss here. Look at that. Separates the three. Does the three go past the seven? That is the question. Doesn't seem like. I don't think so. Yeah, it seems like Feder is, you know, figure out the break a little bit. Mm -hmm. And instead of doing a cut break, he's just breaking them squarely and putting a little bit of a top spin on the cue ball. And um, based on the angle he left himself, it doesn't seem like the three ball passes. Maybe he wants right. to come up a little bit, like in the center of the table, and play little carom. the carom on the seven. I don't know. Oh, somebody is <laughs> saying, <laughs> oh, it's so sweet, Cody. You're welcome. A lot of people actually afraid to approach, you know, players for. Okay, probably it does pass. Um, afraid of broaching for signatures and stuff, but honestly, I tell you that a lot of players does not feel like celebrities, like just normal people. So I gotta, should never. I gotta say hi to my daughter. Hi, Taylor Rose. Daddy loves you. She told me I had to answer. Or she was gonna be mad at me. <laughs> no pressure, Dad. <laughs> She was writing, I guess she was watching uh, Fetter's, uh, the YouTube stream, so mm -hmm. she's writing it there. She's like, you're not answering my comment. I'm like, well, I'm, I can only see Facebook. <laughs> yeah. She's a good girl. All right, well, Fetter here is uh, about to go up 8 nothing, and then I, I can't remember who said it. They predicted 9 nothing. That was uh, That was a prediction in the chat. And it's also hard, you know, to play your best when your opponent putting racks after racks and figure out figure out the break and, and it's, it's it's really mentally tough to fight. So we know that Eric is a lot better than nine zero versus better. Of course, of course. Uh, 
um, Crystal, no, I'm not gonna play a matchroom event unless they will change the rules um, with WPA and matchroom because all women staying with matchroom. Uh, sorry, with WPA and most of men staying with matchroom. So in order for us uh, women to play in any, um, you know, matchroom event like US Open or anything like that, would have to quit WPA, which means that we'll have zero tournaments left for us to play to like make money you know with right because you would have to play with all the all the guys with the, with that okay. yes so it's uh it's actually uh, very sad because uh, it's a great opportunity for us women to gain more experience and play with better players uh you know try to i don't know gain more knowledge playing with all those top men i just i mean i have a feeling that it's all gonna it's all going to work out. Well, it doesn't seem like it's canceling <laughs> I know anytime now. soon. <laughs> I, yeah, I know now. I know now, but I think... Uh, yeah, and it's sad because we don't have enough tournaments, uh, you know, in general to play. Right. And all we can do is play in open events and, you know, gain this kind of, uh, you know, experience playing with men. Uh, so it's... It's a shame. He's going for the jump here. Wow. <laughs> what? Keep the cue out, Fetter. <laughs> wow. Do it again. Now, I mean, obviously, way he's way better. But was that the right shot? Because it's for eight, me, no. Eight nothing. <laughs> because Absolutely. Because it. Well, Al, Mar do you do Mar you Mar think do you Mar think Mar if it's eight eight he shoots that? No. Oh, you never know. That's Sometimes you just have that's to. That's a good go. question. I'm asking him that after the match. At 8 8, would you have shot that jump shot on the one? It's risky. He might have. I mean, he is one of the best. You know, he probably is the best jumper in the world. Absolutely. So. Did he jump it with the. Full house cue? With the plane cue. I thought it was his. his is it? Wasn't his I break it, cue? I thought it was his break cue. It could have been. I could have. I didn't see him. Uh, Are you gonna get mad at him if he did? <laughs> Me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It was. Oh, plain cue. It was with the yeah, plain cue. Yeah, that's what I thought. He didn't change his cue. Oh man. Are what? you gonna get mad now? <laughs> <laughs> so it's to rail. I like that control. Beautiful. Get it away from the nine. Well. Now, nah, sold the car here. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, Donnie Mills, where you at? Sold the car. <laughs> um, it's, hard to, it's hard to get that shoulder moving, though, getting out of that after sitting that long. So he jumped that with his white carbon shaft, huh? Yes. Wow. Good plug. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they just sold a whole bunch, right? <laughs> Wait, he could do that? Okay, boom. <laughs> press, press send. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to play in Mina Derby uh, because we'll have a women event in Alabama. Birmingham, so um, I'll be going there. She's going down to rob that tournament before she comes up to rob Derby, so. Yeah, as long as nobody robs me <laughs> there. <laughs> 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 On a tournament, I mean, not in Alabama. But <laughs> well, <I hear laughs> we'll see how it's going to go. Well, I hear a lot of people down at Derby are afraid they're going to get robbed, but not <laughs> playing pool. <laughs> yeah, I'll blame them. <laughs> Wow, look at this shot. All right, let's see if Eric can get on the board here. There it is. The bagel is gone. It is now eight to one.
never know, Don. These guys can, can run racks for a long time. This is the uh, the first break of the match for Eric. Yeah, I see a lot of people um, say Big Red. I'm, yeah. I'm wondering if it's his nickname. That's his nickname, yeah. Okay. They call him Big Red. Yep. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Is that somehow related to Canada flag? Yeah, and he's got red hair. Oh, is, is he? Yeah. It's, it's reddish, reddish. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you Hello. guys? I've been uh, been watching you throughout my travels. It looks like we've got ourselves uh, quite the final shaping up this evening. Oh, yeah. It's a very nice layout. Everything literally hanging in the pockets except for the four ball all right it looks like the angle uh, the four i think might go past does it go past the that's, eight that's what i'm trying to figure out but i don't think so it doesn't i got a clear view of the table over here it does not look like it goes yeah it does not look like it goes and the it doesn't also pass the seven i assume yeah so he would have to go for The four ball in a low right corner. Oh, low left. Depends on the angle he's going to leave himself. Is he going to try to go into the four of the eight here? No, oh, okay. The way he was looking at it, he looked like he was going to try to bump mm -hmm. a ball. Oh, he just tried to bring the cue ball back where it <coughs> almost it is right. to keep it simple. Yeah, just like okay, that. perfect. Good shot. Yeah, now he has option to go in the side pocket or in a corner, actually. So, I don't think he would go for the side pocket. But... Willie, they're four and a half inch pockets. <laughs> yeah. It's a good shot. That's a tough thing, too. He saw how he got down to hit the ball, and then he said, wait, wait a second. Let me just get back up real quick, mm -hmm. relax. He was in such a rhythm there going, and he kept wanting to go, but then realized, maybe I'm going a little too fast. Mm -hmm. Break and run for Eric. Eight to two. So I see, uh, you know, Fetter's wearing his uh, rail yard shirt there. I've I've never been to the rail yard, but that's close to Derby, right? Yeah, it's like a uh, 20 minutes drive with no traffic. Oh, it's okay. It's pretty close. It's uh, located right in the uh, center city. Okay. And it's in a good part of Louisville. Because uh, the eastern part is not really good, but western part is, is pretty good. So it's it's in a very good place and it's a very big pool room. It's a very nice pool room, actually. That's good. So I give all my lessons in there. Oh, okay. No, it has all diamond tables. So very nice environment. It's a dry break and open table for fatter. Yeah. That looks like trouble. I think the five goes goes in that corner past the eight, so 
Yep, it does. Four to the five is the shot here, it looks like. I had a straight in. Yeah. Shot. Oh, wow. I rattled the puck, the ball. Yeah, Eric has a couple options here. Carom the four, bank the two, or play the safe two. I feel like he's aiming for, for the bank. He has that, uh... <laughs> He has a big wind-up on his practice, practice strokes. I don't think he's going to go for the carom. Yeah, it seems like he's aligned for the bank. Yeah. Good shot. Where is he getting on the three, though? Oof. A little steep. Jim Telfer, Feder has fallen apart. Nine eight there. <laughs> Jim is uh, a European guy, right? I know. J yeah, yeah, Jim yeah. Telfer. See, he's a little sour that uh, Feder chose uh, mm -hmm. America. <laughs> USA. It's okay, Jim. We're coming for that cup next year. I'll be in Vegas. I hope you are too. So he has a decision to make here, Christina, because Fetter's on the hill. He can't make a mistake. Seems like he's going for, yeah, for the. How's the speed? Here. Look at that shot. Wow. Very nice shot. Great ball. He didn't stick him to the seven, though. There's still room, so he can kick out of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the scary part. <laughs> it's like, oh, I played a great safe, but did you? Oh, yeah, look at the two rails. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Still not an easy kick. No, not at all. And you got to kick it hard to get lucky, too. Do you think he can go two, probably three rails? I think two he's looking rails? to come behind the three, right, and kick it back down that's table. That's what I'm thinking. But does he have... Does he see enough of the rail? Yeah, I think it's way yeah. off the seven ball. Yeah. So it's, he's going two, three rails here. Oh, no. Oh, wow. And one rail. That's an even more impressive hit, the fact that he only went one rail. Yeah. But sold out the three ball. Ooh, got lucky there that he didn't knock yeah. the eight, right? Do you think he can yeah, he right? will draw it back for the five ball in the corner? Um, I mean, that the cut into the side is, yeah. is very tough. I mean, it's still possible. It's just not a comfortable shot. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to decide. What do you do here? I would probably draw it back. Yeah. I mean, I know he's following the ball. Oh. He used the point. Wow. What a great shot! That was a great shot. Wow. Very inventive. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. That's 
you know, hmm. very cre crea creative decision. Draw the ball enough. Oof. So he's uh, Another playing, safety playing safe. Out. Yeah. Oh, this is not good. No, nah, he's gonna out. leaving him enough paint. Yeah. Is he gonna kick behind the seven? Kick it down table. I think there's enough room on the rail to get behind it. Mm, or is he going to no. thin it? No, I don't think so. I think he's looking for the bank. Okay. It's a tough safety here, like to go from the right side of the 7 and try to bring it back behind the 9. But it's a tough, tough shot. So if you, you know, measure percentages of a tough safety and, you know, in the bank, and if it's 50 50, for example, you should go for the bank because okay. you can win. As a speed. Okay, well. He didn't leave him anything easy. No. It's very good. He didn't take any risk and. Oh no. Oh Sold no. out. Sold out. He shot that so fast. Yeah. Right? He didn't. Yeah. He, he normally got up two to three times before every shot. Like, was, like she was saying earlier, that speed, that cadence. Yeah. Well, folks, uh, looks like we're going to have our finals all set. Actually, it's going to be the same score as the first match they played. 9-2 Fetter. I think it was 9-2-3. No, 9-2-4. Okay. There it is. There's your final, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Fetter Gorse versus Jason Shaw, race to 13. That'll be coming up in an hour, approximately. And uh, this is Sean Santoro, a.k.a. Pancake, thanking everyone for tuning in and, you know, being very... Uh, very nice in the chat. And then we have Christina Takach. Thank you, guys. And Blaine from and Copper Blaine City Billiards. From Copper City Billiards. It was a pleasure, guys. It Appreciate pleasure. it. We'll see you in an hour. Hey, guys. What a match. Fellow Ghost just taking the lead real quick and never letting back. 9-2. Sean Santoro in the box, a.k.a. Pancake. And we had TKO, Christina Takach. 7 o'clock, the finals. Jason Shaw and Fed August, a race to 13. Please, guys, spread the word. I'll do it on my side. Everybody helps out. I want to thank everybody that's been sending in the help. It helps us. I, I mean, by donations. It really helps us. It helps me anyway. I've been uh, trying to thank everybody, and I do have to thank somebody else. Cody Romer. He says, thanks for the stream, Al. Quite welcome, Cody, and thank you for the kind words. And thank you for your generosity. Wesley Farris. Thank you. He says, thanks for the stream and commentary. You're doing great. Thank you uh, for the, your generosity, uh, Wesley, and your graciousness. Appreciate you. We'll be back, folks, 7 p.m. Race to 13. For the trophy that you can see, oh, well, maybe I can zoom in a little bit and give you guys a little more. Let me see. 
<laughs> that was nice taking a break. I was still off to the side here. Just in case anything went amiss. You never know with technology, right? Well, I don't think I can zoom in anymore. I mean, I could with the bigger cameras, but the plaque that's in the middle of the third table back, there's a plaque. That is the trophy for the turning stone. Me, personally, I like plaques because you can hang them on the wall and then they don't take the chance of being knocked off a shelf like a, a big trophy. Uh, but all trophies are beautiful, especially when you come out on top. Let me... Uh, let me take the scoreboard down. What is this going on in the chat? Did Fedor win or lose against Jason? Fedor lost against Jason the first set. That are coming back for the second set of the finals. Anyone want to sweat a 50? I'll take Fedor, says Nick Barracho. That's up to you guys. I don't get in that. You don't have any, says John Francisco. I don't know what that means, but you're right. I don't have any either. All right. Let me get over here. Let me fix this up. Uh, this one. Jason's. I don't even have to change it. But this will be the finals. The finals. And we're going to get started at 7 p.m. I'm just going to be a reminder up there for anybody that uh, comes in and wonder what's going on as the. Finals, Jason Shore versus Fedor Gore, 7 p.m., Turning Stone Classic. I don't know if you heard that, but the announcement was up on the speakers in the casino. Two of the best players in the world are going to be facing off at 7. It just came over the air when the speakers when I muted myself. See you then, folks.
new to pool and practicing the basics, or a more experienced player performing drills to improve your shot making and positional play, the Drill Partner is perfect for you. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration and digital payment tracking enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com the question is is do we ever do we ever step back and like you know look at, at what we've what we've done and wonder you know why we're here kind of pinch ourselves and and my answer to that is yeah every day pretty much i mean i look at her we talk about that all the time like we can't believe we're here we truly feel lucky, you know. I mean, if, if anybody asked me, what's the secret to this business, to us in this business, beyond the quality of the product, it's the relationships that we forge with our customers, with the people who, who, in, who enable us to be here. You know, it's the people who come back and buy two or three or four cases and the people who bring their friends. They trust us enough to vouch for us for their friends. And, and that, is just amazing to us, you know. We look around and we're like, how lucky can we be? At JB Cases, we care about your cues by putting layers of padded protection around them and then build as much case as you want around that protection. Visit us at jbcases.com and design your case today. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. But, you know, Richard uh, Sue? Yeah. He makes those tsunami uh, shafts. Those are really good. I've yeah, got like one them. of those for my Southwest. I like it a lot. And I'm, I'm going to have him make me some for other other cues.
folks. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to get started here. I'll take the posters down so you guys can see. And it's also going to be a race to uh, 13. It's going to be a race to 13 and not 9. This is the finals. Single race to 13. Everybody's excited. You got Johnny Archer going to sit in the booth. Brandon Shelf going to sit in the booth. And, of course, Blaine, the owner of Copper City Billiards, going to sit in. Right here, right here. How's that three-piece chicken? How's that three-piece chicken nugget? Now that's a three-piece chicken. <laughs> hey, you can't you you can't catch the the uh, three-legged chickens. I think that was Snooky. The the I sent you a picture of me and Archer. Yes, I saw that. I saw that. I did see it. All right, uh, Mike Zuglin going to do the Q raffle, and then we're going to get down and dirty with the finals. S let him finish doing his Q raffle first. Yeah, this is going to be yours, John. Yeah, just uh, no, it's going to be you three right here. Hey, you can put this on. It's hot. You look like you're hot. It's live. Oh, live it is. Oh Lord, here we go. Hot mic. Hot mic. What the hell? Which one's that one? That's mine. Y'all's are muted, idiot. We're all live. Okay, we're all live. Ah, uh, who out there is ready? I know I am. Does it say Don Peterson? <laughs> is that you? You're going to show us ID. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Your cue is up front. You can go get it anytime you like. All right. All right. It's not always nice when the winner is here. <laughs> okay, let's get this match underway. As I said, you got two world champions right here. You got two of the best players in the world. You're not going to see any be better pool players than these. World nine ball champ, two time Derby City classic all around champion, our reigning defending champion, and Perry Open champ, second in the US Open last year, Feder Gors, young, 23 years old. His opponent, Hanoi Open champ from in Vietnam this year. Former Challenger Champions champion, two-time international nine ball open champ, three-time Derby City Bigfoot champ, world record high run of 714 balls. Huh. From Orange, Connecticut, Jason Shaw, nine-time winner right here. He's got nine Turning Stone Classics. All right. Good luck, fellas. Have a great set. All right. We hot now.
All right, whoever don't understand me out there, it's your fault, not mine. All right, Jason Shaw to break. And if anybody watched this match earlier, you're in for a great final. Yeah, race to 13. It'd be nice to see a few packages here. I'm pretty sure we will. I mean, if I had to put my money on it. We'll see a little bit of package. Well, gentlemen, how are you tonight? How, hi, Johnny. How are you over there? Yeah, Johnny. Man, how I'm doing odd. Right? How about y'all? We are Not right. Bad. Yeah. We fixing to have a ball. Let's do it. And we got Shuff Enough right next to me. Yes, and sir. That, that was my roommate at the World Games. Yes, sir. Back in 2013, uh, we had a ball over there, didn't we, Brandon? That was one of the best memories I've ever had. You know, one of the other good memories I had what was that? is when you and I played in uh, partners at 2012 and we ended up winning the match. Oh, yeah, that was incredible. Hill, hill, that was pretty cool. Dude, I ain't going to lie yeah, now. Dude, that was odd. You're an amazing no, team player, dude. Man, I'm telling you, I just, you, you know, you guys were a great team. I mean, we were good. Yeah, we were good. We should have won that year. Yeah, we had our chances. Yeah. But something happened to that melling along the way. I got stuck with him twice in the singles. And he well, was you, you had a tough time with, that, with that one. Uh, the match we should have won was. Sorry, uh, I fire back, man. I fire back. I ain't afraid. Yeah, we had a couple matches. Uh, uh, we should have won a uh, couple of them with, with Mike, the Shane, when uh, he's playing Nick. Yeah, we but had I a shot away. You know, CJ was a great captain that year, and yep. you know, along with your knowledge and, and insight, sure. you know, communicating with him, it, it was. There was there was some secret power there, you know. Yeah. I mean, and you've got a you had a lot of experience. I think that was your like seventeenth or eighteenth year or something. Like uh, that. Uh, what, see, what, that was, was my fifteenth, uh, I think, sixteenth. Yeah, yeah, and then I played one more year after that in Vegas when we got blitzed. Yeah. Uh, I chose the wrong thing and decided to. Oh, you mean the Legends year, twenty thirteen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was just a, a bad. Uh, I chose. I think that um, was just an overall bad move. In well, bad move I made whenever we just all decided to break from the dead center. That was my own fault. Because yeah. uh, I shouldn't have never voted for that. I was a captain. Right. But anyway, Johan outmoved me. All right, to the match. There we go. All right. Wow, he didn't make nothing. Wow. Mm. 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 This ought to be interesting. If the matches go like this. What about the ghost up here? I like running into the seven here, Johnny. What do you think? Um, I think he can miss the seven. And he's he getting a gap. Seven? I think he can miss the seven getting a gap. That's what it looks like. Before we get started, I'd like to give a little shout out to uh, all my country bumpkins in Greensboro, North Carolina. How about that? Mr. Jimmy, Mr. Big Wayne, Matt, Preacher Jeff. Anyway, just want to say hi to all you guys. You guys are unbelievable. Y'all my buddies. Yep, yep, just missed it. Yep. Nice shot. Mm -hmm. Now, who out there thinks that he he's my long lost son? Fedar. <laughs> That's what everybody says. Tell you what's good kid. He is a good I kid. mean I ha I picked him to come down and play uh we just did that ESPN eight Ocho for uh what it, the old bonus ball. Yeah. And I picked him to um come up. And I thought he was the perfect pick. And he come down and we got to play uh anyway. Yeah, Fedor's quite the package, huh? Yeah, he is. He's uh, well represented. All right, back to the match. He's, this ought to be a pretty nice match here, I believe. Yeah, it's interesting to see uh, where the momentum shifts are going to show up at. It's going to largely have to do with the break, probably, I would imagine. Tell you what, now he's getting on through this wreck pretty speedy. Yeah, and you know we got ourselves a little Team USA versus Team Team Europe right here. Well, I guess if you can call him USA. Yep, that's true. That's right.
Yep, Jason winning nine times. Good Lord. I I'm didn't think there was you. no way uh, Shane and I, you know, I have six, Shane six. Whew. Right. What, nine? I mean, this could be ten. Good Lord. Really? This is his tenth? If he, if Shaw win, Jason wins this, it'd be ten times. Good Lord. I mean, that's getting it done now. Yeah. That's getting it done. Yeah, he's a he's a different animal. Yeah, that's for sure. He's going to have his hands full right here, though, I believe. Yeah, this ain't going to be no gimme. All right, while they racking, let's see uh, who we need to give a shout-out to, Shuff. Brandon, who we got here? All right. Good friend of mine uh, out of Charlotte, North Carolina, Carrie Ann. Um, she's she's handling a lot of my uh, Facebook stuff and uh, booking appointments and, anyway, all that good stuff that I don't know how to do. Nice, man. Good yep. for you. That's yep. great. She's, uh, she's a sweetheart. Um, let's see who else. Old goofy boy just called me John Swope. He's out of Georgia. Well, we got a few of them out of Georgia. There's some real country bumpings out there now. Uh-oh, we lost. What happened? Man, we lost something. We lost the feed. Pull your feet back. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. That was me. All right. So, okay. That was my fault. No problem. My name's Big Feet down there. All right. One hey, this is race I 13. Just, I just saw Dennis Hatch in the chat. What's up, Dennis? Big D. The Hatchet Man. What about the Big D? That was my man on uh, on the Moscone Cup. I'm telling you, dude. Big D, where's that what, big muscle? What an animal he is. Oh, oh yeah. man. Big D, he'll put that big muscle on yeah, him I'm now. Sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll make his comeback one day. Oh, Dennis is already, he's the man. Hey, look, man, pool, you can have, you can have a 40, 50-year career in pool, so take your time. Make your comebacks. Well, what are you I saying? Mean, look, look. I'm I mean, saying, look at me. I've I'm been saying, I've had 40 years. I'm saying keep going, baby. Well, you got 30, 40 more. I'm saying oh keep going. Oh, my God, look 30 at, or 40 look, more years. Hey, I couldn't at, imagine that. Dude, look at look at Efren. You look at him. I don't want to look Django. at him no more. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of him. <laughs> Why would I want to look at Efren anymore? God, funny. he has got dang kill. He, he's been hard yeah, enough. You, yeah, you play him enough. You don't want to see him. Whew, <laughs> Lord. Yeah, Efren's. <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's, that's a tough one. Funny. Well, anyway, him and I had some serious battles. Oh, I know. Remember, it was '93 when him and I played on ESPN. I did catch him that year on the finals, the World Championship, Big E. He tell you what, now he's he's a, a different breed. Hey, Keith O'Dell, how are you? Let me I'll get over here. Where what, I can see this chat. Let me let me go ahead and drop a line on Dennis Hatch real quick, because he won the boot camp with Johan in Vegas, and he. He didn't even go to Russia, and he just gave up his spot. I Who, mean, Dennis did? Yeah, dude, that was gangster as shit. Dennis, <laughs> what's wrong with you? just gave it up. I love that motherfucker. Oh, man, watch your mouth Excuse on here. Language. There might be some kids on here, man. Excuse my language. God almighty, no, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> it's all right. It's way worse than the UFC. Yeah, that's true. It's an yeah. individual sport. I can't see this chat. i got to have glasses for this doggone thing. you got to be kidding me. Keith... Odell. Fantastic young man. Got two great young pool players coming up uh, with the McDermott uh, with the McDermott sponsors. Where's, Where's that Big at? D? Where's, where's that at? Hold on. I just seen Big D. What did I do? Laugh out loud. Big D, you know what you got. What about D? You want to tell them what happened over in uh, London when we played over there? And you, you kind of started punching the, the beam in the, <laughs> in the room. Scared me. Slapped to death. Yeah, he remembers Hey, uh, one thing I'll say, uh, the, the Vaughn boys, uh, you know, Garrett and Grayson, man, they're good, cool kids. They're playing good. They're both brothers, and uh, y'all watch out for them coming up. Yeah, they're putting in the work. Yeah, they are. Is that who you were talking about, Blaine, about the McDermott? No, no. Uh, yeah, the, what one are you the, saying about the One you know, of the guys the in the yeah. check, Keith Okay, O'Dell. now, guys, I'm going to tell you all something. We're not talking about Oscar and me paying. First time, somebody's going to get, get out of the chat if you start that now. Yeah, let's keep the drama okay. fun. Let's keep the drama fun. Whoever it is, we're gonna we're, we're gonna not do that. Okay. Hateful, I guess. Yeah. So if you get caught, you fix it. Get out of the chat. Big Al's gonna do it. All right, we all understood. That ain't what we're here for. These two guys are the ones, not me, not Oscar. Oh, oh, my man, Baby Cakes. Baby Cakes is on there. My man, Baby Cakes. Let me tell you a story about Baby Cakes. 
he used to, he used to be at Steinway Billiards, and he used to play. Uh, he drew Earl a couple times in, in the weekly tournament, and Earl used to call him Hair because he had a big old head. And uh, anyway, he said, "You're the worst player I ever seen to beat me." You remember that, Baby Cakes? I know you do. All right, one, 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 huh? Race 13. Yeah, we're just getting settled in good. Where'd, where'd you go, Al? You take a powder? Cigarette? Did you, did you powder your nose? With, with makeup? Boy, you need it. I'm going to tell you now. Me and you both need it. Man, they used to, when I used to do commercials, boy, they used to do that to me. I said, man, y'all better cake on a lot. Especially for this big nose. But listen, everybody, you know, we all friends. And uh, I know we had a lot of people watching last night with me and Jason. We need to keep that going because that's, that's how this can be, get really, really big quick. So everybody, just keep keep supporting. We're going we're gonna to try our best to... You know, Al's trying to get in the streamline, and uh, he knows what he's doing. I think. Yeah, Al does a great job. He does. It's a nice show. Yep. Absolutely. Boy, he's got Fantastic here. Fantastic break. Wow. Well, I'll tell you one thing now. Man, no wonder I can't beat these guys. And that was a great break there now. Come back out to the center of the table here. Yeah, just kind of float past it too. Yeah, I like killing that with. Oh, he's going fun. around. Oh, There's okay. nothing wrong with that. Okay, yeah, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's actually the safest way to play it because you hit two rails. Because one rail, you can get too far and go behind the five six. Yeah, and if you if yeah. you you could accidentally bunt the one ball two and come short maybe a little sure. bit. Sure. If you overcut the one, it's going to be gone. Yeah. So that that way is by far the best way. Well, thanks, Randy. You're welcome. Make sure you guys pay attention at PayPal. Uh, donate to Upstate Al Pool at gmail.com. He uh, uses it to stay on the road and keep moving. And I want to let everybody know I've got some um, pretty cool posters over here, um, caricatures, you know, and everything. We're gonna. I'm getting all the signatures. Uh, hopefully, on most of them, and we're gonna raffle them off or sell them. And f it's the money's going to Mika. So. Um, Y'all look for that. I've got a good many of them here, so I'm going to try to get a lot of signatures on them. Uh, Brandon just signed them, and, you know, i got Fed R and Jason and Rodney and a few of the other ones. Uh, we, need, we, need to, we need to support our brother, okay? Mika's our brother, and he needs help. So that's what we need to do. Rodney, Rodney's a big-time uh, supporter of Mika. Yeah, we're all a big worldwide yeah. community. Sure. And, you know. That's the nature, the human nature. We all got to support each other, you know. And I'd like to give an update. Jeanette Lee, um, Jeanette Lee messaged me, um, I think it was yesterday or this morning, a long message saying she's doing unbelievably well. Great. So um, she's another one that's uh, that's been big in the pool. And uh, her and I have been partners on the mixed doubles uh, over there in China. And Anyway, she's her and I have done a lot of work together. She's awesome. Nice uh, out. It's 2-1. It's a great out. Yep. Well, this set's going to be a lot about building momentum. You know, you got to get them breaking runs going. I mean, sure. There might not be too much. How tall, safety. It, how we're tall not, is We're not going to see on. a lot of safety play. I don't well, think I we're going to see much safety. Uh, folks, I already banned two people here on this chat. I don't like doing it. Please, I don't want no more negative stuff. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all your support. Now, you guys heard that now. If you start, you will be X'd out. Please don't start. Please. I mean, I'm begging. Al's begging. Don't do that. We don't want to have to do that. So when it happens, don't be surprised. That ain't what we're here for. We're here for a positive, nice match. We ain't here for all this drama, soap opera stuff. Me and Oscar, we've made up. Me and Oscar has our agreement. You know, so so if y'all can't handle it, then y'all just 
y'all just don't need to comment on it. We ain't got nothing to do with any of y'all. Me and Oscar's okay with it. We already had to get rid of us, um, Double D. Uh, two to one. Oof, look at that snap. Well, I'll tell you one thing, boy, these guys are going to be so hard to beat. Good Lord. That is tough. That is tough out. This one's not easy. Okay. What are they going to do there, Brandon? I mean, I'll like go ahead and. He's going to play safe. Yeah, I mean, I don't, there's, there's too much going on on yeah. the left side there. And yeah, it's, this, a good, it's a good place to go. Wow, he's looking to go into the eight. Boy, you know how risky that is. I two rail the one under the nine and use lots of left. Go behind the two. Yeah, put, yeah. Yeah, put, some, put some little put some, three cushion spin on there and yeah. let the spin do all the work. Yeah, I like that too. Because going in that eight, and I'm going to tell you something, he misses it, he's done. Yeah. Unless he gets lucky and goes around and gets in a gap somewhere. Yeah, you're, you're just asking for too much that yeah. way, yeah. Uh, don't worry, he wants to run out though. Hey, I mean, he really does what yeah, he's looking of for. Us. I mean, I mean, he. Oh man, I don't want to. I don't want to say. So right, Jason picked the right yeah, one. Yeah, you got to know he's a good shot maker, but he's right. he's a smart one too. Sometimes you got to let the decision weigh for a second. Yeah. He's me shooting at it. Wow. See, that's, that was scary. Yeah, I'm telling you, that was, was a bad, too bad, much. bad, yeah. bad shot. Bad shot. Yeah, mm. you can tell he went again a little a little yeah. against his intuition there. Yeah, that was a that was just a bad play. Yeah, yeah. He's see how he pointed his cue right behind the two. That was the right play. Yeah, I may yeah. not do it anymore, but at least I've got. You a like coming in between the eight and the five here? Maybe bumping no. the five. No, no, I like going. Uh, I like going the eight and the two. Going in between the the eight and the two over there on the side rail and make sure yeah. you get a shot. Yeah, because even if you get put up on the rail, you're still good. Yeah, you got a shot yeah. on the floor. Yeah, on get, the two. get close to your work. Because he can, I mean, uh, this thing, if you don't watch out, you can get snookered on this really quick. Right. First shot. He, he might come out to the center in uh, between he's trying, the eight and the five. He could. I'm going to tell you, now that's, that's dangerous now. I like to put it on the side rail going two rails. Nice shot. Very good. Good shot, good, good shot, good shot. The kid looks like he uh, really knows how to play this game. Very good. I say, kid, good Lord, I'm fit. Yeah, well, he's less than half I mean, my age, I guess. I mean, technically, you can say that. But he's got so much experience. He does, on. So he, when did he win the world championship? Oh, uh, what? How old was he when he won the world championship? I, Anybody I, know out there? I can't remember exactly. A couple years ago, ain't it? Somebody knows in the chat. I think it was uh, it was last year, wasn't it? Who in the chat knows uh, what year he won the world championship? I mean, we can look it up, but. Everybody get them phones. See if he done it. Let's see if he done it uh, before me. I was 20. I was 21, 22, I think. Someone 19, said. 1992. Yeah, someone, said, someone said he was 19 years old. Wow. Yep. I was uh, in 1992. I would have been, uh, yeah, 21. Taiwan. This kid here, I mean, he's really getting it done now. Four years ago, Jason Sword, Sword said in the comments. Four years ago? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Appreciate that. Yep, real, real yard billiards. How's, uh, how's Alan doing, your brother? Four years ago, man, so that's 19, yeah. Oof. Well, he's a phenom. Just incredible, phenomenal, you know, yeah. phenomenal fundamentals. Sure. Yeah, he's uh, 
if you want to look at fundamentals, you watch this kid here. Yeah, it's a spectacle to see. Yeah. Look how straight I'm just so impressed down with, down with the newer generations. Sure. Pastor, boy, I tell you what, now he's straight now. Uh oh, y'all in trouble now. I think I got me a drink coming. We really might be in trouble now. Amarillo Sour is coming my way. Oh, with some Mountain Dew? No Mountain Dew. I've quit did Mountain Dew. Did you give up the Mountain Dew? Been two months. Good for you, man. I knew. I told Good you I had you. an Amarillo Sour coming. Oh, look at you. Uh-huh. See, I know what everything's going on, man. We got all cherries. Right, all and right. Calm down. Calm down. You calm down. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yep, no Mountain Dews anymore, uh, Brandon. Yeah, that's right. Good for you, man. If I didn't, I wasn't going to play pool no more. Yeah, the older you get from here, you know, you're going to have to start paying more attention to what goes in your body, right? Yep. It is the truth. I finally listened to Thorsten and Rodney and Hunter Lombardo. All them guys have been on me for years. There you go. I lost 40 pounds. It's just, it's just a little bit of self-conscious, you know. Well. Keep it going. Yeah, we're good. They ain't seen the last of me yet. 55, shoot Earl. Was Earl 63, I think. Yeah, what a spectacle he is. Mad, oh. res mad respect to Earl. Yeah, Earl's cool. Earl's hot now. I heard Earl's having some, uh, well, somebody told me Earl's having some family problems right now. Yeah. That's what oh, I hear. We'll have to keep him in our thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, let's all, uh, yeah, keep Earl. Yeah, Earl's, Earl's just an absolute genius. Yeah, and he's a gem to the culture. Sure. All right, here we go. Rack number five. Pretty steady pace so far. Yep. S standard, world-class, professional, accurate runouts. Well, see, he cut them. See the difference? Yep. Shaw was hitting them head on and making yeah. make it. He made two or three balls. See that? Could, well, he got fortunate yeah, there. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you something. He better tighten that up, or Shaw gonna run away from him. Yeah, sometimes you can tell the table breaks a little on the generous side, and you can start to pump them a little more. Well, they, they cut them a lot, but see, Jason was hitting them head on, and see, yeah. two or three was going. Like the old saying, if you can't beat them, you better join them. So I missed the end of the match with him and Fedor when, when Fedor had the lead and Jason came back and won. What turned that match around? I don't know. I was um, I was up front. I, I know Jason run the last couple games. I think he won on, what, 9, was it, it, it nine five you know, or 9-6? It, it, it could have been the way he was breaking them, and then he just continued to stick with the way he's breaking he them was. because he came back and won that way. Yeah, yeah. I was sitting you know. here in the booth, and he yeah. was he was getting off the break. Pace was good on the ball. Jason yeah. was. Yeah, okay. and he was able to get through the rack smooth. Let's see what happens here. He's pushing out. That's actually a good push out, tied yeah. the three up because yeah. he knew he was going to leave him where he could hit the one. See now, everybody now. That's a that's a very very smart push out, because you you know anybody like Fedor, he's going to be able to snooker you back or bank it. Meanwhile, he tied the three and five up where he can't run out, so he's going to get he's going to get back to the table. Yeah, it's a common thing that happens in yep. nine ball. You know, yep. when you're faced with a difficult position after the break, you know, always look at what you can tie up and what sure. you can create from it. Now is the five three wired? Because you can bank the one on the five three. I don't three. think it's you don't think so? You'd have to hit it in a specific spot. Okay. So he's going. He's playing all out safety. I think going. He's going off the right side of the one. Okay, that's a good shot. Nope. Nope. That ain't very good. Nope. nope. I left, see. Left what Jason he was the bottom part he of. Was, it. He wanted. I think he wanted to move the one a little further. Yeah. There. He hit it too thin. Yeah, because that makes the uh, the eight ball. A big ball going, yeah. going going back there in the corner where he's at. Yeah. So I don't blame him. I mean that's that's kind of the right shot. Right. Just a little short on the execution. <laughs> Keep it simple, right? Yeah, he's just he could just play say he can come now Jason can put him back in jail here. Jason can go off the right side of that one and cut it up by the two and he can go he can kinda of put him behind that eight shoot, he'd be at jail. Cause he can hit it straight on, can he? Yeah. 
Yeah, he sure can. Yeah, he's going to use the same area. Oh, Lord, he scratched. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, my gosh, Jason. He hit that way too thin. Oh, boy. So you got to bank that one off the side rail and then up behind the 6 4. Yeah, that was a, no, that was a blunder. Mm -hmm. All right, interesting play here. You just roll up to the side rail. You yep. have a nice angle on the deuce, but it's all about the finesse, how you run over there and break it out and create the shot. Well, he's actually looking Love watching these. He's looking at the wrong way here. He's looking to go all the way to the side rail the way go one rail over and just straight into him. It's easier. No. no, he's looking at using no rail and just going straight into the mess. Yeah, that's see what he should do is go one rail into the bottom well, of no. the three. See, that's no good. That's I, not I, that's I would, not the right I would play it this way, but I respect the other way as no, well. No, because here he can get he can come off and scratch. This if he goes to the if he goes to the bottom rail and hit the three, he can't do nothing. Nothing go wrong. He can double kiss this and scratch. Right. Oh. Okay. Well, just sometimes personal preference has a play. Well, let's just see. See what I tell you? He can yeah. double kiss it. See if he'd have come to the bottom rail. I lost my feed. No. No. Can y'all hear me? No. We can. Y'all can? I can hear you. Okay. Okay. See if he went if he'd went to the bottom rail there, see he would he could have broke him up and get a shot. Yeah. The way he went was double kissing it. Right. Well to be fair, he was I mean if he would have just another millimeter on the other side of that five, it was so close to perfect. Yeah, but why would you take that chance when you can double kiss or scratch and go to bottom rail? So you, you can't, he's just going to lag up on the three here. Yeah, that's the shot. Yeah, just lag up on the three. You know, I don't see that shot utilized as much nowadays. What's that? Uh, the the one rail slow kick soft onto the ball put to play safe. Wow! See, so he got fortunate there now. It's like he could have he could have easily gave up something there. He massed it and kicked it. Yeah, that one rail the one rail is I know it's it's a tough one because you're scared of fouling, but I mean, you got to still shoot the right shots. Right. But that I mean, uh, so he's in a spot here. Can he can he just shoot it full on? No, he can't shoot it full on and double it out of there, can he? That's he does. I think he's looking at trying to miss the nine and just thin in the three coming up somewhere underneath the six four. That's the shot, yeah. Try not to scratch. No, he's he's banking it over. Yeah, I know he's banking it over. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that. Well, yeah, it's going to leave some space. Yeah, I liked his original yeah. shot, the th or thinning oh. the three there. Well, it might not have been there. Well, that's all it right. may not have been there. Well, if you're Jason right now, you're like, Phew. You ain't lying now. He could have dodged that ball. bullet. Jason's. God, buddy. Mm. Mm. And some errors. Man, he got away with that one. Looks yes, like. he did. Yeah, got away with that well, one. Well, he might be able to make it. Uh, don't look it. Maybe. Yeah, it's well, close, ain't it? It's close. He can use his brake cue to. He's jumping to then. jump it. <coughs> Yep. So this is kind of uh see I don't like this uh roll. They should have you should have to be able to jump with your playing cue because these things got fake tips and all on them. So you just jump it's just fake tip. That's all it is. Now Earl, you know, when we was nice playing shot. yeah, we had, you know, you, he had to jump that with his playing cue. Now he has his hands full. Full cue with the Muji. <laughs> Yeah, all these new uh, brake cues, they all got the fake tips on them. So it's like using a jump cue. I can't tell if it goes. He's looking, oh, he's looking see. to see if it's got enough room. Maybe. The way he's moving it. Must, he looks like he's pretty aggressive, ain't he? 
Well, everybody, whoever's listening, I'm going to be in New York City all next week. I'm going over to Holden Chin's place. We'll be doing a show next Saturday. I'll be in town for lessons, for uh, uh, clinics, and all that good stuff. So anybody around the area, you message me on Facebook, uh, and I'll, I'll see what I can do. He's going for it, ain't he? he? Must have a half pocket, maybe. Oh man, good hit! What a shot! Good hit there. Now that was clean. Al's going up. Uh, you going up next week too, ain't you, Al? Yeah. Where well, you going Tuesday? I'll be there. You'll be there Tuesday. I'm uh, I'm driving up tomorrow. I'll be on Long Island. Uh, have a good shout out to my good friend Rachel Webb. Uh, she is well, ain't Webb no more, but uh, she's uh old friend of mine uh, from Denver, and she's the league operator in Nassau County. So uh, I'll be getting to stay on the water in Long Island and, you know, her big yacht and all that good stuff in the background. So I'll be living the high life for nice a week. Nice shot, Fedor. Yeah. Clean, center of the pocket. Sure did now. Yeah, that sounds like fun, Johnny. Good for you, man. Well, no, no. Listen, I'm just, just now getting back out. I want to help everybody I can. We're just trying to make this game big. And, if you know, Al's just unbelievable. Upstate's unbelievable. And, and so, you know, we got a chance that we had a lot of people, you know, watching, tuning in last night. We continue that. There's going to be uh, huge money into this. We just got to all get together and, and make it happen. We can make it happen. I mean, these guys are, I mean, they're just, you know, the greatest. You know, you're watching two of the greatest of all times already. Yep. These two on guys. Three to two. Wow, we just getting into the match good, ain't we? Well, anyway, I want to give a good shout out to Miss Ara, Jason Shaw's wife. I don't know if she's up there. She told me if I said anything bad, she was going to hit me in the head. So I told her, you might as well go ahead and get ready to hit me because, you know, uh, anyway, I ain't going to talk about Jason right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's my man. I won't let him finish. Oh, but uh, <laughs> Johnny, there was a question in the chat. When you come down, what are you charging for lessons? Um, I think what I'm doing is a, uh, I think it's 150 an hour. Um, you know, and then if you want a couple hours, that's fine. Uh, I'll be trying to do them around – um, around over at uh, Holden's place. Uh, what's the name of that? Racks? Racks, right? Okay, or, uh, you know, I know Steinway's closed down. I know that. That was my old place. Um, and I think I'm going to hopefully do something uh, with Thorsten, hopefully at Amsterdam. So, Fantastic. Uh, Next time you're in the area, we'll have you stop in at Copper City Billiards. Copper City around here, right? Abs you said your place around here? Yeah, we're about yeah. 14 minutes away from Turning Stone. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I was here Wednesday night over at Brick House. I oh, was at Brick House Wednesday fabulous night. Place. Yes. Fabulous place. Fabulous yes. place. Good, good people over there. And thanks to my good friend Rebecca, or Rebecca Jean. She's from around the area. So uh, anyway, ooh, Fedor's putting the, putting the full money on this look now. See, I'd have to have my spectacles on out there, trying to look at the gaps. <laughs> That's all right, though. I'm ain't gonna be long. I'm gonna be getting Lasix, so. Y'all better watch out. All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, fed R. Let's go. Does he smash them or cut break again? He looks like he's hitting them solid. Yep, he hit them solid. See, now that's going nice. to be a – we're fixing to have a great match right yep. here, boys. Yeah, they're warming up that break. Yeah, they're getting ready to really get it done. <laughs> oh. See, I learned too late on the, uh, this tournament against Jason with uh, the cut break. I was trying to do it with my break cue. As everybody known, the, uh, <laughs> the break cue I got is the one that I played in the 90s with, the same exact break cue. What? Yeah, mace. So uh, the jump break is, uh, what? yeah, yeah, I've got it. It's, uh, it was in storage. It was in storage so. for 35 years, and I didn't know I still had it, and I found it. Wow. So uh, anyway, that was a good find for me. And they even got me playing with one of these black ones, black shafts. Um, except not full carbon fiber. See, I got the wood insert. See, I got half carbon, half wood. How you like that? He's 
cutting it back over to the left, ain't he? Yep, he sure did. Good shot. Wow, what a shot. Perfect. Now that was a good one there, boys. Good nice, shot. Nice, clean, slow mm -hmm. backstroke. Man, that was so smooth. Nine years he's won it. Not him. One no, no, no. Down. I, was, oh. I was answering a young lady in the chat. Oh, okay. Yes. N well, nine tournaments. Um, but uh, yes, he's uh, Jason's won nine times, and me and uh, me and old Shaney Pooh, we won at six each. Jason's just lapping us. <clears throat> and Fedor, he ain't he won it one time. This uh, last year he won it. I uh, won it last year. Okay. He's just hitting everything center now. Yeah. yeah. Dialed in. Yeah. This is going to be one great match here. I wish I was playing. Maybe I could shark him or something. <laughs> yeah, Fedder's uh, greatest element is, is composure. You know, you, you never see no. entirely any jittery movements or any fast movements. If everybody can watch his stance. Yeah. That's impressive. His stance, he's kind of half, he's kind of half pool stance, half snooker stance. Right. And that, that, that all everybody equates into straight. I mean, look at that. Good Lord. Boy, he's down there now. He's got it going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's got it going on. He almost got it on the way from him, but he's, man, he's got it going on now. His fundamentals is great. You know, he reminds me of. I love how he lays his, his right hand and his cue on the shot line and comes yeah. comes in and down on the shot. You know who he reminds me of? That who who um, had the greatest fund well, some of the greatest fundamentals of all time and just stance and everything to King King James Rempe. Oh, Jim Rempe. Yeah. Oh man, now he you want to talk about somebody never shoots the wrong shot and just great fundamentals was Jim Rempe. I'm sure I don't know if all the young people know. Yeah, I think that's uh, one thing that's that that we've seen grow a lot in, mm -hmm. in recent decades is is a lot of players are now learning based on watching all the old videos. Yeah. Shot selection. They, yeah, shot selection is huge. Right shots a lot yeah. more There's often nowadays. Going up four to four two. Four to two. Yeah, there we go. You want some popcorn, uh, Brandon? Uh, let me look in the comments here first. Comments? What's that got to do with L popcorn? L O L. Just kidding. Here, take some popcorn. I'm good. No, I'm all right. <laughs> Brandon, what about when I was playing Vandenberg over there? When I was playing Vandenberg. Oh, oh Vandenberg, and, uh, yeah. When that, when that match that I screamed at everybody. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, I know. They started talking about my wife. I didn't care for that too much. But uh, <laughs> I came back and chopped them. The best shot that I've ever made in my life was the hill hill shot when I played the safe on him. At Hill Hill, when I played Vandenberg 2012, it was it was the best shot I've ever made. So uh, y'all look, y'all check that one out on YouTube. I'm just letting you know that that was the greatest. Yeah. All right. This is the first time in the match we're seeing a little bit of a, a gap happening. Okay. Let's see Four what Fedor. Two. Let's see what Fedor, Fedor can. Is it Fedor or Fedor? Fedor. That's one thing I haven't I figured don't know, out. Fedor, yet. Fedor. I don't know exactly what, how do what you say Christine, it. How does Christina say it? She probably say it. I don't know. Wait, where's she from? She's need, from. She's need, from. Uh, I believe here. she was saying Fetter. 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 Right. Like F E D E R. All right, I'm gonna try to say that for now. Fetter. Brandon, you can't say nothing. Fetter. <laughs> I mean, let let the, let the real well, people if Ed talk. Ed Colhane was in the booth. He'd be drilling oh, me. Oh God. And, and Ed Colhane. He wears a accent or whatever he wants to call it. Yeah, he wears a pompadour hat. All right, four to two. Yeah, this is a little Fetter. bit of a gap, but go. he can he can stretch it out here now. Or I mean, two Let's games. Go Fetter. Jason, two games. Jason's and, my uh, boy, but I'm pulling for USA right now. Let's go, Fetter. Okay, everybody out there, I want to ask, who would y'all like to see on the Moscone Cup American uh, for next December? That's a great question. I'll tell you who I would like to see. Now, if you're asking me, I want to see what y'all say first, and then I'm going to tell you who I would like to see. So, Lord of mercy. We're fixing to have, okay, so everybody, whatever five you guys want, just, just start it up. See? Federer, he, he can stretch it out here now. Yeah. This is a dangerous time for Jason. Yeah, it's pretty much tic-tac-toe. Dangerous come, come time. Come forward, a little bit of spin, try to get straight in if you can. A little yeah. angle maybe helps. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this could be a... 
Whew, he can get away from him here now, Jason. Stun off a few this inches, is a keep, a, keep, a, keep a healthy angle, stun off on the five, one rail, back out to the center, keep a healthy angle as well on the six. I mean, one, once you're moving with momentum, you can start to subconsciously tell yourself where your cue ball needs to be for each shot because you're already thinking two or three or four shots ahead. Has anybody has anybody texted in the uh, the five players yet? I'm gonna tell you who I like. Yeah, there's a bunch of them coming through. We can't even keep up with it. A lot of SVBs in yep. there. A lot a lot of Fetter in there. Yeah. Yeah. A Skyler. Yeah, we're seeing Skyler. Skyler. The question is, is if you had to put like three U.S. teams together, who would they be? Four. Can't. Put four of them together and f you can't fight them against each other. You can't. Yeah, no. We don't I'm, have. I'm, a, I'm we just don't, saying. We don't have. My whole point players. is that we've got tons of players that are. Capable. Seen Rodney Morris and how put about in there? okay? I want everybody to listen to this team because I'm telling you, I'm I'm fighting to get on the team. All right, so how about Shane? Okay, Shane, Fedor, um, Skyler, me, and how about uh, Rodney or Thorpe? How about Earl? Nah, nah well, I mean, Earl's uh, anyway. <laughs> That's tough Mike, action. Let's put Mike DeShane back on there. Uh, he don't play anymore. He told me he don't play anymore. He's trying to gamble with me or something. Put he some, just sent me a message. Put some Josh Roberts up in there. Put some Oscar back up in there. Yeah, Oscar would be good. There's so many great players that would, that, that if they spend enough time in that light, they, how about, would, they, uh, would, they would come to the front and they would get their shine. How about uh, you know, how about Captain America coming back? Captain, oh, Johnny Archer, yeah. I didn't say that. Did. You did. Former Captain America. I'm coming. I'm back. And then Shane got it from you. And then Shane's Sky, my man. Sky took it from Shane. Sky no, is, Shane's Sky, still. Sky is Captain America right now. No, Shane's still. He's still the top dog. Yeah, for the Moscone Cup, Sky yeah. is Captain America right now. I don't know how you say that now. Well, I mean, he's. I mean, Shane, he's won world championship and all that stuff. You can't. Oh, yeah. If you yeah. look at, if you want to compare titles, I mean, we know that. Well, we'll, we'll okay. All right. That's all you can't compare. It was compare. a Moscone Cup comp. Huh? It was a Moscone Cup. Yeah. Thing. Scouters won MVP a couple times, but I mean. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Well, I like Shane as a, as a top player there. Anyway, well, I'm going to try to help the team as much as I can this year. How about that? Yeah, I think you'd be a good captain with all your experience in there. I ain't going to be no captain. Well, I mean, you can still play, of course. No, I ain't going to be no shit, playing captain shit. either. And, and you can't have no playing captain, man. That's, that was, that's too much work nowadays. I, I did, did it before. I didn't say that. I was just saying I think you'd be a great captain. I could still play a race to five. All right, who we got in the chat? Oh, B.J. Ushery. I just seen somebody say B.J. Ushery, right? Yeah, what a grind he had last year. B.J., I just played B.J. over in Greensboro, and he robbed me two sets. He sure did. Who out there knows BJ's uh, initials? Who, who knows his, na his name? I do. You know his initials? You know his name? BJ? Brandon? Um, BJ Ussery? Is no, his, his initials? Do I know his initials? No, his BJ. What's his, what they stand for? Oh, I'm not sure. How about Billy Joe Ussery? Billy Joe? Yes, sir. Billy Joe Ussery. There you go. Pretty See? cool. And, oh, Billy Jr., is that what it is? No, I think it's Billy Joe. Yeah, Jr. comes after the ushery. Uh-oh. Well, that's not bad. Where the two's at. That's not bad. 
Uh, what score now? Six two. People are Five still two. going off in the comments about all the Moscow and Cup team stuff. That's hilarious. It's oh. it's fantastic. It's I mean, we yeah, I love it. The United States has got so many great players. It's great. It's going to be so hard to pick. Yeah, it's just so Y'all much, know how so tough it drama is to, around to, to it. It's like the greatest thing in the well, world. Well, the team, the European team, they got they could pick from 20, 30 different people. Oh. We don't we don't have that luxury. Right now, we just don't have that luxury. I think we do. We got plenty of players that oh, can hold into being great on that scale. Well, you, here, when you start my look, I'll tell you what my team is right here. All right. Shane Wolford, Lucas Varner, Eric Roberts, Sky Woodward, Fedor Gorst. That's you, a grinding have done, team. Have you done lost your mind? You ain't put Shane in there. Shane can take a break after as bad oh, as he gosh. missed some of them balls. Listen, let me tell you something. Sorry, Shane. Let me just go ahead and tell you something. Being a, a leader and a follower is totally different. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you, Shane's the great, one of the greatest Americans. If we don't have Shane in there, y'all done lost y'all's mind. Hey, I mean, that's a that's a respectful opinion. Okay. Well, you talking about getting guys that's never played on the team? Okay, Shane or Fedor, either or. No, Shane and Fedor. Shane and Fedor. I was just trying to do some left field stuff, man, and put some young guys in there as my picks. I mean, just to make it interesting, okay? It doesn't have to be. Well, we just had young guys, didn't we, Wolford? No, but I'm just saying some of these guys are ridiculously talented, man, and I'd like to see. They, they'll have their know. time later. I know. I know this. We done lost four years in a row. We don't need to be taking their chances like that. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's talk about the match. How about that? Yeah, there you go. Let's get back to that. That's that's what I like to do best here. Call the shots. All right, he's got the carom on the eight. Okay. Controlling the, yep. the deuce is, is the main part here. I mean, you kind of want to go ahead and bank the deuce back down to the left corner pocket, you know what I mean, and, and, and keep it keep it near there and try not to overhit this a little bit. You might make the two on the long rail bank as well and be straight in on the four after you do that. He's going to have to come off the reel with it. Just he, make sure you have a plan for the deuce is, is the main thing here. Yeah, that is the truth. Yeah, the eight ain't going to be hard. He's going to draw it. Yeah, eight ain't going to be hard. Yeah, he's stuck. just going to draw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So he hit it too hard. Yeah, he hit it too hard. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Like, yeah. really, really put some energy. Actually, oh, no, he, he got, got perfect. Yeah, yeah, nice sure shot. Did, nice shot. Got rewarded. See, sometimes when you just shoot the right shot, you know, the, the, the layout will formulate in your favor. Jason's, I tell you what, this is a j dangerous time for Jason right now. Right. Fedor can really put some distance. Yeah, this know. is a big part of the match here. Yeah, this is this could be a, this match could be over four starts here in just a second if he runs the next uh, three or four racks. When that mm. gap starts widening. Yeah, it's tough <laughs> action. <laughs> if we win three or four from here and get it up to eight, nine to two, yeah, Jason's uh, tr in trouble. Okay. Yeah, he just tied the six up, though. Mm. That was a bad play, I think. He should have hit it kind of hard. Well, I guess if he hit it harder, he could scratch. Yeah, I think there wasn't much he could do with that. You know, he had to make sure to yeah. secure making the ball. And yeah. If he can get, if he can get close to where he is now, he might be able to draw back and create something. Or, you know, to be honest, I would just focus on keeping control and play the safety get on the six in, in, in a nice way if if they're if the six is not frozen to the seven then the safety yeah. is largely there if and the it, five's it, down there on the bottom part of it so you can, yeah. you can come out if it ain't froze yeah and if the six is frozen to the seven it's really hard to play out to that safety right there well he, the real good thing he's got going for him is the fives right there right. okay if it, if he was having to use the four to get back yeah he was in big trouble but with the five being right there, he can he can do some damage. Yeah, see, he knows he knows what he's doing to make this four and everything yeah. right now. He's already planning his five. That's right. Actually, I stand corrected. Billy Jr. Ustry is correct. I'm telling you. So, uh-oh, uh this ain't no good, I don't think. 
can still Ooh, be over. You got away with it. Yeah, he can he hit the nine. If he don't hit the nine there, boy, he's fixing to be dead city. All right, here we go. What did he decide to do? Because he's already kind of got his decision made. He has to get the ball out of there about he – he needs to draw it back about six inches to where he's full on the six. I mean, he's up 5-2. Do you think he's going to – I don't think he's going to go into it, no. I think that's dangerous now, trying to draw into it. Because if he misses it, is it dangerous. if he misses it, he's, he's dead meat. But he's sitting in that part of the pocket where you can use that low left here, and that English is going to complement the draw with the conditions right now. It's there. Well, the only, the only way I'd go into this if I can get to the bottom rail following it. Yeah, the distance the distance uh, in between the six and the seven is what determines the shot for me here, and I can't go look at it. We'll so see. Let's see. See, he's following. No, he's drawing. Okay, he's yeah, must he's be he there must be go. straight in. Feeling good. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is dangerous. Yeah, I thought so. Oh. Mm. Tough action. Well, I seen what, that coming a mile away. Mm. See, that's that's uh, well, yeah, yeah, that was just a bad play. He should have, um, if he had an angle going to the left, which it looked like he did, he could have followed out two rails and played it safe. He's gonna two rail this slow. No, he ain't gonna. He's going to that's side what rail. I'm doing. He's going to the side rail. Think so? Yeah. That's what he's looking at. Okay. Going to the side rail. Oh, I like slow rolling this real soft. Two rails clip that six. And okay, get now safe, he's looking at safe off. and roll up beside that seven ball. You know, that's what Efren would do no, probably. He ain't, going, he ain't going two rails. He's going one rail into it. No, he's going, well, I don't yeah. like the one railer. Too, too much too much heavy on that cue ball coming in one rail. If you go two rails, you clip it at a natural pace to get the safe. If he goes two rails, he's going to hit the seven and knock it out. Can't do it with two rails. Because if it was close to the side rail. Yeah, yeah I understand. I mean, it's, it, it's kind of there both both ways. Well, he's going one rail. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, he is going one rail at it. Yeah. Must be, there must be a little room in between the six and the seven. No, I think he's just trying to lag up on it. He's not, unless, the, I mean, the seven ain't dead, is it? Is No, it, it ain't dead up where his cue ball is, is it? No, it's going, it's going low. Man, Al, you got it cold in here, man. I'll tell you something now. You're Put all right. On. How do you know I'm all right? You're all right. Put your jacket on. I am. Well, you got a long sleeve, you idiot. You pinch me one more time. I'll pinch you. Don't let me get a hold of it because hey, Mika used to pinch me on my boobies all the time, and they hurt. You take it easy, pal. See, just one rail lag right into it. That's the right play right there. That was the right. That was the only play, really. The two rails wasn't there. See now he can clip it. He can put I him. He can put him in jail. The two was there, but well, yeah, but you can't. You it couldn't was do better that. Better than one railer. I agree. Okay. Good call. You're the legend here. Uh, well, the thing is, I mean, there's always a shot. There's always execution is uh, is the whole key. You can execute a bad shot and be perfect, or you can pick the right shot and don't execute it, and you're done dead meat. So. It's all about execution. You think he's going to try to hit this soft enough to get that six underneath the nine, or? Well, the, where's the uh, where's it? Uh, the tangent line lays, the tangent line lays like looks like it's toward the the uh, diamond under the nine. The tangent line. There's a lot of things that could happen here. Well, he's going to kick. He's going to kick and, and draw it, and the cue ball is going to stay on that top rail. If his cue ball was off the rail a little bit, he ain't got to draw it. A he, higher he can percentage just, to execute it. It's, it's going to be difficult from here. He's just going to follow it. Yeah, he's kicking. See, the cue ball, if he hits about half of the six, the cue ball will go to the top rail. The six will come down here. He's got a chance to get away from this. Careful not to overhit it. Oh, you see? Yep. Oh, boy. Mm, okay. He, he hit it too good. That was a little unfortunate. I thought it was going to go underneath the nine, the six there. Brandon, that's what you get for thinking when you ain't used to it. <laughs> or too much of it. <laughs> No, me and Brandon's good buddies now. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's his name? Blaine. Blaine, Blaine my yes, man sir. over here. What, what, yeah. Oh, my Lord. I'm letting, I'm letting the chatter go. I'm reading the comments. Jason, what is going on? Well. Jason, he did not do that on me last night. Good Lord, he made everything he shot at and shot my liver out. As Earl would say, one of the best lines I ever heard. He said, "I'm gonna shoot your liver out and hand it to you." 
That's what Earl said. I'll tell you what, he's he had chances to, you know, to stay in this thing. Fedor's going to. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's going to come right back out and just yeah. bring it right down the rail. Yep, he's just going to come. Come down to the uh, right, so probably stop short. Now here's a ball, if it skids, if he tries to hit it fat and it skids, it can go right in the drink. But I don't think so, he's uh, he's going across. No, see, so there you go, good shot, very good. Man, Jason had a chance to stay in this thing, didn't he? It's dangerous for Jason right now, well. Yeah. Yeah, Jason took the right break there now. He needed it. Yep. Yep. Regroup. Yeah, because cause he could really, uh, Fedor could really distance himself. He went to the next two or three, talking about nine or ten to two, shoot. When he only needs, you know, three games or something. Well, I guess I'm going to go. Take well, a quick I, break for a second let Al run, run well, some stuff. If I smoked, I'd go smoke. Update. Yeah, yeah, uh, just take a break for a second here. If I drank, yep, I'd go drink. Be back in a minute. All right, everybody. We're going to come back. Thank you all. Hey, folks, upstate here. I hope you're enjoying the match as much as I am sitting here uh, watching the match play a timeout and uh, Fred Augusto is, well, where is Fred I guess they both took a break at the same time. I have no clue what that is. Amaretto sour, I have no clue. Enjoying the match, not just Johnny out in the booth. Says Willie. All right, I don't know what's going on. I wish I could stay uh, on the mic. All right, guys. I'll, uh, I'll lock the doors so Johnny can come back in. All right, all right. All right, all right, guys. That's enough. Okay, I'll straighten it out. Okay, I got you. All right. Amaretto Sour is chick's drink. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'll have one anyway. <laughs> I know Amaretto Di Serrano, it's like a, a liqueur. That I know. What, a sour? Uh, Amaretto Sour. All right, what's the score here anyway? Thank you, Chris Freeman. Appreciate you. Hey, Aaron McManus. What's up, darling? Hope everything's good down there in the island. We're coming down there uh, this week coming, Aaron. If you're available, we'd love to have you in the booth. She's always sweet and always helping pool players and doing anything she can to make you feel comfortable. Thank you, Aaron. The chat's going so fast, folks. I, uh, I'm sorry if I don't see your comments and respond yes i'll please enjoy the stories but please have them talk about the match gotcha gene hunt my man not if i have to share with johnny <laughs> hey aaron boy you're being mean today aaron <laughs> i guess you have your reasons <laughs> i'm sorry that you feel that way <laughs> But we can turn it around, right? Hey, Jason's back up at the table. We're going to take this sign down. Johnny, uh, I'm gonna, Johnny, do you mind if I take over here? Yeah. Okay. Johnny minds. He said it's all right. All right, we're back to the match. Jason Shore at two. Fedor Goss, Fedor Goss at six. No, I, I wouldn't lie. You're here. Yeah, well, welcome back. You Thank you. Who said that? Well, they just said they Tyler said wasn't here? No, said I oh, Tyler. I said, Tyler, you, you are a no-show. Oh. 
We're trying to stir up stuff for a shuffle enough. All right. All right, Johnny's going to step out, folks, and I'm going to step in the booth here. Um, I don't know what transpired, but I see a lot of comments. Let's let's go. Let's turn it around. We got two world champions in front of us. Let's enjoy this. We want to thank the Turning Stone and all of you guys that have been supporting AZB TV. Love you all. Um, and I'm going to try to do the best I can. Uh, Tyler Steyer, I get it. Uh, Steve Montel. Yeah, I know Harry. Uh, Steven, I think if it's the Harry I know, uh, right now, Steven, I can't answer that question because I have some, uh, some other issues I have to deal with here. All right, we're going to, uh, let's go to the match, guys. Yep. Fedor Gorse set the break. We're going into rack nine. It looks like Fedor Gorse here is uh, in command, huh? Yeah, he's got a, well, we went through this earlier, too. Cue ball. Ah, uh, we, we did. We just went through this, didn't we? A little few hours ago in this match. Uh, Federer got up a bit, and uh, Jason. Jason comes shooting out of the chair before the cue ball dropped in the side pocket. Absolutely. I think he's a little excited to get to the table this time. What do you say, Chef Enough? All right. We're going to get Chef back in here. Yeah, he's taking a brief pause. Hey, Gene. <laughs> man, you guys, you guys are being brutal, man. Calm down. It's only a pool game now. All right, let's see what Jason can do here with this three ball. Wow, never mind what he can do. He's bobbled the three ball. Uh, All right, folks, Shuff is back. Welcome hey, back, Shuff. Welcome back, hey, Brandon. Hey, hey. That was the opening Jason needed, man, and another missed ball. What Jay, do we? I mean, uh, Brandon, do we have to turn you up a little bit? Can you put that mic a little closer? Sorry about that. There you go. That's there we perfect. go. There we go. How about you down there? Playing? Yeah, man. I think. Uh, okay, you're I think good. I'm all right. Sometimes you are I, all right. I try not to keep it too close because of the breath. Well, the people want to hear you. You can hear the air. I'd like to hear the air, and like, at least you know I know you're alive. There we go. Ah, <laughs> well, that's all cool, right, man. Th this is deep in the jaws. He's can't hit the point. If you hit the point, it comes out funny. He hit it just perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Brandon, how are you playing this four ball? Just make sure you stay on this bottom side of the five so you can have a natural roll back up table for the six. I can't agree more. You like to stay a little low on the five, right, yeah. like that? No, yeah. well, no that's careful. He started started to go a little too far, but he's still okay. No big deal. Yeah, I like it. Adam, it still does. Two rails it's back. All, yeah, it's all about just playing your angles and making sure you're running into your lines. I mean, that's. Oh, he went one. He just went right up the table. Yeah. Nice to shot. each his own. I guess, you know, what you feel like comfortable, right? Yeah, I mean, the the, shot it, you feel it, like? it's largely to do with a recovery mindset. You know, sometimes your cue ball doesn't always end up in the exact place that you originally played so you have to improvise right you either so sometimes you overrun it or underrun it right and you got to plan yeah. b comes into yeah, like effect. playing back into line getting back into line right you know, things like that all i know is i want mike siegel for captain of the uh, usa moscone team <laughs> man i don't know what to think about all that I'm just, <laughs> let me just i <laughs> just don't know anymore dude okay <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> you got to put the pretzels in the, in the I cheese every once in a while. Don't ever let me back there. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Wow. Yeah, I, I thought we had the firefighters in here putting the fires yeah, out just, already. I'm just pro, I'm pro shuff. I'm just pro shuff, all right? That's it. Look at Laura Berg go, I what? Wish the best for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's an individual sport. <laughs> um, boy, I can stir up a spark. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right, Jason Shore is in trouble here, guys. I mean, but I've seen him in worse predicaments where he does come back. Uh, I'd like to see it go, you know. One thing's for sure. You we know need me. Joe Rogan for commentary at the Moscow. <laughs> I'll grab a taffy. Like <laughs> you know, I can't, I can't agree more. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thanks again for the stream. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, believe it or not, you guys didn't hear me cough, right? So I think I'm on the road to recovery. That's one road I haven't taken within the last three years. So I think I'm doing good. <laughs> 
Blaine? Yes, sir. Where is your pool room exactly located we so people are, know? Uh, th Copper City Billiards, 322 East Chestnut Street, Rome, New York. We're only 14 minutes uh, here from Turning Stone Casino. A room full of diamonds and uh, nice. a lot of, nice. lot of great things there. Rome, New York. Yeah. Copper City Billiards. These gentlemen came here and uh, donated their time and sat. All the owners were in the booth. It was a great, great commentary. I, I listened to it last night and I went to sleep. <laughs> well, that tells me we might have been boring. <laughs> well, no, I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I heard my voice, I closed my eyes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Checking the rack one more time. I always got this uh, feeling that when people check the rack like that, if you really push the cloth a little bit with your hand, you could cause it your own problems. Hmm. Well, this is kind of similar how things were going in the hot seat match. And... We're going to need to see something turn around for Jason to get his opportunity here. Yeah. Does oh. he have it twice in him? I'm Does he have a chance at this rack to get out of his seat is I'm the question. Ryan, thanks for uh, thanks for the nice words there. We appreciate it, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in there again. What do you think, Brandon? This is uh, out the door easy, or what do you say? Because the five ball's out there, the 6-9. Six, well, six goes across to the other corner. Yeah, it's uh, not much. It speaks for itself a little bit here. Give oh. yourself a little angle on the four so you can get in perfect position for, I mean, stop shot on the five, connects right to the six. Give right, take, that's what I'm saying. And then it connects to the seven, too. Yeah, everything. Curtis, we do. Uh, just message us on Facebook. We'll mail it to you, whatever you need. Don, yeah, we look forward to having you in there. Nice shirts, by the way. I do have one. Yeah, we brought a bunch out here. Kim Young, absolutely glad you're in the chat. We can't wait to see you in a couple weeks at Copper City Billiards. Where's Johnny at? Is he coming back? Do we want to get someone else in here? Maybe, Johnny maybe said he's going to be back in five minutes. I oh, sent three I boys say, after him to keep him busy. I was, oh, about, to, I was I about to say maybe we can get Christina <laughs> back in here or something. Oh, we, we where is she? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm cool. With, I mean, whatever. I'm, it's not my decision. I was just saying. I think she did pretty good commentary. I was listening a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah she uh, did a great job. Christina and Pancake, uh, actually, uh, oh, Pancake is no longer in the building as far as I understand. I just got the word. Yeah, no biggie, no biggie. For those of you guys messaging in the chat about the T-shirts and stuff, just hit us up on Facebook. It's uh, Copper City Billiards on Facebook. We're more than happy to work with you there and get them to you. Or you can go to the website, uh, www.coppercitybilliards.com. There you go. Yeah, Brandon, this is just a roadmap that we were talking about right from here. Get a little low on the six, I'm huh? I'm all about whoever wants to get in the booth, you know. I mean, there's – commentary is a really cool thing. You know, you can get – Absolutely. You know, everybody's got different insight, different opinions, different things happen in the happening in the industry, different uh, levels of support. And there's right. just so much happening right now. The sport's growing, blowing up, man. You know, let's get more people in there, you know. That, that's my – that's my thing. I'm not favoriting anyone. There you go. I try not to, at least. Oh, thanks for sharing that, Pete. No, I can't agree with you any any more there. Unless I have a dead obvious reason to, you know. <laughs> Stop. <man. laughs> you got to play both sides, baby. The fact right, that. Uh, it's eight to two. Good Lord. Steve Lomax giving a shout out in the comments. What's up, Steve? I got Steve Lomax. What beautiful Q work. Yeah, OG Q maker right there. Yeah. One of the goats. Fedor making quick work. Yeah, I'm I'm Fetter. I'm I'm whole <laughs> I'm over here hoping uh, Shaw puts together a pack or so here. I'd like to see this get a little tighter and go a little longer just for you fans to watch this match. Um, just two two great athletes and advocates for the game. You know, getting you guys to, to watch a nice long match, would it's just a blessing for all of us. Yeah, I tell you what, you know, everything that's happening in the pro world, especially on the international scene, you know, these are two of the hottest guys in the world right here. Two of the top three, in my opinion. The other one's Josh Fielder. I and I then, agree. And there's certainly a few others that are in that mix as well. 
you know. It's kind of hard to say that there's just one, <laughs> or you can't really say that there's one, you know. Yeah, but the best part is, is these guys are just normal guys. You walk up to them, shake their hands, oh, say yeah. hello. Yeah, that's the best part about it. It's as we said earlier. There's no other sport in the world you can do this. That's right. That break is just moving. Yeah, and even though this isn't a WNT points event, it still carries the prestige with it. You know, it's the Turning Stone title. Long-standing event. Yeah, starting off the year right. You know, and uh, what's what's the next big event? Oh, uh, the Mini Derb at the rail yard. I, I just saw that today. That's coming up in a few days. Uh, the Sword Brothers put that on out there. Uh, I've been seeing that grow some traction over a uh, recent year or two. And then the Derby. That's where I'll be at next. Yes, sir. Well, I think we'll all be there. Yeah, looking forward to that. And the Stream Syndicate on the, the bottom 16 floors. Absolutely. The Digital Pool Stream Syndicate. That's just an amazing thing that's happening right now in the industry. Uh, if, you, if you don't know anything about that, uh, keep your eye out for it. Or, or come down and put it on your bucket list. Yeah, or come down and put it on your bucket list. Or That's yeah. one thing Copper City's really looking forward to is all of our tables streamed for all these fans to be able to watch whatever game they want when it's happening. There you go. Options are a beautiful thing. All right. Where's Johnny at? Are we getting him back in here? I'll go try to, you want me to try to find him? Break out the four here. Oh, Brandon, oh, you want me to find him? Man, nice try. No, 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 it's not a big deal. I was just. Just checking. Just checking. That would have been an incredible shot if he clipped that six. He certainly was playing it. This is no, this is no easy task from here. I mean, he does have the slight angle to try to cheat that corner pocket and draw up where he just pointed where yeah. his finger is. Yeah. He's got that angle. If he gets there. We're going to just give him the keys to the car. Yeah, you know, you th know, there's a little bit of slide involved in this shot. You know, I mean, you're pinching it back, but you're going to use a little bit of inside. If if you can get by that five and spin out, he can create a shot. He might come directly into the six here. No. Yeah, there's a couple options that he could do. I think it's a little sh yeah. too straight, to, but he like thinks he can the get way there. He's, he's looking right now. That's, that's play it a inside. little further away from the four, you mean? Yeah, play it with inside. And then just stick them there behind the six for the bank? Yeah, a little Actually, bit. Actually, you can bank the four. Low, low left here. Hey, Brandon, how about this? Draw back there and then bank the four. Two-way shot. Stick the cue behind the six. Mm, uh, it was oh, a little yeah. too See, straight. He, yeah, he needed to be on the other side of that. Yeah. Uh, good effort, though. Nice try. Well, if you're Jason sitting in the chair, that's what you wanted to see. Yeah, absolutely. He'll be back to this table if Fedor doesn't kick and make this ball quicker than a moth to a flame. The cue okay. ball may not have stopped, and Jason will be at the table. Do I know who won the second chance tournament? I really don't, to be honest with you, James. I could find out. One second. I'll find out for you. I think he's just going to, I mean, what do you do here? Let me think. I mean, you could probably. Dave Fernandez won a second chance tournament. Sorry, Brandon. Oh, that's all right. Go ahead. I mean, can he, can he cross this back over and use enough spin to hold his rock behind the six? I don't know. Quite welcome. From this view, that's a, that's a tough call. You might call me crazy, but you could kick one rail at this and kick and stick draw back under the four from the kick. What's up, Bo? Good to see you out there. Well, if you put enough spin on this, it's possible. Oh, wow, what a shot. Oh, man. That's nice tough. little creation. I mean, you got to go for something there. <clears throat> there was a lot of players that didn't show up for the turning stone uh, due to the weather or whether it be, you know, medical or financial reasons. Only a couple, though, like Bruce Carroll. I'm used to seeing him here. I can't think off the top of my head a few other people. All right, time for the Shaw Show. This is his opening. Well, yeah, this is his opening is right. 
He better start dancing, baby. Put those keys away. He's we still got time. Yeah. Jason's in right now his slow mode. Uh, and as he progresses in sinking balls and gets loose, smart moving. I tell you, the, the, the strategy of being a pool player is astronomical. I mean, it, if you see the detail like that, that he looked like he was just in a slow-mo, right? Like you're watching a slow-motion film, and all of a sudden he'll keep going, and the next thing you know, he's, his rhythm is 900 miles an hour. Yeah, you can see him build on it. Yeah, you, you know, because he wants to loosen up. He's sitting in that chair quite a while. And Brandon knows. That, and that's a superpower to have as, yeah. as, as a top player. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And then again, I see other players, Brandon, not to cut you off again. Oh, you're right. Where they come out and they, you know, like Shane just turns off the uh, the ear, what do you call it? Oh, hearing Shane aid? Shane turns off his hearing aid. Oh, and man. He go, and he goes into monster When he mode. does that, just break down your cue and run. Yeah. He goes on a tear. Yeah, he said that in the 60 Minutes interview. That Did that, he? That, that, that's a, that, that's a, a benefit to him. Right, Or it's right. an advantage to him. right. Know, we were, a lot of us were saying that for a while that we think you know, a lot of people were using earplugs yeah, after a while. It, it's good to go quiet. Yeah. So you can you thank can you for sharing, Jerry. And if one of your senses is hindered, then another one would get stronger, so you could feel things a little better, maybe. Who's commentating with Brandon Al and Blaine, the owner of Copper City Billiards, right here in Rome here. Kerry McCullough, well known to us, sat in the booth many times from the New England area. Great guy. Louis Vuitton line of sneakers. I can't afford them. I'll tell you the one thing you're going to get is a good wreck. A good wreck. <laughs> a good rack. You think upstate's under the sleep deprivation? Yes, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, you guys have been running hard the last yeah. few days. Good job, though. Yeah, thank you. Without you guys, I don't think we would have made it. What are you talking about, man? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you would have gotten through it. <laughs> Listen, yeah, we would have got through it, but not having this much fun. Love having you guys in the booth. Thanks, man. All right. Rack number 12. Here we go. Shaw back in it. Well, he's going to stay in it, yeah. He's going to stay in that mode for a little while until he feels comfortable again. Not that he, does, you know, he doesn't feel himself when you, that score, that score plays on your mind, man. There you go. Did I just see Jeffrey and SEO in there? Oh, no. Yeah, this is a nice table to start with. The 3-6 is the, I guess, the shot to go with, right? I mean, there it is. That's the key shot. No, you want to come out to the center of the table, maybe bump. Well, no, what I'm saying is yeah. that's the key shot to the rack. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think he uh -oh, was uh -oh. maybe. Perfect. Yeah, Jason I think he just wanted happy. to stay over there past the seven underneath the side. You have, you have a big window there to work with the pattern. He overhit that six to 12 inches or so. A little tester here. I mean, he's going he's gonna to have to roll this one forward. Try not to keep his cue ball frozen to the rail. You don't want to hit it too slow. Let me see what kind of angle. Really, not much here. you can do. I mean, you got to slow roll it, but you got to get some at least three revolutions out of the cue ball to have a decent shot here. Yeah. You know, you got to go see. up table. Yeah, let's see how he plays it. He might go all the way up to the short rail. I don't know. I I probably might go up to the short rail and just come back just a little bit. But you're you're yeah. jacked up here. Yeah, I mean. but then you're doing a little too much, you know, playing it one rail out, keeping your cue ball off the rail. Uh, yeah, so he did what well, he did choose to go up top. Tough, tough, tough. I think he might have got a little fortunate for now. I think that three is blocked by the four, so he might have another shot at the table. It depends on uh, Mr. Fedor. Think he's going to roll up on top of the four and play the simple safe? Simple Simon says the distance like between the cue ball and the three is kind of hard to do, but he might be able to do it. Yeah, as steady as he is, though, it's it's a Perfect. it's a viable shot. Well, he, he only have to do that. He can go to rail and then come back behind the four. You know what I mean? And let yeah, it go yeah, a little bit. That's right. He could do that too. 
he could bank the three over underneath the eight and the nine and come one rail on top of the four. There you go. I don't know if he can get the three underneath there from where he's at. I don't know, man. Commentator's angle. Let's see what he does. Hmm. He could play the combo, too. Yeah, he's winging out all the but shots. That's just that's too much. When you're up eight to three, you gotta you gotta play smart here. I want to thank a couple of people here. What did he do? What did he do? I missed it. He used the four to keep the three there, uh, okay. and then tried to put his cue ball onto the other side. Smart. Yeah, He's not going to like his shot after this one, though. Behind the eight ball. That was a good selection of a shot, though. Yeah, it was. I didn't see that one. Didn't even dawn on my mind. Are you kidding? That's too advanced for me. I want to thank uh, Lawrence J. Stock. Hi, Al. Had a friendly conversation in Virginia. Mostly you and Polish jokes. IQ Masters and international. Great coverage. Lots of fun. Hey, thank you, Lawrence. Appreciate that and your generosity. Jameson Daniels, thanks for the stream. Thank you, uh, Jameson, for your graciousness and your donation. Sean Jeremy, thank you. Jeremy, thank you, Sean. Johnny's fine. He was just breathing heavily into the mic and not discussing the match. You are better. Just saying. Good content. <laughs> oh, my God. John, you're going to get slapped in the back of your neck when you get back. All right. Diane Brooks. Thank you, Diane Brooks, for your generosity. Turning Stone Nine Ball Tournament. Thanks. Appreciate the kind words. Gordon Vanderveer. Thank you, sir your graciousness and donation and uh, Sean Brown thanks for all you do okay guys look at that I got that in there it's meant to be thank you everybody appreciate you tonight we're going out to have a hot dog and a soda taking Brandon but he can't eat hot dogs cup of coffee on cup the corner cup of coffee cost a quarter <laughs> Put a, park the car over there I gotta stop what? hanging out with you guys look at this jump bank Jump kick, I mean. Nobody hits him better than that boy oh. right there. What a shot. Wow. wow. Nice shot. Wow. <laughs> and killed the rock. Hit it with reverse. You know what I mean? Yeah. To kill it a little bit. Yeah, good shot. Man. Hey, John. I'm going to smack you in the back of your neck. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> All right, Jason. Let's go. This is Jason's inning, man. It's got every sign. Like this on a normal basis, Jason would run these right out the door. Correct? Absolutely. All right. I'm right, glad we're on the same page. Hi, Donna. Donna from FLA. What's up? Tell Kevin I said hello. And my man, Gio. What's up? We'll see you next week, brother. Bringing Shuff with me too, he, just in case somebody starts any trouble down there. We're throwing Shuff alpha bait and we're running. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. I'm gimp right now. I got the bum knee. He sure does. Johnny, you know I love you, brother. Thank you, Tommy. Hey, Curtis. Uh, I I believe we responded to you on uh, on Facebook. Well, Shaw's might start catching that gear now. We might stretch this thing out a little bit. Hey, Jody. Man, I, get, I hope I get down to see you down there in FLA, too. What do we got? What's the score? 8-4. Jason Shore now in control of the box. 
What I meant to say before was you're going to get a good rack from Fedor. He believes in karma. He's a true champion. And we'll give you a good rack all the time. In the box, my man Elvis. I got some good news. I heard a, a Q-Stick company wants to talk to Brandon Schuff, right? Yeah, I got a note on that, uh, Copper City. We're going we're gonna to try to help Brandon out here. Beautiful. Not that he needs it, but, you know. He needs it. We all need it. He needs it. Trust me when I tell you. He might be modest and say it's all right, but he needs it. Yeah. I think, you know, Copper City might even be willing to I jump in on I that one and help I out. I ain't desperate. No, he's not desperate. <laughs> no. Let's just stop that right now. <laughs> well, nobody <laughs> said you're desperate. Who's ever mentioned that? What Robbie is in there. Listen, we're all in this to <laughs> shake each other's yeah. hand and grow What's the game. On? Yeah, I'm, I'm. Listen, I am grateful when I put a team together and when people show interest in me. It's just such a big world out there. You have to. Sometimes I'm overwhelmed by the support I've already received in in my career. You deserve. And you know the Q sponsor is a big deal, so you have to take your time and be careful with it. And, you know, I've got a solid 20 years left to play in. So when I get with somebody, it's it's about loyalty and long term and uh, growing and things like that so i can't agree we'll more. see what happens with the molding and and i appreciate how anyone tries to support me so let's go baby but absolutely and any of these players of these tournaments even the young up-and-comers that are you know through tap apa <coughs> bca we we certainly want to work together with them and we want to help them yeah man. so anything we can do we'll uh, we'll do it at copper city yeah, I'm, gl I'm glad it kind of got brought up here. So I'm f feeling pretty humbled about it, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway. You're a straight uh, G, John says. Yeah, he know that. He know that. <laughs> so I respect how Fedor's going to the grind here for this rack because he knows how important it is to just do it one time and get out of there. Right. You don't want to sit there and, you know, keep re-racking back and forth with the guy, you know? Yeah, run it clean once. And yeah, yeah, get get up there, do what you got to do, rock them good, and get out. Yeah, I'll have a couple of beers at the Motif on me. Kerry McCall. Look at oh, Nine ball loose. Hey, Kerry, thank you for your... And we oh. got a v slight view of the two, but thank not much. No thank love. you, Kerry. Have a, have a beer or two at the Motif. Wish I could join you. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Kerry for your support. Appreciate you, man. Cheers from Scotland. Who is this? Colin Inkster. Wow. Scotland. Thank you, Colin. Rosanna Ram Ramirez. A friend. Thank you, Rosanna. I'm actually texting with the love of my life at the same time. Uh, Ryan Oso. Hey, I know Ryan also. Look at this shot. Thanks, Al. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate you. How'd he hit it? Well played. Nice shot, Jason. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Oh, wait, one more came in. Lawrence Kalb from Larry and Shirley. Thanks, Al. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. I know. Texting yeah, you, with the love yeah, of my a, life. You're getting yeah. a lot of a lot of love with the show, Al. <coughs> well, it's a good job you're doing, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. A lot of work. Class A work. Thank you. Appreciate the kind words. We all see what Fetter does to get out of jail here. I think he's playing to make it. Hit it perfect. That's a great ball. Nice shot. <laughs> that was absolutely world class. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm mean, it can't. I'm sorry. It can't get any more smooth than <laughs> that. Love the love of my life. I'm texting her. <laughs> just one of them. <laughs> That's all right. Don't worry. We just watched Fedora hit the greatest match of the tournament. I Craig mean, the greatest, shot, the greatest of shot of the tournament so far. I'm sorry, guys. It's no, right. it's it's okay. You entertain yourself over there. <laughs> yeah, ain't no thing. <laughs> she gets my heart beating too fast. 
the best shot. But the good thing is we have a recorded and we can play it back. <laughs> I think the shot here is to try to draw out, but I can't tell if he can get miss the five or not. I mean, it's a little bit of a distorted angle. I mean, he's going to have to. What are you talking about? The table to, is, yeah. is rectangle. It's he might have to roll forward. No, he's loading up. For yeah, he's going around the six, maybe. Yeah, he's going to draw. Oh, he's not going up table? Yeah, he's going around oh, the six ball. Going, going by, yeah, nice shot. Yeah. Beautiful done. Beautifully done. I guess he had more angle than I could tell. Well, I got monitorized like a lizard. So I could see it. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, yeah. I was, you got I, I was just looking at this one view here, yeah. Yeah, you got a clearer monitor over there. You should be all right. Do you ever get your eyes checked? Not yet. Not yet. You might want to just I check don't them need out. It. I got that. What do you call it? You eat a lot of carrots. <laughs> you ever see a rabbit with glasses? The beta carotene. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to get into Brandon Schiff's <laughs> chemicals. This this guy knows every ingredient no, in no, any kind of thing. Chemicals are not organic to the earth. So I don't want to talk about it right now. So no, <laughs> Let's no, stop no, right I don't here. Do anything with chemicals, yeah. buddy. We're watching two of the world top I'm, players. I'm holistic. All right, let's watch two of the top players here. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Daniel Hickey. Appreciate you. Look at this. Smooth. Yeah, it's smooth is right. Well, Going I mean, to nine here. I'm pro USA, let's go, but you know, I'd like to see a comeback from Jason a little bit. I like pulling for the underdogs. That August. Nice out, buddy. Zuglin is very strict about the rules and keeping everything the same. Correct, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, that's uh that sounds like Zuglin. But if everybody got together and all agreed on the same rule, then come to. talk to him. That's what yeah. he usually says. Then he'll follow suit. <laughs> and I don't blame him for saying that. And I think any other tournament director would say yeah. the same thing. You know, if, and, and I think it's a win-win. There is no more players uh, meeting. Yeah, I mean. Take out an hour or two of each tournament. And the younger folks, the younger players will follow suit because they'll know all the rules from the beginning and the dress code to every tournament. I think we can change things like that. But that's just my point of view, which... Maybe it doesn't mean much, but I'd like to see it. If you look back in the, the olden days when they used to play on ESPN, and they were dressed in suits. On the, you know, when you had Howard Corsell and whatever other announcers making the, uh, the calls. That's one thing you're always guaranteed to get with pool is class. I like that class. Different levels of it, but hell yeah. I mean, I think Fedor's dressed perfect for pool right here. Just like a golfer would go out with uh, a hat on and, you know, whatever, uh, depending on the day. And take a look at Jason. I think they represent the game in a proper way. Bang. Wow. I got to turn these earphones down. He almost blew the eardrums out of here. We got microphones built under the table where people announce. We got somebody under the table counting the balls with the magnetic... <laughs> you guys have got me going. Stop, man. <laughs> <laughs> With the chemicals. <laughs> That's a funny story. With the electromagnetic rigged table. We ought to turn that, that and the chemical conversation into the podcast version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going. We're going to get Natalie on the podcast. Somebody in the comments said Fetter owes Jason this whooping from the Moscone Cup or something like that. I forget who said that. Well, the last time Jason was here, okay, uh, he took Let's seventh. Jason took seventh the last time, right? He did. Yeah. Hey, Robert, a big shout out to Sullivan Orange County. Got some players up here from that area, from the Newburgh area. Speed. How was the speed right there? I don't know. I, don't th I think he went a little farther than he wanted to. Go to side pocket. Perfect. 
would have to say so. Could have been a little further. Maybe he wanted to be straighter, like just ball in hand position. <laughs> what do you think there, Blaine? <laughs> it looked originally he was setting it up to go into the corner, not the side. Oh, is that right? Marty got a lot of snow up there, Marty. How much snow did you get around the car? Thank you for letting everybody know where we are, the Turning Stone Casino and Resort right here in Verona, New York. Thanks, guys. Look at the speed here, too. My man Muhammad Ali in the comments giving a shout out. Love you, brother. What's up, bro? The meme maker. I like your TikToks and all that stuff you put out. He's an interesting guy. Yeah, I, I like him. First time I met him was at Steinway when he come over. Hey, Jax, I miss you too. Jax from Virginia. We did a dinner. Yes, we did. Look at the angle. Just enough to just move the cue ball in a natural way towards the seven. Look at this. I don't really like doing this. The, re the reason why that's the shot is because the rails cushion your cue ball and your brain is like at the cue ball with the rail. So it's kind of slowing it down. You, he, you can stay pinned mm -hmm. to that rail easier with position than rolling your cue ball out into an open area get it yeah it's a good aiming point too yeah you know? yeah it's, it's it's not it's a little easier i guess so to say where's my next stop racks long island new york gloria jean that's where i'll be next weekend next time you come i will go with bobby oh i sorry jacks the comments go by so quick Wish your next tournament out. Okay, Rax, Long, West Hempstead, Long Island, for the KC Memorial. What's up, over cash. Jeff, I'll see you at Derby. Hey, Mr. Collins, Joe Collins, owns the biggest Black Angus farm in Pennsylvania. I'm coming by with a chainsaw. I'll take a half a cow. Oh, Bobby's on the feed. Yeah, Bobby Chamberlain's taking us out to dinner. We're going to Captain George's. Nice spin. Perfect. Yep. Absolutely. Hi, Bart. Someone said we got one of the co-brothers in the chat. That's pretty awesome. All three of them are in there. Oh, really? That's awesome. Even the small one. Welcome, Who's guys. the tallest one? <laughs> Thanks for giving us wow. some, some love from Asia. Got our gorse, and now making this look like a, an exhibition, right? Yeah. Putting on a show. Yeah. From the looks of it, so far, he will not be denied. Tyler Staya. Stop, man. I'll see you when I see you, okay? <laughs> you guys eyeballing my messages over there. Tyler. You guys are brutal. Tyler's brutal. <laughs> Tyler, every time I open it up, these guys can see my messages, too. <laughs> yeah, careful, Tyler. Be careful what you say, buddy. Or else I have to shut them down at that end. <laughs> Shaw getting spanked. I don't know about Shaw getting spanked. It's not over yet. I've seen Jason in many predicaments come back from deficits like this. And he already came back from a deficit from Fedor. Better. Now, Better is really you start big. breaking like that and your one ball is going up to the corner. Yeah. It's hard to fade it. Well, the only thing uh, there you go. Jason's got working for him is that... Five, eight, and seven, maybe even the two ball. Yeah. 
think he's going forward two rails in between the two eight here. I like him coming back across the table and playing the two in the same pocket as the one if he's got the angle. I think he does. Uh, he's, he might go forward. You like forward? It might be either one. Yeah. But right. I like playing this forward. I like using the rails. All right. Playing the two in the side or the corner, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Whatever may feel more smooth. You know, I like going through with inside here and making it, and it feels a little more smooth than to pumping and creating the angle if I had we to. We don't need to swear in here, so. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's going to force this one out. Wonderful. Nice shot. I will be there at the expo part. He hit that so good. Always fun seeing you and Clayton down there. A little, little bit of difficulty with, with, with that type of shot sometimes. But what did he do, come back across table? Yeah, yeah. carbon fiber hits those shots really well, I noticed. I used a carbon fiber shaft for about a year and a half, and I advanced pretty pretty well with those type of shots. But when I went back to the wood shaft, I was struggling with them. <laughs> the flexion in it? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was an experience. Uh, we can go to Captain George's anytime I'm yeah, available so to shot, shot selections can change, you know, based on carbon fiber and I, wood. I'm absolutely learning that now. I just uh, just switched over to carbon fiber, so okay. it's uh, definitely a learning curve. Yeah. I can't wait to get back to the carbon fiber. Got a little bit of an angle needed to draw straight back. You're welcome, Paco. Is yeah, that's the one in Virginia, Gene. <laughs> you got to go there. It's it's the dead nuts. If you like seafood, it's the dead nuts. Oh, they make everything. They got barbecue ribs and all. I'll look at your phone. Okay. Yes, Rax next weekend. I will be there, uh, 13th and 14th. Someone eating candy? It's Good driving shot. you nuts. Is anybody eating candy? No, it's popcorn. <laughs> oh, maybe it's me when I had a taffy. I've been chewing on a saltwater taffy quite a bit. My throat is feeling a lot better. Apologize if, uh, if it sounds a mess out there to you guys. Another clean out here by Fetter. What is this? Closing the gap. Yep. Here we go. It's cold outside. I guess we might need to warm the car up. All right. Two more to get the job done. Absolutely. Still a long way to go, obviously. Wow. Well, but with winter need, breaking. We, we need to get Jason back to the table before we can start saying that. Yeah. That's uh, – and Fedor is going to do everything in his power not to let that happen. Oh, I absolutely believe that. And with winter breaking, this could be over in two snaps. Where's, where's, i got to text somebody, guys. Two seconds. Setting <laughs> – Good. I don't think the one goes past the six, though. He might have clearance. I'm not sure. Mark Lee, thank you for your uh, yeah, I don't think generosity. Thanks for allowing Fedor to stream on his channel, even for Hot Seat. 
Super good vibe and good karma to you, sir. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it, Mark. Yeah, Fedor is a very respectful person. He always asks. What I don't like is when people set up cameras and just say, hey, I'm going to stream this. He, he's such a great guy. Is he Come. streaming from his device? He was. Oh, I don't uh, know is if he's he, Is he in the syndicate? Oh, he no, he's not doing the finals? No, oh. he was doing the, the ones the earlier. The hot seat, yeah. Oh, from his own tripod? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, Daniel cool. Kingston. Cool. Daniel Kingston, thank you. First time tuning in was last year. Thanks for helping grow the game. Appreciate you. And thank you for your... Dave Sempress. Are you kidding me? You know, Dave, I'm going to give you a fat lip. <laughs> this guy did me <laughs> such a favor by picking up monitors and then gives a is donation he, to is me. Is he playing the combo? Thanks for letting me Might climb be. past like there and <laughs> see you soon. Nice try. Nice try. <laughs> I don't blame you going for it. I mean, I told know, Eddie to have him downstairs. 11 to 4. You yeah. got a little space. Yeah, you're closing in on, oh. on finishing the set, you know. Go for yeah. it. It's lined up straight. Dave, there is a secret to those steps, that's though. A, that's what you call a spirit breaker if he makes it. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> you're brutal. Thanks for the Thanks for the All hard right, work. All right, Jason, let's go, Appreciate dude. everything you do. Come John on, Mulligan. John Mulligan, thank you, John. Let's go, boy. I have to thank these people, Brandon. Yeah, I know. I Matt know. Dolan, that's, that's thank you, sir. Game. Appreciate it. You could probably spend the whole show thanking everybody. Not yet. <laughs> I, I would like to get to that point. Travis Garrison, thank you, Travis. He says, thank you, Al. Oh, shish kebab. Shish kebab. Absolutely. Rail and first, rail first, just kick it in, bro. Yeah, you gotta let the arm out right here. I don't think you, I don't think you'll hit the five, but if he plays it soft enough, you can go in between the seven and the nine. Come maybe, on, Jason. Maybe hit the nine, and maybe run into the seven like he's looking at. Yeah, well, if it's he runs square into the seven, it's okay. It'll stop to put a four, but yeah, it's worth it to go after this. Be careful not to hit it too good and go underneath the seven. And Come on, make it, it hill yourself. hill. Make it hill hill. Fight for your right. Oh. That's what I was afraid oh, of. Oh, drag. Oh, no, he, he made it. Good. He, he got it. Good. He, got nice. it. he got it. All right. Well, this I, I want to see a Hill Hill match here. here. Hill Hill match coming up, folks. Folks, don't leave your seats. Yeah, don't leave yet. Uh-oh. Oof. Oof. Used all the pocket. Nothing wrong got, with that. Let's got go. a little slide there. That helps. Mark Seven White. ball's in a little funny spot. You, you kind of want to be in the center of the table there and just kick it in. One game at a time. He's deciding now. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's eating salad? <laughs> oh, your sister was hearing us chew? Guess who's, uh, uh, you know... <laughs> Everything going here. You guys are great. <laughs> what a shot. Yeah. That's Barely had enough room for it, and he hit it perfect. Nice out. Oh, it's a little off the rail. That's it's good to go. <laughs> Katie, I'm going to kill you, Katie. Staying alive. Katie, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Jason at five, looking to climb that ladder to make it 11-11, and then we go into a safety battle three times each. I feel it coming. Paul Dryden just came down. He says, my sister is, is listening, and she says it sounds like somebody's chewing on salad. <laughs> that was either me or Brandon. Folks, after so many hours, <laughs> you know, you have to eat something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These, you guys uh, sit here all day. Yeah, it's okay. uh, got to eat a little bit. The gentleman who just spoke actually brought in some homemade chili, which was the the bomb. Well, thank you. I gotta I gotta keep my family fed too. I snuck off earlier and made it, and want to make sure I keep it. You know, thank share you. it with the boys here. Appreciate, appreciate. I can't even talk. Appreciate <laughs> you. Nobody in the USA wants Shaw to win. What do you mean nobody in the USA wants Shaw to win? I want Shaw to win. I want to see a, a hill hill game. I have no horse in this race. May the better man win. May you get the rolls and win the trophy. And the big prize, 10 grand for a weekend ain't bad. I have to say that's a nice payoff. 
One ball, one game at a time. Sounds like a TV show. One I just day got, at a time. Just got a shout out from the house. They sent some food out, and it uh, it was delicious again. See that? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I don't get leftovers. Here we go to the break. Watch the eight ball, which is the wing ball, straight in the pocket. The cue ball kind of oh. gets low, oh. and he's safe behind the Nina. The Penta and the Anta Maria, is that how it Santa goes? Maria? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, well, that was funny. That's so scary. Yeah, he unfortunately didn't get the pop on the cue ball there that he wanted. How about roll out to the, maybe the, oh, somebody's text messaging me. Okay, I'm sorry. Pete, I remember you, brother. This guy's a photographer for a magazine. Tell Shuff that Sneaky Pete says hello. Sneaky Pete. That's my buddy from first break. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah, it's a local guy. He comes in there during the daytime a lot. I'm in there like maybe once a month or so. I, li I like that room. I saw you when we were down here, remember? Yeah. You I played try, in the tournament. I try to stop into all my yeah. pool rooms that I like. You know what? Uh, right now, my main pool rooms is Brews and Q's, and Glen you, Burnie. You know what I like here? And push Diamond the, Billiards in Richmond. Push the cue ball, Brandon, to the top rail, the first diamond on the left-hand side. Push into a Yeah, pitch. I was just going to say, this is actually a difficult push out. There's not too many... First you diamond, know, short perfect rail. Perfect places to go, and wherever you go, you're leaving He's shot. doing it. He's doing it. No, he's not doing it. He was using the four to get there. He yeah, is doing he's it. Gonna, he might try to tie He's doing it. He's trying to, trying to tie something up again. No, first diamond on the short rail right there. Mm. Yeah. I like that. So if he can see it, he's, yeah. I don't. He's pushing the kick and stick it right there. I don't think he gave it right back. Can he see any of it? I think by using the four, Jason might have went a little bit too far to the left of that diamond. Yeah. Rut row. Thanks, Igster. Yeah, he's going to try to kick and stick. Oh, he, look at the two ball. Take a look at the two ball. Mm. Oh, he almost mm. got there. Man, he I almost got there. I think he did there. get there. Yeah, it looks. Uh, that's you think he did? Yeah, man. Nice shot. And even if he didn't, it's oh. good enough with me. Still well, impressive. He, he, he's got it enough where he can't hit a full ball or possibly cut the one. That I'll tell you. But we're talking about a phenom here. Greg Mitchell's asking for a lesson there, my friend. Oh, yeah? What was he saying? He would like a lesson at Brews and Cues with you. Oh, yeah. on, he lives in Aberdeen. Oh, cool, man. Send me a message. We'll try to get you on the schedule. I used to give a lot more lessons than I have been lately, but well, we can try to get you in there, man. Yeah, that's about what he had. He didn't have a, a cut on the one. Now Jason's got paint. Looks like he's got the edge of the one ball. All I can say, you could hang a steer in here. It's cold. I'm going to steal a tablecloth and wrap it around me. We're done with that site. <laughs> so he can see it, but, he, but I don't really see the I don't see the play. It. Yeah, I know. I mean. Because the one's going to get pushed out in the cue balls. He's oh. looking at probably wow. thinning it and going all the way around with Four the cue rails? Balls. Four rails behind the six. He might cut the one over in the left corner. Well, he might get a kiss, too, because that thing's going to be moving at a pace where it could meet the cue ball coming around. He's got to walk. Well, wait a minute. What is he mm. doing here? Oh, he might spin Jason's all the way off the hook. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, no, it didn't work out. Here. Man, oh, man. Yeah, he's had a, a few tricky s scenarios where, you know, there wasn't an obvious shot. And it was really hard to create a shot and just... The layouts weren't really favoring. Sean, we give everybody kudos for their shots. Don't start that, man. <laughs> Sean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang you, Sean. <laughs> That's brutal. We're trying to get a 
hill hill match here. Yeah, he sold the farm there. Yeah, it looks like Fedor is getting to the hills, right? I like both of these guys. I don't favor one over the other. Trust the and, and neither does any of these commentators sitting in here. We'd like this not to end. Ending this tournament is depressing. But what do you think about doing this like every day? It's like super good. My man Clayton Rocha. Love you, brother. <laughs> Not a chance. I Clayton's like, the man. I like He's Clayton. He's a good guy. Sure is. Starting the podcast. It's all your fault. No, it's not my fault. It's Bart's fault. <laughs> and Katie's fault. I saw Dan in the comments <laughs> said, when, when am I making more shirts? Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I got a lot of brothers, and oh, you're one of them, gracious. Jimmy. I almost made some more. Maybe I should. I got a lot of cool things happening, though. So if y'all don't haven't followed me yet, you know, go check out my Facebook page. And what are these I'm guys? also on X and TikTok, Brandon Shuff. Brandon Shuff on X. We got a lot of cool Getting things Getting down with Elon up. Musk. I mean, I'm not. I mean, Elon's all right. He's he's pro free speech, so let's go. <laughs> and Bart's laughing now. I just, I, they were trying to set me up over here. <laughs> I'm coming to Connecticut for you guys, man. <laughs> Katie, you're first. You're going first. <laughs> now he makes this for the hill. He makes this. He's on going to the hill. Key shot. Two rails back and forth. Oh, he kicked. Brandon, did you see that? Yep, what w wonderful shot. Using the seven as a stopper? <laughs> huh? Yep. Wow. It's, it's kind of like he knew that was going to happen. Yeah, just a wee bit. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say so. Nice shot. Absolutely. Yeah. It's confidence, you know. It gets your confidence Man, and up yeah, in every, the... Every time I start to see a window for Jason there, something weird shows up on the table and stops him yeah. from opening up. Bravo. Al, the earth is flat. I know. I talked to Max plenty of times. And CJ. <laughs> Patrick McKinney. What'd you call? I'm sorry I missed it. It's called Fedor. To the hill. He's just rolling oh. real well. Oh, he's, there's nobody in this arena but him right now. It's like super quiet. You can hear a pin drop, but in his ears, we know what we hear. In his ears, nobody's talking. He don't hear a thing. That's the zone you love. Good night, Shore. Yeah, very well could be. Shore has nothing to bow down to winning this event nine times. I say he's going to win it another 10 times before he retires. That's his goal. <laughs> he's going for the goal. Yeah. Thank you, Alan, all the commentators. Hey, Rich, thank you for the kind words, man, from Nova Scotia. Appreciate you. Jimmy Rivera, are there still people in the stands? Oh, yeah, there's still people in the stands, Jimmy. I can give you a view of them if you wish. I'm so cold. I hate to take my hands out of my pockets, but for my brother, I will. Uh, we can go to the let's USA go here on first. the hill. You can hear them, I think, Jimmy. Uh, let me go this way first. Uh, see them all with blankets. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's cold in here, man. What was uh, Al? I think in the box it's something about connecting with me there. Connecting in the yeah. box? Oh, in the box. Yeah, you got to connect with Elvis if you want. In the box sports. Yes. Elvis, my name is Blaine Wiggins. You can hit me up on Facebook too if you wanna, but I will reach out to you. Or everybody that's in the arena is down this side because the finals are being held all the way down the back here. Look, people are still here. Both sides. Yeah, it's a good crowd. I love it. It could be full, but, you know. Oop, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I don't know what I did wrong. 
Oh, this is the main? Oh, I threw the main in the commercials. NG, no good. I got to get it out of there. How do we get it out of there? Oh, boy. If I screw this up before he makes this nine ball, I'm in trouble. Oh, here's the main. All right. Got to get back here. Better on the hill. Now I'll step away for a minute. Get some blood circulating. Whether you're new to pool and practicing the basics, or a more experienced one down on the break. To improve your shot making and I can't tell play. if he's got a clear, clear pocket past the deuce. It might be there. You could also thin it in the if you absolutely had to. PremierBilliards.com. Exceptional cues, cases, and accessories from top tier brands. Want it? Need it? Find it. PremierBilliards.com. tough. Digital Pool is the ultimate app for billiards enthusiasts, tournament directors, and league operators. Digital Pool enables world-class billiards events by using innovative technology to enhance and streamline the experience at every angle. Experience features like live scoring, text notifications, table assignments, real-time match updates, automatic reporting the Fargo rating, player stats and profiles, live streaming overlays, online player registration, and digital payment tracking. Enjoy all this and more by signing up for your free account at digitalpool.com. The question is: Is do we ever do we ever right, step back? This could be the final like, layout of the you know, set look here. Look at, at what we've what we've done and wonder, you know, why we're here. Kind of pinch ourselves and and my answer to that is, yeah, every day, pretty much. I mean, I look at her. We talk about it all the time. All right, guys. I know there was a commercial playing in the background. I think we're all set. Let let us know in the chat. Are we we good? We clear that up for you. Hey, Rick Bentley, how are you, sir? I know you've stopped into Copper City when we were putting the place together. Look forward to seeing you get back there eventually. He still has the play in the corner here for the two. He's looking at going in between the three and the six, bumping them to three out, little bump shape. Doesn't really make sense to... doesn't really make any sense trying to run into the top of the three or miss it and play it into that corner. Kind of got to create something here. See how it turns out. trying to he was trying to hit the three there and create something a little unfortunate it was a clean shot but time to improvise let's see what he does just gonna look for a safety sorry guys I uh, I did something with the audio is, is everybody okay I don't know I'm just talking and calling the shots I think he's gonna two rail this underneath the nine and hit it try to hit it a little thin and bring his cue ball up up table where he was just pointing. Four and the nine could block it. Oh, everything's okay. Okay, good. Yeah, everything's all right. What I did was I had it. I had it on the and same storyboard as the commercial yeah, by accident. All right, we're good, Brandon. You feel like a life kind of car wash? I mean, if that's how you want to say it, sure. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> Just in case I'm any convertible, man, I'm flexible. In case any convertibles come through. <laughs> yeah. 
ball seems good now. Al. Thanks, oh. Tip. He wanted to. He wanted to get up there behind that six. He'll tuck up under there. Yeah, safety underneath <laughs> the six, back near the six, and put the three up on the end rail. Yeah. I've been playing so much three cushion lately. I noticed that I was saying long rail and short rail a lot in the commentary this weekend. The yes, right, sir. The right long rail yeah, and left I, long I kind of just caught on to that, and now I'm like, wait a minute. It's end rail and short rail and then side rail. Right long <laughs> rail, left <laughs> long rail. Wow. Nice, man. Wow. Nice. He hit, it. he hit it good. There is no more Houdini. It's who did it, and his name is <laughs> Fedor Gorse. <laughs> wow. Coming with the shot. Well, that's going to pretty much wrap it up, folks. Yeah, I, I, I believe so. I believe you're going to see the closure of this one. Tune in tomorrow, folks, 11 a.m. You'll see the end of this. Can I have your attention, please? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Dara. Thank you for the kind words, everybody. So what... What Fetter's feeling right now is what we're all playing for. Just the title. That that stride to the finish line. You know, the the hard work that pays off. It's Appreciate these, it's the kind these, words, guys. It's these type of wins that measure up, make it all worth it. The photo op is next, right here on the main table. You'll see Irwin come in to play. Oh, he's going to she's going to show us a little something here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not out of the woods yet. Yeah. Or is he just making it interesting? I mean, he brum banked that 3 right in there, no problem. Brum banked. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Look at Tippy. Boom, my man, Tipster. <laughs> I got it, Tip. I made it up. I couldn't stand no more, Tip. He's in trouble. What do you say, Brandon? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a little tricky play here. I say keep your opponent in the in the mud, play him stay safe and stick him right on the eight. I mean, he can cut this in, but the I rock mean, hits the eight. I mean, what, I what like goes using, on here? I like using rails and letting things flow with a natural roll. I, I like cutting this in with, with, with Max inside English and, and going to the right side rail. Oh, he's swinging. He is swinging for the cut shot. Yeah, this, he, this, yeah, he's coming back to the left side. This could cost him the set if you don't make it, but he walked around like he was a Terminator. He's like got a plan. Robot. I'll tell you what, he's oh, got a plan. Oh, I know plan. he's got what a plan. A shot. Beautiful shot. Something tie up. Yeah. Man, another tie up. <laughs> it's going to end, folks. Laura Berg, oh, yeah, man, thanks for the great long weekend. Appreciate it. the kind words, Laura. Please send the heat up a yeah. heating blanket. Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing in there. He, he gorsted that shot. He did. Gorsted it. Brum banked. What a shot. Brum banked it. He brum banked I'm, it. I'm keeping it. And then he gorsted the five. <laughs> what an out. Agent 86. <laughs> I'm out. Slamming. <laughs> Slammed it in there. <laughs> there you go, folks. All right, guys. Jason's going to stand up. What a Good match. Uh, match Bravo. Just class right there, guys. Shaking wow. Each other's hands. What a match. Wonderful right, shooting. It's a fabulous, Wonderful. fabulous thing. Al, hey, it's been a fabulous weekend with you here. Hey. Blaine, Absolutely. I enjoyed it in the booth with you, man. Al, thanks hey, for having thank me. Hey, thank you. Are I enjoyed you my me, time guys? with you, too. All right, y'all. Brandon Schaff signing okay, out. We'll be back here at Turning Stone August 29th. August 29th. The show in continues. The meantime, we still have... Hey Cliff, thank you. Looking to see, looking to see you in the future, our, uh, of course, at uh, our Derby. Our season schedule. I wow. think our next tournament is next month in Amazing Billiards in Boston, and then we'll be in Amsterdam at Sharpshooters. Schedules are up front. There's still some. Aaron, thank up you. There. Like Hope to, to see you in Long Island. Thanks for the stream. Hope I'll have a good one. It. You're quite welcome, Trevor Siegel. Everybody that's been uh, helping us out, really, really appreciate. Oh, let me, before I go, hold on, guys. Let me check uh, my emails. Oh, God. Um, who am I, what do I do? I'm checking my email. I'm freezing over here. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know who sent this in. Serious, seriouspool.com. What would you say, uh, Nicole? Natalie? I, no, nothing. I'm sorry. I have to thank these people. I don't want to sign off without thanking everybody. I apologize. Hey, here, photo op. I told you there's a photo op session going on. Um, Nicholas Drew, thank you. Thanks for the stream. Thanks, Nicholas. Appreciate you. Uh, Mr. Khan. Oh, I wonder if this is Jimmy Khan. Well, if it is, thank you, Mr. Khan. Uh, Clarence Craig, thanks so much for a real-time stream. Hey, anytime, Clarence. I'm glad we can help out and have you watch. Who's this? Oh, your new camera is absolutely marvelous, Tony Fox. Hey, Tony, I miss you, man. Thank you, Tony, for the kind words. My man. Stephanie. Stephanie Guions, I want to say. Thank you for the stream. Thank you, Stephanie, for your such great generosity. Appreciate you. Randy, do you know who the girl is in the background wearing a Flat brim cap, always watching Fedor's games. She is always there. I don't know who you're talking about. Who was that? Oh, Chris. Chris, my hands are freezing, right? I feel like a like a. I'm cold, right? I'm like a freaking deer hanging in the, in the, in the forest. Um, I gave it away. I gave it away. I don't know who that gentleman was talking about. Okay, I think I got everybody. I wanted just one. Yeah, just one, Jimmy. They're good, Jimmy, by the way. I mean, they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get it out of there. <laughs> yeah, but you don't eat much. You got B12, but you don't eat much. <laughs> what are you doing? No, 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 I'm not taking it. Yeah, I'm so set, Jimmy. Appreciate I don't take medication. Thank you. Watch your step. <laughs> um... Ed Patterson, you're quite welcome. I'm trying to find out where everybody is. Where is everybody? Who's the gentleman on the right? Does anybody know this gentleman on the right? I bought him a, a Bliss Tex, I think. I was in the store here in the casino, and I said, give me that. I'll buy it for you. I've heard, I don't know what it was, Bliss Tex, something like that. I, but I forget who this gentleman is. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, uh, Robert Miller. Fedor is a monster. Who's the gentleman on the right? Does anybody know? Quite welcome. Gloria Jean, thank you, Alan All. Thank you, Gloria Jean. Thank you, Upstate Al, for a great tournament. Appreciate it there, John. Justin. Natalie, where are you going? Your throat sounds like it's bad. My throat, I know. It's because you, I took a nap in the, in the stand back, and then, and then I woke up. Feel my hands. I'm freezing. Why do you have to leave? Okay. Great talking to you. Keep in touch. I want to do that podcast. <laughs> Maybe you're sick from my... I hope not. It's a bad cold. hope you didn't catch my cold. Great job. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate you. Thank you for the stream. Who's the gentleman on the right? Does anybody know? Never see, uh, Tony Fox, is he uh, here on your behalf? Thanks, I'll see you soon. Always good seeing y'all in person. Absolutely. Step over. Step over? <laughs> you want me to step over? How you doing? All right, not bad yourself. Did you enjoy the tournament? Great. Great? Yeah, good. I know, I saw you. <laughs> Taking screenshots. <laughs> I like staying behind the camera. Because <laughs> people coming over and say, hey, Al, everybody saw me on the, f on the stream when you moved the cameras around. <laughs> He's coming over to say thank you for letting people see me. <laughs> George knows him upstate. George, who knows him? I'm sorry, did I miss it? George knows I'm upstate. 
Who, George? George Sixterra knows him? I'm sorry, I took my eye off it. You're welcome. I'll see you down there, JB. Who is the guy on table five? <laughs> Zach's working his butt off. Zach better work his butt off. <laughs> There's Johnny Archer. You guys wanted to uh, see Johnny Archer. There he is. He's on cam. There's Mike Howerton of AZ Billiards walking through. And, of course, you have all the way to the left is uh, Damian Prevost. Hey, who is the guy talking to Fedor? That's what I want to know. He must be working for some... Uh, I guess magazine or something. Is he working for uh, Mike Pinoso? Maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Jason Scholl. He doesn't look like he lost 49 pounds. Johnny lost 40 pounds, he said. Scroll up, Al. Scroll up. All right, let's scroll up. I don't know, this way here? Oh, scroll, I can't. I can't see the comments. No, that's not Christina's dad. I met Christina's dad. Oh, Keith Paradise? Who's Keith Paradise? Oh, Billiards Digest. Okay, oh, so it is Mike Pinoso's uh, roving reporter. Gotcha. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Peg. Isn't that the guy that does the stats in the stands? Oh, I don't know, Peggy. Keith Paradise. I just got it. Best stream going. Everyone show your appreciation. Hey, Tyler, thank you. Father-in-law, <laughs> what are you guys talking about, man? You guys are starting to spread rumors now. <laughs> See Johnny there. Johnny's collecting memorabilia. Jason lost, Jason lost. Well, you know, Chase, under the conditions of the m game that we all love, um, somebody has to lose. Uh, Jason has no nothing to bow down to. In fact, I'll have his wife get on the air. Ara, come talk to me. I, I need your input. Get a, get a headset. I'll have Jason's wife, uh, Chase Laferni, huh? <coughs> look, look. Jason lost, Jason lost, Jason lost. What, what, what happened in, uh, in that match, in your, in your opinion? Say something, no, darling. I'm not going to say anything. Say People no, hate Jason. Oh, no, he did shoot really well, but Jason just lost, I don't know, maybe his little mojo. It was freezing. It, freezing? It, yeah, it, it, freezing, is like not, frozen. freezing is an understatement in here, and, you know. John, table mechanics is all right. That's John. I was yeah. always wondering who Pool Pulse was. That's his undercover name. Oh my goodness. I was like, this another keyboard warrior. I'm just joking. <laughs> 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 just Gene, kidding. Hello, Jean. Oh, we missed you here. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you said that because we didn't. I love Jean. He's such he a great is. guy. He is. So, what do you think was. Who is outcome? on the mic? It's a mystery woman. Don't tell Jason. Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, hello, Marty. Oh, J James. Oh. Oh, there's James. Yeah. Listen, I wish that all these people were here, you know. This is a fantastic tournament, you know. I lo we love coming here. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, you brings answer. brings back a lot of memories. Remember when I was pregnant, like, yeah, nine camera months? On you. Just in case oh really? Just in case your water broke. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> now our kids are grown. They don't even want to travel with That's us. <laughs> oh, oh, I have.
haven't seen. Yeah, where the hell is Troy? Where are you, Troy? I haven't seen you in. F oh, think. Oh, what's up, Bobby? Troy only comes on the chat when you get on the mic. All right, invite us to Florida. We'll be we'll be there. <laughs> it's too cold here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even with this jacket on, I'm still cold. Um, who is the photographer? It's Erwin. Yeah, he's one of the best in the industry, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Remember when the baby busted her head? What? Oh, I remember when. Oh, when Liana. Yeah, yeah, that was really. Oh yeah, literally. Uh, you thought he was getting a nasty thing, a nasty comment. Who's Who's Joe? Who is Joe? Joe Collins, he owns a farm in Pennsylvania. He used to come here to commentate. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't remember him, but you Maybe remember. But if you saw him, you'll remember. Oh, him. what up, Stephen Fair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Stephen. Jesus Christ. Let's see Shaw's wife. No, I'm. I like to be undercover. <laughs> she is soft on the eyes, no, and I'm not. she was once <laughs> Miss Connecticut, and she went for Miss Universe. Oh my gosh! Stop! No, he, Al's, Katie, Al's too nice. I'm gonna hang you, Katie. Oh, is she there? She tried to set me up. Oh, I love Katie. She's I don't love her no more. I'm gonna hang her. Katie's my bestie. Joe Collins calling now. Oh shoot! Am I in trouble? Joey, what's up, Joe? You're on the air, brother. I got you. I hear you. I, I, did you see my comment? <laughs> I did when the baby got stitches. I, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Belly's all good up there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to Rax this weekend. Yeah, I'll be down there. Oh, you're coming up? Be careful. Snow, snowy time of the season, man. <laughs> all right. Be careful. I'm looking forward to seeing you at Rax. All right, Joe. Let me get off the air. Finish this up. I'm, I'm sitting here with a young lady. I don't know who she is. Does Jason right, sleep good knowing he's going to play for Fetter? Um, I, I know, right? I'm not going to say anything. No comment. <laughs> After playing on the Moscone Cup, playing Fetter is just. Playing Federer. Oh, we love Federer. Like sure, he's oh, and Christina. You know, we love them. They're such really nice. You know, kids. I mean, I feel old saying that. <laughs> they're they're like they're like 12 years younger. Yeah, I'm actually I'll be 60 on Wednesday. I don't even know when my birthday is actually. <laughs> I lost, I lost count after kids, <laughs> including my third child, Jason. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jason is my third child, but I love, I love Jason. Katie, I wish you were here. I don't wish she was here. That's not true. She tried to set me up. She said, started rumors. I love you too, Katie. Is that Aura? That's yeah, Elvis. I love Elvis too. Yeah. See, everybody yeah. loves you. No, I, I don't think so. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, people don't realize that Jason is the biggest winder upper like ever. And listen, I always tell Jason just like to shut up, but he doesn't. He just loves it. He that's just who he is. You know, that's his personality. You know, Jason's a really, you know, funny person. Oh, thank you, Troy. Same here. Miss you, but you know, it's a good idea that you were in Florida. <laughs> It's too cold. It is so cold here. Yeah. Do you want my jacket? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> no. <I'll have> <laughs> Seven fifteen in the row. 
in a row world record, 1,000. <laughs> well, it was 714, and then they said he rubbed the nine ball, so they made it. What they make it after that? Ugh, no comment. No, what's 669, what's the 669, because... Um, run before the rack. Right. But All whatever. right, I'm ready to pay you. Come on. <laughs> oh, get paid? Oh, he... Is Mike? Oh, I'm collecting money. Wow, that's awesome. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Why is it so cold here? It's there's a freaking snowstorm. Don't give him your jacket. What? You rotten scoundrel. It's too late. He has my jacket on. It looks nice. <laughs> All right, see you. Oh yeah, for sure, Jean. Let's grab coffee <laughs> or <a> beer. <laughs> Uh, I think better is 25 years younger. I think so, too. <laughs> but they, they're they really good people. I have nothing bad to say about them. Or anybody. Oh, no, only Katie. <laughs> no, she's not. Set you up with what? I want to know. Uh, let me call her. Call her, she'll tell you. Always cold in the TS arena. Yes, even in the summer. <laughs> I remember being warm here in the winter and really cold in the summer. Thank you, Andy. He is a down-to-earth guy. People misunderstand him. And he does not hate America, by the way. Everyone keeps thinking that. He does not hate America. A lot of people think Jason hates America. It's only the most Moscone Cup time, you know? Look, Barry Hearn wants excitement. Yeah, exactly. The UFC of... Oh. That's it. It's Katie. I say this with love. Get the bragging rights. No. Okay, it's about that time, everyone. Come on, we got to get a move on, please. Are you talking about? Let's go. We have to get a move on. We got to get out of here. Come on. There is no more love for you. Is Jason going to switch sides? I mean. I don't know if Emily lets him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He said he would never switch sides. He would always play for Europe. He said himself. Mm, he, said it, he said it himself on uh, TV. Me, no, he's going to be Team USA vice captain. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to st start spreading this uh, rumor. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather see Jason than Johnny. Aw. <laughs> That's no comment. <laughs> I am on the mic, too. You want to say hi to Katie? <laughs> you can say hi to Katie. Hey, Katie. Hope you're well. We missed you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go collect my money. All, all my Well, I'll tell you one thing. Whoever said, Jason lost, Jason lost, Jason lost, has no cojones when the lady gets on the microphone. But anyway, Jason is a human. He's not a robot. And neither is Fedor. And obviously in the game that we like, somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. So with that, guys, I'm going to say goodnight and thank you, everybody. I know we had thousands and thousands of people watching. I think about eight or 9,000 at one time. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hate to see it end, but guess what? I'm going to Racks this weekend. We'll be streaming there. Make sure to tune in, everyone. And thank you so much for all your help. See you in two and two.